Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, good morning everybody. Welcome to Sewing Street. It's Thursday and it's time to get started. Let's get started on Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hill. It's wonderful to have your company. We've got two early birds to start the day off with. Two, not one, but two. Now these are every sewer's essentials. We're starting with a gorgeous gift set um, of scissors. These are the Quilted Bear Rose Gold Scissor Set. Now you might have seen me using my rose gold scissors. I use them all the time on air. I've got them in my sewing caddy. I absolutely love them. Rose gold is such an on-trend metal. They're beautiful. In this set you've got the, um, the large dressmaking shears, they're 21 and a half centimetres in length, great size for cutting out, you know, fabric for dressmaking. You've got your small embroidery scissors, your fine point embroidery scissors, they're nine and a half centimetres. Then you've got these gorgeous rose gold headed pins and a thimble. Really beautiful set, very giftable too. 19.99 is our usual price. Um, and I was talking yesterday actually about dressmaking scissors and I said for me ideal price about £20 just for dressmaking scissors ideal price about £20 and then if I need to replace them uh, I'm not you know it's okay if I lose them but we can do better than that so let's get an extra pair of scissors in the bank $14.99 for those, a £5 saving, it's 25%. That's more than your PMP back and your basket's open, ready for a wonderful day. We've got a wonderful day ahead, to be honest. Um, super comfortable. They've got a really nice weight to them as well. Um, and you've also got, of course, your really sharp to the point embroidery scissors, so a box of pins and a thimble too. I love the fact that it comes gift boxed. Very, very giftable either to you or someone you love. And you, someone you really love to give them a lovely sewing gift, I think. Um, but they are a terrific size. Now, maybe you were inspired by the sewing bee last night new dressmaking scissors for somebody perhaps who you think has been inspired. Believe me, anything connected to dressmaking is going to be going out of stock very quickly. Not just here at Sewing Street, everywhere. It's the sewing bee effect. Lots of you multi-buying on these uh, scissors. Is this one for you, one for a friend? Are you getting two pairs in for you? One for upstairs, one for down, one for in your traveling sewing kit? These can be sharpened, of course, as well. You can buy scissor sharpeners. I usually get a you know, big piece of foil, fold it up numerous times and have a good old snip through. That usually does the trick. But um, just keep them for your fabric. Um, I always use thread snips for threads. So things like embroidery scissors, great for doing things like cutting around applique shapes, snipping into seam allowances, notching, stuff like that. I'm going to open them actually just so you can have a proper, proper look. Um, and the thing is, funny enough, I was talking about this with one of our guests last week. Beautiful sewing notions make the job nicer. Um, and most of us, you know, ooh, got a bit of fabric here, thank you. Most of us, you know, perhaps, you know, the cutting out isn't our favourite thing to do. So if we can do something to make it lovely, um, like using lovely scissors, just helps to make the job better. 
Oh, there's nothing like it, is there? Oh, that sound. And really sharp to the point. Absolutely fantastic. So if you want to notch, if you're snipping into a seam allowance, if you're clipping those little notches when you're cutting out a pattern, here are your match points. You really do want scissors that are sharp to the point. If you're cutting down to a neckline or perhaps snipping out a little notch in a neckline, you want scissors that are absolutely sharp to the point. These are so beautiful, really good weight to them as well so they feel comfortable. Now we've less than 20 available so do remember to check out your basket. Again, the embroidery scissors, sharp to the point. And they're pretty. They are pretty. They've got a lovely bit of detail on them. Something a little bit decorative. And rose gold, so on trend, just beautiful. 14.99 is fab. I mean, 14.99 for the dressmaker's scissors would be a fantastic price. Adding in, I mean, I would expect to say, what, $6.99, $7.99 for a pair of embroidery scissors? Just for a basic pair, you know, nothing, nothing wildly extravagant. Um, Dressmaking scissors, I'd be happy with £20. I'd, be, I'd pay £20 for those. So, and then you add in, of course, a box of pins, rose gold headed. I mean, how lovely are they? And then you've also got a thimble. A message from Sue. Morning, Stuart. Can you just explain what you said about foil and scissors, please? Loved the sewing bee last night. Love Sue. I know, wasn't it exciting? We need to talk. Um, uh, well, just one way that I sharpen scissors, I do it with kitchen scissors and embroidery scissors, is I just get a piece of cooking foil, yeah, and then fold it up till it's probably about four or six layers thick, um, and then snip into it, cut into it with the scissors and that kind of metal on metal to sharpen the blade up. And you can do the same with like if the tip of your scissors is getting a little bit worn, snip, snip, snip into some foil. Works for me, it works for me. Keep going through for your scissors. Now we do have a second early bird. Can I have more, can I have more, more, um, I want more birds. More birds, more birds. <laughs> so demanding. I want birds. Make them, make them to eat. Here they are. Here they are. They're coming. They're, oh, well, that was worth waiting for. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now, stork embroidery scissors. Absolutely iconic. They're absolutely iconic. Everyone's remembers somebody with a pair of stork scissors. Now apparently, apparently, I've never heard this story before, but apparently they're called stork scissors because midwives used to use them for cutting of the cord. And am I right? they would then leave them behind for the mum to do embroidery with. Cat? No. Oh, the midwife was doing the embroidery in between births, apparently. I think that sounds made up, Cat. <laughs> Who knows? If you know a, a, a better reason why they're storks, do email in, please. <laughs> But they are absolutely beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. I always like it when, when my, my stalk scissors sometimes make a noise and it actually sounds like a bird tweeting while I'm cutting things. Now, they should normally be 9 99 but not today. Not today. I said I'd be more than happy to pay 7 99 6 99 for a pair of embroidery scissors, but we're actually going to 5 99 We were supposed to go to 6 99 but I said <laughs> that I would expect it to be 5 99 So there we go. There we go. Just email in and tell me the prices you want to pay. I'll do what I can for you. 
I will always do what I can for you. Morning to Patricia, by the way. Uh, Patricia sends love from Blackpool. Lovely to have your company this morning. Sue's been in touch too to say, morning, Stuart and crew. Happy Thursday. Hope you have a great show. Love watching you. Love to all. Thank you so much for all the messages this morning. And good morning, good morning. We've got a fabulous morning ahead of us. We do need to talk about the sewing bee. We do need to talk about what happened. And did we enjoy? Who are our favourites? Who were our favourites? Now we went upstairs after the show yesterday, um, producer Kat and I, we went upstairs and we said, look, it's sewing bee tonight. And tomorrow we need to come back with something special for dressmakers. For everyone who's been inspired by the sewing bee, perhaps not to apply. <laughs> but to do more dressmaking. So we're going to take a short VT and then when we come back, we'll have something a little bit special for everyone who's been inspired by the sewing bee. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Welcome back. Check me out. Look at me in a new little bit of the, we're taking over. We're spreading ourselves out. Now, if you're inspired by the sewing bee last night and you thought, oh, more dressmaking. This needs to be the year that I do more dressmaking. There are two things which are gonna make life so much easier. So, and your results more professional, easier, and more like you're gonna see on the sewing bee. And the one really big one is an overlocker. It's what all serious dressmakers have or aspire to. And we've got our absolute favorite, your favorite to our most popular overlocker. It's the Elner 864 Air. And the air, this is the really important selling point, it's air threaded. If you've ever spoken to anybody about overlockers, you can guarantee there'll be a sucking in of cheeks and a pursing of lips whenever the, the notion of threading an overlocker is mentioned. You never see anybody thread an overlocker. You, <laughs> okay, no one's in a hurry to demonstrate threading an overlocker. Okay, for very good reason. There is a reason why most dressmakers tie the threads on and pull them through. But this Elna is air threading. It's literally threaded with a puff of air, like a magic trick. It's our favorite, it's your favorite. What we've done today is we've brought the Elna, it's back in stock. It completely sold out the other day, but we've managed to get it restocked. We know that as soon as Sewing Bee's back on air, we all go absolutely wild for dressmaking. Now you'll remember, I'm sure, the shortages of cover stitch machines, overlockers, last year and in previous years, when the Sewing Bee is on, there is an absolute rush. And, and even though the Sewing Bee's on every year, none of us are ever as prepared as we would like to be. Um, but you're getting this on five split pays, five split pays. So all you need to pay today is 211 pounds and 80 pence. You'll get your overlocker home. You will have completely finished watching the entire series of The Sewing Bee um, and you'll have had your overlocker with you the whole time. You should have your overlocker before the next show comes on. Um, it might even spur you on to apply for the sewing bee. Now alongside your Elna air threading overlocker, you're also getting a set for free of a special Madeira overlocking threads. You get 12 reels of thread here. You're getting four white, four pale gray, 
uh, and four black. Fantastic quality thread. 13,800 meters of thread, especially made for overlocking and great neutral colors too. It's the kind of thing that sells out so fast. We can never ever get these in stock fast enough. It's worth 52.99, you're getting it completely free. Now, if you do order the Elna Air Threader, it will come separately, it comes direct from Elna. You only pay one PMP. Remember, if you've already bought our early bird or one of our early birds, you've already paid your 395 uh, postage and packing. That also covers anything that comes from a different supplier. So if you're buying the overlocker that comes from Elna, if you're buying anything from Crafter's Companion, your Gemini, for example, that's back in stock today. Uh, more of that anon. But that will come direct from Crafter's Companion. But it's all covered under our 395 postage. So you can shop with impunity now that's our first special that we've got for all those budding dressmakers and anybody who wants to get better at dressmaking now the second thing that every dressmaker who um, well relies on um, for ease of fitting and creating a really good finish are um, dressmakers forms and we've got our two best loved and most popular adjuster forms. Now we're going to start with the cherry red. Now especially for today, both of these actually, they're on five split pays. Okay. Now we never normally do that, we normally do three split pays, but just to help spread the cost, the total price for the adjuster form is $159.99. Now your five split pays is just $31.99. Now they come directly from Adjuster Form. They say 10 working days, so I reckon by the third episode you should have your Adjuster Form and again be ready to fit better, easier, quicker. I mean, you really can't adjust the fit on an outfit on yourself. Um, multi size. You need to decide on the size that's right for you. We do have a chart. They're behind me, I'm not turning around. <laughs> so um, now the small uh, bust is 33 to 41 inches, waist 24 to 32, hips 34 to 42, and the back length 15 to 17 inches. All adjustable, maximum height 72 inches. Your medium is a 39 to 47 bust. 29 to 37 waist, 40 to 48 hips, 15 to 17 inches back length, and again a maximum height, they're all the same, 72 inches. Full figure, 45 to 53 bust, 38 to 46 waist, 47 to 55 hips, and a longer back length this time, 16 to 18 inches. Now the five-way split pay is amazing. It was planned in was planned in but <laughs> Kat and I were in a pushy mood yesterday we were in a pushy mood and this morning um, and we asked for 10% off as well and we got it so we're dropping that price today really is the day to get your adjuster form £28.80 to pay today and you'll have your adjuster form delivered in about 10 days direct from adjuster form £28.80 is all you need to pay now that's, this is the small um, that's coming up here in cherry red. This has the center pole, okay. Um, the medium sized adjuster form. Same price, it's gonna be the same price. Don't worry, we're dropping it on all of them. Five way split. So 144 is the total. Your split pay, <coughs> excuse me, just 28.80. And then finally the full figure, same price, £144. <coughs> Excuse me, foggy my throat. <coughs> it's dusty this side, we don't use it enough. Now take a picture of that, <coughs> grab a screenshot, measure yourself, make sure you get the best size for you. Remember, if you need to add a little extra padding on one or two, say maybe around the bust or around the hips, easily done. Claire Louise Harding, who um, is a wonderful dressmaker and was the sewing expert on sewing bee for many years, including when I was there, um, <coughs> she's done some great videos 
on how to add extra padding because let's be honest none of us is symmetrical I'm certainly not um, I've got padding on now um, but you know you can add padding you can you know increase the bust I mean it's they're fully adjustable they have great adjustability but of course we're not symmetrical but go for the the nearest size to you and then you can pad up don't go bigger than you are so those are our cherry however the leg form the the adjuster form that has the ability to adjust so you can do dresses but you can also do trousers and the reason how or why you can do trousers is because it has this adjustable leg um, or stand so you can move this so you can have center position you can also have to the left so this is the position that you would have if you were making trousers, shorts, culottes, anything like that, palazzos. I do love a palazzo. Um, and then you can make trousers with it. So it's really, really useful. Now, the crazy thing about this is that it's the same price. Yeah, um, it isn't for a just a form. Okay, on a Just a Forms website, they are two different prices. This is more expensive. We make it the same price and we're going to crash it by 10%. Because, you know, I want Sewing Bee to be back next year and the year after. And in order for that to happen, we need lots of budding dressmakers. So we want to do everything we can to encourage dressmaking. Now then, there's your 10% off. 28.80 is your first split pay and you get five split pays, remember. Now there are three different sizes here, A, B and C. There's your size chart. Again, take a snap of it. Measure yourself. And again, if you need some help with your measuring, Claire Louise has also done a video on how to measure yourself for an adjuster form. £144 is the total. There's also lots of advice on our fans page too, so head on over there. Lots of you have got the adjuster form. Have a chat, ask the questions that you want to know. Now size B is always the most popular. I will just give you a little tip. If everyone checks out who's got it in their basket, all our stock is now gone. So please check out your baskets. Make sure you get your adjuster form home. I know it's very early in the day to be to be being this lively but you know we wanted to come straight in with sewing bee special products really we're all still very excited I'm still reeling by what happened I don't want anyone to leave in the first week I'm just going to put it out there I wish there was an amnesty on week one and no one had to leave because everyone has to find their stride don't they you know, and I want to see more than three things before I'm ready to say goodbye to somebody. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, and I love, I love, I love Larry. You know me. I love Larry. Um, I'm trying not to do any spoilers here, really, because I know some of you won't have watched it. Um, but, you know, someone does leave. You know that. Mm, mm. Loved it, though. Make sure you're checking out your baskets for your adjuster forms. Now, if you've got any questions at all about either overlockers or the adjuster forms, do get in touch. It's easy to do. Just message us at the studio, studio at sewingstreet.com. Now, the overlocker, congratulations if you've got yours. There are three left, just three. And I can promise you, I can promise you that over the next 10 weeks or so, our ability to replace overlockers, sewing machines, adjuster forms is going to be severely restricted because everybody will be selling more, everybody will want more and we won't get them. Um, well done, really well done if you manage to get your overlocker. Now let's do the menu while we're here and then I'm going to skip back across to my usual space. <laughs> It's all behind me. I can't cope with this. 8am, it's Moda. So wonderful fabric collection. This is cute as a button. If you want to do a makeover of your sewing space, this is the morning. At 9am, the lovely Lou Orth is in with her Shooting Stars quilt. We're going to be having a really great chat and some great demos from her. Look at that. I just love it. 
lovely nod to tradition but modern as well we've got some great fabric bundles to go with too now then at 10 a.m becky swan is here love becky haven't worked with her for ages she's brought crafters companion flower dyes we've also got the gemini oh they're bag dyes oh oh are they well, anyway, listen, the most important thing is we've got Becky Swan here and we've got the Gemini die cutting machine back in stock. Super excited about that. That's at 10 a.m. A brand new bundle, loads of lovely dies. I'm not sure what they cut, but Becky knows and we will see at 10 o'clock. At 11 a.m., Lou is back with the applique pouch and groove quilt. It's two different things, the applique pouch, there's the pouches, gorgeous, love that. So timely for Sewing Bee. There's the seam ripper, the grim ripper, as we call it. And then the groove quilt too. And then at 12 o'clock, Becky is back with Crafter's Companion, more fantastic products and deals. Now, I just need to let you know that at the moment, that 12 o'clock hour isn't on pre-order. Okay, we've got to wait for one of our buyers to come in just to get everything loaded properly. So don't panic about the 12 o'clock show not being um, available for pre-order yet. Mid-morning it will be. The Gemini is there, it's available. I'll let you know as soon as the 12 o'clock show is loaded and um, I'll direct you over to the website. Now we're going to take the teeniest little break, just enough for me to walk those few paces back across to my normal space and I'll see you there. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Okay, I'm back in my comfort zone now. Whew, familiar territory, but I liked being over there. That was rather nice. We'll have to do that again. Now then, I have got the prettiest, prettiest range of fabric to share with you. It's from Moda. We love Moda. And this is called So Wonderful, S-E-W, Wonderful. Now this is such a pretty range of fabric. It is sewing themed. There are some florals in there, but I'm just going to give you an overview of it first of all. This is the Mega Bundle. The price is to riff. Isn't that lovely? Look at this. We'll have a proper close look. Buttons, little safety pins, absolutely adorable. That's the mint colorway. This is all in the mega bundle. It's not, this is one mega bundle, this is the other. How gorgeous is this pink? They go together so beautifully. You're getting a total of 10 half meters, so five meters in total. You're only paying for nine of these half meters. One of them, and I always like to think that my favorite fabric is the one I got for free, but you decide, um, you're getting absolutely free. 67 pound 41. Now just look at that. Do we need a new sewing machine cover? What about a quilted mat to go under our sewing machine what about a new sewing bag for going out and getting our new sewing purchases or taking to sewing club you get a version in the pink you also get a version in that gorgeous mint green it is just lovely now it was designed by paper and cloth um, who have worked with paper chase They've worked with Anthropology, Marks and Spencers. They're fantastic. Bowden they've worked with as well. They're now collaborating with Moda to create these fabrics. They have a wonderful 
I mean, because of their background, a wonderful crossover with paper crafting, dressmaking, home decor. They are really sort of stylish and on point. I love the fact that we've got a little floral in there as well. That's familiar territory. But all of these sewing notion fabrics are just gorgeous, aren't they? That is terrific. So I'm already thinking about a whole new set of sewing accessories, a scissor keeper, and a couple of nice, maybe a set of three trays, fabric trays for keeping things like my wonder clips in. Maybe going to um, make something like a craft caddy with some storage pods in, zippy bags. We've got the pattern actually for loose. Let me grab it. Wait there. Let me grab it. We've got the um, pattern alone for this gorgeous little zippy pouch this is from Lou Orth we've got this at 11 o'clock all beautifully lined love the applique on the front could definitely use some of these fabrics for that and yeah a sewing machine cover or a carry bag some project packs as well just gorgeous but also of course a beautiful quilt in this would be sensational i would mix this probably with just some nice bright white would really work well this would actually work really really well with the shooting stars quilt that's hanging behind me the pattern for that's available on its own in a very short while too so loads of different options now remember you're getting five half meters in the green colorway you're getting five half meters in the pink colorway as well this is our mega bundle and you're only paying for nine of these half meters one of them the favorite your favorite one is completely free We've had a message from Sue. Hi, Stuart. Hubby has just bought me the trouser adjuster form. Yay! Sue, you know what I'm going to say. He's a keeper. Fab. Now, size A of the leg form, the, the blue, the sapphire blue, has now sold out. There's one of size B, and there are three of size C left. So we've literally only got four of those left now. So do be quick, do check out your basket if you've got the adjuster form in there. Well done if you've got yours. And well done, Sue. Happy days. How pretty is this? We're gonna have a look at the individual. We're gonna look at pink bundle. You can actually buy the colorway on its own. So if you want the pink bundle, let's show you the details. It's 36. 99 you're getting five half meters and here they are i'm going to just open out each one a little more so you can get a little bit more of a sense of the scale and the pattern so even though this is a floral we've got a few little buttons on there as well just giving us that nod towards sewing i love sewing themed fabrics i can never resist this is gorgeous because it's got all those lovely sort of old fashioned looking notions like the little cards with thread on, the old fashioned thimbles, a little bit of lace, some needles, pins. It's just lovely. Iconic images there. Um, this is a terrific one, isn't it? With the safety pins, I'm thinking, you know, a little gift for baby as well. You could bring that in, couldn't you? Almost like they're nappy pins. Very, very giftable too. If you've got a friend who's getting into sewing or loves their sewing, this is gorgeous. Love that little band as well down the side. Great for all ages. It's really very timeless. And you're getting all five half meters for just 36.99. It's a gorgeous little bundle. Personally, I'd be buying some solids to go with these because I think these would respond very well to some solids. We'll show you some solids that will work well in a mo. Um, so I'll just pop that to one side. That's the pink colourway. Now we've also got the mint green. Oh, or teal. We could call it teal if you like. You say teal and I say mint green. There we go. Love the bit of mustard in this. I mean, there's mustard in the pink as well, so you can easily mix and match both of the um, different colorways. Just do what makes your heart feel right, you know? Ah, oh, Leanne got in touch. What's happened to the set? Don't worry, Leanne, my love. We were just taking over a little bit of the other studio. But now we've done it once, that's it. We'll be doing more of that. But it's nice, isn't it? Because 
Well, I've been saying for ages that like for sewing machines, we need a sit down area as well, or maybe even for knitting or crochet sometimes. So we might just, uh, you know, be in that set again in the future. Who knows? If they let us, if they let us, we've left it tidy ish ish so here's our teal colorway cat i'm going with you here's our teal colorway um and you have got some teal in there of course i can understand why you called the whole range teal because look there's a pinhead that's teal no, all right i'm joking gorgeous buttons it's got a little bit of a mid-century modern vibe hasn't it a bit 1950s it's all about the 1950s now isn't it of course that safety pin's lovely isn't it yeah i think that would be gorgeous as a, a lining for a bag or for a blouse that would be smashing yeah love it there's also lots of motifs on here that you could fussy cut i mean imagine if you're into your english paper piecing actually we've got some lovely dies coming up from crafters companion that work with your gemini we've got the jewel die i think that comes in five different sizes and the elongated hexagon now if you wanted to fussy cut imagine just for a moment these scissors for example cut in that jewel shape and then pieced together mirrored all around can you imagine or we've got dresden dresden plate dies again fussy cutting you can fussy cut with your Gemini. You've got that lovely floral as well. Absolutely super range this. I loved this. The minute I saw it, I just fell in love with it. It's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Get in touch, won't you, this morning. I want to hear your opinion on the sewing bee last night. What did you think? Who's your top tip? Have you got anybody that you've already got your eyes on? I got very confused actually because there's two men, there's um, Christian and Steve, who I think look like they could be twin brothers. <laughs> and I keep on thinking, gosh, please don't wear the same outfit because I'm going to muddle, start muddling you up. Uh, Katie's got in touch. Good morning, Stuart. I agree with you. I think there should be an amnesty for the first week to let everyone get settled in and the nerves to calm. Exactly that. Exactly that. A controversial message from Chris. Good morning, Stuart. I watched, I love controversy. I watched the sewing bee for the first time last night. Never seen it before. I think the right person went, Chris, you're very, very diplomatic there. No spoilers. I think the right person went. Mm. I'm glad you watched it and enjoyed. Michelle's got in touch too to say, managed to get an adjuster form. Thanks for the split pay. You are welcome. I can finally afford one. Loving the show. We, we had a chat about it and we were, Kat and I were both, oh, come on, 10% as well, five split pays. We can't offer it on everything, but when we can, we do, we do. I'm thrilled for you, Michelle. Looking forward to seeing your first make. Now, we've got some lovely solid fabrics that actually work really, really beautifully on their own really lovely on their own but also would work very nicely with so wonderful let's we'll start with the jade i'm just going to grab one of the fabrics down from so wonderful because i want you to see our reference points as well so this is that gorgeous tealy jade very much in evidence in the buttons the pins um, and also in the greens just gorgeous absolutely perfect match this one this is available by the half meter it's cut to order for you so if you think you need maybe two and a half meters to go with your bundle five units 379 per half meter now rose and hubble works really well it's great quality it's going to stand very well with your moda fabrics that's your jade now next up we've got pink now again i'm going to grab down it goes beautifully with the mint the teal but also look right there really really good match with the pink bundle so very very nice well done cat you did you did you done good you done good that's the pink and again just adds a lovely softness and brightness to it doesn't it now next up we've got coral we've got coral now this is a deeper pink but very much is picking up the deeper pink in the scissors and for example if i pull this fabric here so that you can see again 
absolutely gorgeous. We've so many different pinks on our website, you know. We've got magenta, we've got magenta, we've got hot pink, we've got coral, we've got bright pink, pomegranate. But this is a really, really good match. Really good match. Good morning, Stuart. This is from Jill. Watch Sewing Bee. And there is a girl called Jill and her husband is called Darren. Oh my goodness, the same name as me and hubby. Did you look at each other for a moment and like, did you, you didn't, did you? Where were you that month last year? You said you were at your sister's. <laughs> oh, that's such a weird coincidence, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Now, let's do a little bit of sky blue. Let's do a little bit of sky blue. Now this works well as a contrast. So you've got your pinks, you've got your mint green, and then you've got a bit of blue as a lovely contrast. So I'm just going to grab down some of the fabrics and put with, and they really do add a lovely sort of foil against those colours, don't they? In just the same way that something like a white would. Loving that. That's the sky blue. And then finally, in a similar vein, we've got chambray, which really depends what you put this next to. It can look bluey. Here it very much looks lilac-y. But again, it's got that lovely, just that little bit of contrast with these fabrics. It might well be too that you're planning on putting a little bit of that sort of chambray uh, lilac from your stash. I'm just going to grab for a moment and show you a really lovely um, sewing bag that we've got. M really because I want you to see the colours up against to show you how that chambray with the teal and the pink really works. So if you were wondering, well, how does that fit with those, this bag, I mean, it's ready-made bag, but it works really well. Now, <laughs> I've jumped the gun. I'm sorry, I've jumped the gun, but it was sitting there. So we'll just very quickly have a, a look. Now, we've never had this on air before. Really, really keen on good storage and sewing and knitting bags. This would do for any of those hobbies, knitting, crochet, sewing, artwork. It could even be, you know, a bag to put your stuff in for the gym. It's got a really good size to it. It's nice and sturdy, almost like a sort of a canvassy weight uh, fabric. Gorgeous kind of sewing notions on the outside. It has a little grommet there for yarn to come through if you want to use it for yarn. Works best with a cake of yarn. Just pull it through and then you can cake. I love cake. Um, and then you've got your big zip on top. No idea what's inside. Oh, it's a pillow. There we go. That's fine. It's always worth asking before I just... <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, there's Becky's lunch. And then you've also got this big zip on the um, front of the bag as well. So you've got a really nice pocket there. Now that would work very, very well for things like knitting needles, crochet hooks, but also things like patchwork rulers. Um, smaller patchwork rulers would work in there. Scissors. If you've got a whole big... Uh, quilt project going on at the moment this would also be a great place to kind of keep your fabrics in keep them stored it's a great size that isn't it flying into baskets well done if you've managed to get yours the price is fab too isn't it under 20 pounds a really fabulous storage bag or maybe you're just looking at that thinking wow they're so wonderful fabrics and i've got bags for life i could yeah make your own version Love it, love it. Now let's do fabrics by the half meter. Should we start with teal? Let's start with teal. Well, can we start please with NB24? This is that big focus print in the teal or mint green. Now absolutely perfect for a larger scale project, something like a larger bag, a sewing machine cover. You could really just almost like this half meter kind of layer it up with batting and backing quilt it trim it to a nice big rectangle almost as big as the fabric you know bind the edge you could maybe put run some pockets across this edge and then have it as a quilted mat your sewing machine stands on you've some pockets down the front you know the kind of thing I mean 
Um, that would work beautifully in this. And as I say, I would just run a pocket across the lower edge, you know, maybe with a binding on it and divide it up. And that would work beautifully um, with this fabric. Really stunning. You can buy it by the half metre. If you're thinking dressmaking, I think that would be absolutely stunning. What about a 50s style dress? I sew, you know. Beautiful, that. I love it. I love it. Really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Let's have a look at the next one. Now, can we do the other one with scissors? Let's have a little look at this. Let's have a little look at this. Oh, I love that one. Love that bit of mustard. Love that. Beautiful. Again, sewing pouches. What about project bag? Something like that would be beautiful. Maybe your scissor keeper. Look after your scissors. Maybe you got your um, rose gold dressmaking scissors. You got our early bird or our embroidery scissors. What about a special pouch to keep them in? Lou Orth's pouch. Be very nice done in this. Got one just here. But you imagine lining it, backing it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely message coming up as well that I want to read out to from Rita. Hi Stuart, I was out last night and wanted to get Sewing Bee on catch up. I accidentally got the show that you were on for the first time. I still had to watch it to the end just to see how you did. Loved it. You have come on for sure. Love Rita. Oh, that's so sweet Rita. Thing is, when I did Sewing Bee, you know, it wasn't going to be dressmaking. I really didn't do dressmaking and I just thought, oh how hard can it be and then I discovered when I got there how hard it could be but no I loved it and um, you know it opened up a world of possibilities I'm very very grateful for the opportunities that I've managed to get from being on the sewing bee and it was a wonderful experience funnily enough I was flicking through catch up this morning and I found the first series as well and I thought well, I must watch the Christmas special again now then, next up, we've got the button fabric. This is AC74. This is lovely. Um, for me, that's got dressmaking written all over it, actually. I think a shirt in that would be gorgeous. I think a dress would be fabulous as well. Now then, a message from Bernadette. Hi Stuart, loving the show so far. Are you going to get the adjuster form in the petite size? As tinies, never get a mention. Love Bernadette. We're gonna ask. I was asking yesterday actually Bernadette about getting men's adjuster form in as well. I think that's a really, really good point. We're, I've got a, a meeting after the show today. I'm gonna to ask the question for you Bernadette because I think we should, I think we should. Okay, yeah, watch, watch out everybody. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> ah. Beautiful, love that. Two more of those. Let's do the safety pins, U027. Cat's favorite. It's really lovely, isn't it? Simple. Again, it might just be that you love those kind of modern prints. I'm going to stick my neck out and say I think Lou Orth would be all over this fabric. I think this is a very Lou Orth fabric, looking at her quilts. We'll ask her. We'll ask her. I won't just speak for her, but I think that's lovely. Really gorgeous. Yeah, can you imagine if she said, oh, no, I don't like that. She won't say <laughs> She won't say that. <laughs> and then that gorgeous floral to finish this range, PT89. Lovely range of kind of peachy tones, lovely teal. Don't you think the quilt behind me would look amazing done in these colours with these fabrics? The quilt that's behind me actually, let me just give you a heads up, uses about, I think it's 10 fat quarters and one half metre, something like that. Eight fat quarters, one half metre. So actually, if you were buying the big bundle, 
perfect. If you were buying the smaller bundle, one colorway, um, you could still get everything you need out of it. There'd just be less color. You need three meters of your background as well. Maybe you go for one of the solids, maybe you go for a plain white, but that would work really nicely, really nicely. Gorgeous. Loving those. Okay, let's have a little look at the pink bundle. Again, split into individual half meters. We'll go with the same order. Let's start with, thank you, thank you. There we go. Yummy. Isn't that gorgeous? How fab, I love that. I love that. Sewing notion bags sewing kit little pin cushions you could also as well i love you know in using an embroidery frame just to frame an area and have it on the wall as a little bit of wall art another thing you can do really easily is to create a little double folded slip pocket okay lay that over the background fabric and then hoop it okay so then hang that on the wall then you've got a little pocket on your wall just to tuck little things and it could be where you keep your wonder clips it could be for something else but just a quick and easy no sewing involved i know we love sewing but you know sometimes it's nice to have a no sew project as well mm, i mean mark was talking yesterday mark smith with lovely mark smith on yesterday um, who's often on jewelry maker but is now going to be <laughs> here on sewing street and he was talking about you know in the summer it's really all about the garden but you know you still got to get your little fabric fix haven't you now next up we've got ts38 the scissors the scissors yummy again i just want to fussy cut that I just want a fussy cut. Is that wrong? If that's wrong, I don't want to be right. There we are. Gosh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Buttons. This is our Q45. Keep me posted, won't you? What did you think of Sewing Bee last night? What's it inspired you to make? Has it inspired you to make a wrap dress? Weren't there some gorgeous sleeves? It was all about the sleeves for me last night and the different sleeves on the dresses I loved. I absolutely loved. If you've got your Gemini home now, if you got your Gemini a couple of weeks ago when it launched, what have you made? Show us, show us your Gemini in pride of place in your sewing room. Get in touch, send a picture. What about making a cover, a dust cover, to put over to house your collection of dyes, some baskets, some boxes? Be really lovely made in this. Again, buy the half meter, £7.49. They do look a little bit like slices of oranges or lemons. This could maybe be a, a, a melon here or, or um, not a kumquat, what am I thinking of? Lychee, like a lychee, maybe. Hmm, kiwis, fruit, fruit, fruit pastels. Fruit pastels are not fruit. I'd just like to put it out there. PA48. Baked beans are really good for you and they do count as one of your five a day. I'll tell you what, here's an interesting thing. I was in the supermarket yesterday. I must just share this. I was in the supermarket yesterday. It was a little bit of a queue, but that was fine. There was a lady going through and she'd got some fresh rhubarb. And the man who was working on the till said, now then folks, he wasn't actually from Yorkshire, but it's a good accent. He said, now then folks, he said, rhubarb. He was kind of entertaining the crowds. He went, rhubarb, fruit or vegetable fruit or vegetable and we're all like it's fruit, obviously it's fruit he went vegetable i said to the chap who's in front of me i'm not convinced he said i'm not convinced either he said i'm going to google that anyway he googled it and who knew vegetable vegetable there we go thank you very much thank you very much now then safety pins <laughs> There you go. Beautiful. Again, I just, oh, I want to make a little baby project with this. You know those nappy pants you can make, the kind of little pull-ups that go over a nappy? In this would be cute. Little bibs. 
And of course, good old Lou Orth, all of her quilt patterns come in three sizes. So you can do a crib, you can do a large, you can do a big bed quilt as well. Um, same pattern, it's fab. It's fab. So the quilt that's hanging behind me, there's a baby version as well. How adorable. Last fabric in this bundle is that lovely floral with the button. Again, lovely, I think, for dressmaking. You could make a really pretty little dress out of this, couldn't you? I just think that's sweet. Very, very sweet. And lovely for quilt making as well. 100% quilt weight cotton, cushions, throws now don't forget we have got the big bundle where you make the saving of seven pound 49 you're getting one of those half meters free let me just show you that again it's absolutely gorgeous just arrange that such a lovely range of fabric this i really have fallen for it in quite a big way how pretty is that just gorgeous just gorgeous lots of you with this in your baskets don't forget to check out remember 395 postage you pay it once and that's it for the rest of the day and it doesn't matter if you're buying your adjuster form that comes from adjuster form direct still covered by our postage maybe you're buying the elna air threading overlocker no more fiddling around and just a puff of air and it's threaded um, it's like i've come and done it for you um, or if you're buying the gemini or any of the dies from crafters companion that will come direct from them again it's covered by our postage now the gemini is back in stock it is back in stock. It's an exclusive colour just for us here at Sewing Street. Now we've managed to rebundle this machine with a 77 piece goodie bag. Over 60 pounds worth of value in that goodie bag that you're getting for free. It's back in stock. It's back in stock. We had amazing shows um, with Sarah Sarah Davis and with Becky Swan from Crafters Companion. Absolutely terrific. You know I love die cutting. Amazing way to move your quilting on, cut faster, easier, more accurately. 179.99 is the price for your Gemini exclusive color for us here at Sewing Street. But then also you're getting over 60 pounds worth of value in that bundle of 77 pieces in that goodie bag. We've also managed to restock some of your favourite dyes and products from that first show. Um, fabric plates are back in stock. We've got some amazing builder blocks for all your basic patchwork. You asked for bag making notions. We've got that coming up as well. And yes, Adam, you did have vegetable crumble and custard last night. Who knew? That's put me off. It hasn't put me off. I love rhubarb, but who knew it was a vegetable? Good morning. Yes, Stuart. A fruit develops from the flower of a plant while the other parts of the plant are categorised as vegetables. Valerie, it makes perfect sense when you put it like that. It's true. Yeah, thank you. It's good. It's good. Vegetable. Vegetable. We're going to take a little bit of a break now. Don't forget to check out your baskets while we're in break. Have a look at the website too and see what's coming up. When I get back after the break, I'll have the lovely Lou Orth here with a brand new quilt. Can't wait. See you in a moment. Hi, I'm Lou from Lou Orth Designs. I'm going to be back on Sewing Street on the 28th of April. I'll be demonstrating three of my fun patterns and I've got some beautiful fabric to go with it. We've got some fabric from Heather Peterson, some really fun Lewis and Irene fabric and some lovely Moda too. So lots of beautiful fabric and some really fun patterns. I hope you join me on the 28th of April. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. 
head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi sewing friends, welcome back to Sewing Street. It's wonderful to have your company this morning. I'm Stuart Hillard and we've been talking about the sewing bee this morning and about how excited we are that it's back on sharing opinions. Did the right person go? Are you inspired? Has it given your sewing a whole fresh lift? Are you ready for a new project? Well, in this hour, we've got the lovely Lou Orth, who is a fabulous quilt designer. There you are. Hello. Hey, Lou. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. It's great to see. It's been ages since we've seen you. It has, hasn't it? Time when were you last in? September, I think, no. last year. I know. How was Christmas? Lovely. No. <laughs> yeah, Christmas, Easter. Good, yeah, excellent. Valentine's all. okay? Yeah. Excellent, glad Unavailable. to hear it. <laughs> now, <laughs> You've had a very creative time though I since have, then. Yes. What you been up to? Yeah, more quilt patterns. Uh, yeah, that's it really. Magazine work, releasing my own patterns, yeah. So Lou, tell me about your background. Where did it, where did it start? Do you know what? When I was at school and they taught us sewing, I hated it. I would always forget to leave the presser foot down and my sewing would go all over the place. But when I had my first child, my mother-in-law taught me to sew and I just fell in love with it. Like I've tried so many different crafts before, knitting, mm -hmm. jewellery making, and they never quite stuck. But something with sewing just clicked with me what and I literally never looked back. I don't know. I think I loved the feeling of 
making something with your hands, seeing something you've produced, and it just, I don't know, it just felt great. And I had that feeling of satisfaction. Well. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I made a cushion was my first thing. Cool. I felt like I'd made the first cushion on earth. I was like, look yes. how amazing that is. <laughs> I know that feeling well. Yeah. And then how did you develop from there into the quilt designer? And yeah. the, because I mean, I'll be honest with you, I knew exactly who you are before I met you because I have seen your designs so much on Pinterest, on Instagram, all over the internet. Yeah. I mean, really recognisable style, beautiful. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so it wasn't long after I started sewing that I discovered the world of quilting and mm -hmm. modern quilting and beautiful fabrics, mm. which I'm honest, sometimes I wonder if I just sew so that I can use the fabrics. Because I think we all I do love that, fabrics. I think we do. Yeah, you're in good company, yeah, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> um, yeah, and it just developed from there. And I started off a few years later with magazine work, um, creating patterns, sewing patterns, quilting patterns for them. And then it just sort of developed into releasing my own collection. And they are yeah. gorgeous designs. And for me as a, you know, somebody who's got a strong background in traditional quilting, but who very much wants to be also kind of current and modern mm. i love the fusion in Lou's designs of those traditional skills traditional blocks but reinterpreted and shown in a whole yeah. new way so this is nothing that's going to scare the traditionalists amongst no. us i think what i try to do with my patterns is create something that looks good in a range of different fabrics right so for example you've got here you've got your sort of bright your pinks your blues but here is more sort of more traditional they remind me of end of summer kind of warm vibes and I think it looks great in both different types of fabrics and yeah. that's what I want that people can use the fabrics they love yeah and make a quilt they love with my patterns I think that design is fabulous and it? I love that colorway too now I need to mention really quickly that we've got the pattern for shooting stars on its own but there are literally three left so be super quick it's 8.99 we do have the pattern within our bundle as well but if you want the pattern on its own now the great thing about loose designs apart from the fact that they are gorgeous is that you get three different sizes you get a baby which is 32 inches square you get a lap which is 61 inches square and you get a bed quilt which is 91 by 75 so you get all of those options within one pattern for 8.99 it's phenomenal value i know you can make you could just go with it as well i think this would make look really cute as a table runner a couple Love of that. couple of those together you know make it your own and also i've got i'm completely in love with those almost like scattered squares on point that is really doing things for me i love that i mean i love the whole thing but that for me in particular is like oh, i love that they scattered diamonds that. yeah yeah they're just twinkly and lovely great quilting too Pattern on its own has now sold out. So let's have a look at the bundle that we've got because this is delish. And as Lou said, those kind of warm summer nights vibes, really gorgeous. But it's also going to take you through, well, the whole year. This is a gorgeous kind of, oh, kind of bohemian, beautiful range of florals. I just think it's gorgeous. Now, what you're getting in your bundle, you've got your background fabric, so you get three meters. This is ivory, cream, ivory, yeah, ivory. So you get three meters of ivory, nice and crisp, really gonna set those uh, prints off. You get half a meter of this fabulous blue floral. You're gonna use that for the stars, right? Yes, yep, that's This is gonna star. be your star blocks. And then you've got a total of eight fat quarters, okay? And you're going to use those for, well, you can use those where you like. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so the half of the meter uses the start and then the fat quarters are for everything else. So you can mix and match, choose your own combination. You don't have to choose the order I've chosen here. You no. Can... Fabulous. I mean, you've got the opportunity to kind of ombre if you want, because you can go from kind of dark, deep, spicy orange through to this golden yellow. Um, but then you've also got, just to kind of balance out that heat, you've got that kind of sprinkling of parsley, you know? It's a bit, yeah, I often think lovely. of quilts like food. Oh, do you? 
Yeah, yeah I'm a bit obsessed with yeah. food, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. I'll put it out there if you didn't already know. But I do, I look and I think, you know, what I do if I was, you know, spaghetti bolognese, it's all rather orange and red, isn't it? So you put a sprinkle of green parsley on and suddenly the whole thing comes to life. Same here, you've got all these gorgeous hot colours, these spicy colours, it's like being in a spice market. And then you've got that sprinkling of green and jade there, which just add that beautiful visual interest and then throw in your blue blue floral and the whole thing just comes to life. Beautiful bundle there, £64.99. Now size wise, which of the quilts is that going to make, Lou? This big one behind this you, big which one. is lap, so this but is it's, 61 it's inches square? Yeah. Awesome. That's a lot of quilt for £64.99 yeah. and that great pattern that comes in three sizes. Love it. Um, skill level wise, Lou? I'm going to say advanced beginner or intermediate. I don't like to say it's something that's only for uh, intermediate sewers because I think if you follow the instructions, take it slow, as long as you can sew in a straight line, um, anyone could do it. <coughs> well, hello, sew in, sew in a straight <laughs> line, sew in a straight line. Sew in a roughly straight line, roughly should we go straight. there? Yeah. You can draw Organic the line. Organic straight line. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> I like that, I like that. Um, similar techniques used in each of the units? Yes, it is actually. Um, I'll go through that in a minute, but mm -hmm. it's a flying geese for the main part. And then you've got a similar technique with the sort of, these are referred to as tails. And then a similar technique again with the diamonds where we're starting off with a larger piece of fabric and shaping it with squares. Fab. And also the methods you use are very user-friendly, very yes. beginner-friendly too. Yep. I like the term confident beginner. Confident beginner, yeah. Or yep. patient beginner. Because well, I think one. anybody yeah. who's prepared to just, you know, the difference between a lot of quilts, you know, is, is actually about whether you're going to spend the time on them mm. or not. Yeah. It's not about level of difficulty. No, that's, that's exactly what I think. If you are willing to take your time and slowly work through it, if you're a bit more of a beginner, that mm. is absolutely fine. You know, if you've done all these techniques a thousand times, this quilt's still for you, you just be a bit quicker. Yeah, it's, but yeah. there's no weird templates to no, use for no, this, no are there? No weird templates, we're no squares, curves. We're rectangles. Yes, we are. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's that's a walk in the park. You can do it, you can do it. You definitely can do it. 64.95 for that four, sorry, 64.99 for that bundle. You're getting your shooting stars pattern. Only way to get it now is in your bundle. You're then also getting your half metre of that beautiful deep blue floral. Gorgeous that. You're getting your eight fat quarters of fabrics that you're going to use throughout the rest. And then you're getting three metres of ivory solid. It's going to create a 61 inch square quilt. Lou, will we have enough fabric here to bind our quilt or do we need something extra for that? I norm I think this size you'd probably want about half a yard to uh, sort of about half a metre to create all over one binding but I think off the top of my head you might get a bit left if you want to go with some scrappy, scrappy binding. binding you could use it towards <clears throat> that maybe if you've got a bit of background left over as well what I quite like to do is have a sort of pop a colour around a corner or something I like, like that, that. Nice. just to set it off frame it but lovely yeah. Lovely, okay, fine. So you could always get yourself an extra half metre perhaps of a solid or a print that's gonna go with, or have a look in your stash. Cat, our producer, likes the term, oh no, Cat, who's got it, Pat, beg your pardon, from Kerry Diggian, uh, likes the term committed beginner. I really yes. like that, Pat, that's a great way of putting it, a committed beginner, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Now, we've also got some backing bundles for this quilt. This, this is a pretty pink, love that. It's a really pretty pink. This is called Fuchsia. It's 28 pound 82. I'm just gonna hold that up. You're saving one pound 50. You'll piece this so you can have a vertical or a horizontal seam. Do you have a preference, Lou? I normally go for a vertical seam. Vertical seam. But I mean, it doesn't really matter with no. square quilts, so. True enough. Yeah. Depends which way you throw it over yourself. Yeah. <laughs> really? Or onto the sofa. That's the fuchsia. Great value, great value way to back a quilt. You still need to have a good quality cotton on the back of your quilt. It's not something to, to compromise on because it's going to take just as much washing and wear and handling and rough and tumble as the front of your quilt. Now we're going to go moss next. 
This is a lovely deep moss green. I'll just hold that up as well for you. Again, you've got four meters of fabric in total for 28.82. It's a great value bundle, isn't it? Really reasonably priced that. Rose and Hubble, of course, in your moss green. And then last of all, we've got Seeded Natural. Mm, seeded Natural, always a good choice. I would always wash muslin, seeded natural, calico, any of those things, just so that if there is any minimal shrinkage, you get that out of the way before you layer it up. I don't pre-wash the fabrics on the top, but backing fabrics, I like to pre-wash. So this is the seeded natural, really good price on this one, 20 pounds and 32 pence. Yours will come creased like that. <laughs> I'm just going to say. <laughs> That's another reason for pre-washing as well, <laughs> your, your larger pieces of fabric, because if you've got any of those sort of big, heavy creases, washing is going to take them out. All right. OK. Lou, where do we start? Should we get on with it? So let's do it. This quilt is made up from two main blocks. So we've got this star block here with the tails or the streams whatever you want to call them and then we've got this diamond block here um, you can mix and match the quilt around as well if you want just the diamonds you can have a whole quilt of diamonds if you want just the stars you can have a whole quilt of stars so what I'm going to do first is just demonstrate how to make these flying geese box that cool. make the points of the star so back to basics yep back to basics we and in the star block, I want pointy points. We do. all want pointy points. You want pointy points. How do we do that? I think it's important to just make sure your sewing machine is sewing a scant quarter inch, so that which is just a thread width shorter than a normal quarter of an inch. It's worth doing just a quick test sew with your machine just to make sure it's um, what, what it's sewing when you're normally sewing and then measure it and just see if you've got a digital machine and you can move the point over a little bit or use a seam guide or some washi tape, anything just to mark out where slight scant quarter of an inch is so that when it's all done and it's pressed and it's folded over, you've got a nice crisp quarter of an inch taken mm. off that fabric. Mm. Um, that should give you nice pointy points and the same with the other when you join it to something else. I think block. this method that you're going to show for flying geese as well is the most reliable for the most people. Yes, yes, this one's a great one. So I recommend um, a friction pen for we this. We will be getting them back in stock oh, soon, I promise. Oh. We're trying, we're trying. Um, you can use another type of pen, but it's best to have something that can be removed because we're going to be sewing on this line, so it's not going to be hidden in the seam allowance. So we all have your sort of main rectangle that will be the body of your geese and your two squares and then you're going to draw a line on the wrong side move that out of the way from corner to corner for both of those squares mm -hmm. my top tip actually we haven't got it on the show Lou but for marking half square triangles or anything like oh, that yeah. have you ever used the multi mat Oh no, I haven't. With the, with the sandpaper board. Oh, that grips that, it? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Because oh. you know like when you're marking the, the yeah. diagonal line, the fabric Don't can wrinkle. Fabric. Oh yes. If you You've put it on careful. your sandpaper mat, it holds it in oh, place. Oh, that's so, good so cool. We'll have to get you one. Yeah, because you don't want to drag the fabric either and distort it or exactly. pull it. I didn't mark that one very well. If you've got a multi-mat at home, use it for this job, oh, won't you? This great. is one of the times you'll be glad you bought it. I think I need a new friction pen, that's running out. Do you want me to get you another one? Oh, do you know, I think I've got a spare. I okay. use them so much. <laughs> I know, they are worth their weight in gold. And we're out of stock at the moment, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get them back in really soon, don't worry. There we go. All right, awesome. Fabulous. So, then what you're going to do is take your rectangle and you're going to lay that right tucked in on top with your diagonal line going from that corner there. And then we're gonna sew straight along that line. If you want to, just to make it a bit more equivalent of a scant quarter inch, just do it a sort of thread width into the, what this part will be, so seam allowance, so just this side of the line. 
I will just sew that for you. You can clip it in place, or if you're feeling rogue like me, you can just hold it Are in place. Are you sewing rogue? I think so sometimes. Yes. Yeah. I've used my rotary cutter to cut paper. <laughs> it, there we go. <laughs> Is that awful? Should I not have said that on live TV? To be honest with you, I use my rotary cutter to cut paper too. If I'm doing not paper a, piecing, yeah, that's I'll it. cut the paper with it. And not a brand new fresh blade, but when well, it's on its way out. We change our blades, don't we? We, we do. do. Do we remember to change our blades? We do. <laughs> and our needles regularly, yes? <laughs> now, Lou, I've got to ask you, no spoilers, please, but did you watch the sewing bee last night? I didn't because... <gasps> It's past my bedtime when I come in here in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is that. There is that. I I'm... was looking at the clock last night thinking, should I, should uh, I have to? Nine o'clock at night to ten? What are they thinking? Oh, eight till nine. Oh, it was eight till nine. It was eight oh, till I could have watched it. You could have watched it, Lou. You oh, could have watched it. Oh, I'll watch it. it this afternoon. How about that? Okay, fair enough. Okay, so then you will have it sewn on there. So it'll look like that. We're just going to trim that down a quarter of an inch away from the line you've just sewn. And then you just want to give that a little press back. Mm -hmm. We'll just do that. Perfect. Right here. What do you do with those triangles you cut off, Lou? Oh. I'm playing devil's advocate I here know. now. Bigger ones like this, I keep and hope I find a, a little project for them. Yeah. If they're, so we're going to use some little ones later, I mm -hmm. will just throw those little ones away. But the bigger ones, I just can't bring myself to do it. No. And, uh, but yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lovely little project, maybe a bit of, foundation paper piecing or something that requires small yeah. scraps okay so then the other side you're going to take your other square place it in the other corner and again that line's going that way to that way and mm -hmm. you're going to sew straight along that line again okay and, then and we... we shouldn't worry that those fabrics are overlapping at the top no we shouldn't don't worry about that that is okay that's going to go in our seam allowance later now what's that bit of fabric you're feeding through before you start I'm sewing just doing that so that I'm starting with the, with the machines already sewing, it's got some attachment on the other side and it's less likely to drag that little fine corner into the sewing machine as gotcha. I go. So especially when you're working with little corners, I find those little leaders help. Yeah, it's called a leader, isn't it? Or a leader and ender. Ender, yeah. Okay. And then... Oh, lovely message from Lynn who's got in touch this morning saying, Good morning, Stuart, and good morning to the lovely team. You're all so friendly. Oh, thank you, Lynn. We're all in our happy place here. We really are. <laughs> you know, we all come to work and we have a great time and we always leave on a high as well. It's lovely. Lou, you found us this morning all giggling. I did. And, and a new studio. Right. New studio. Um, sorry, so when you've got your next corner sewn, you just open that out and press it and then it'll look something a little bit like this. And that's it. And you are meant to have that because when you come to join it, so you will arrange your star like that. I've got another one I can prep, but I might just... Have you got an iron on? Do you want me to... I've have got, you got an got iron one? on Great. there, yeah. I'm good, I'm good. <clears throat> so then you will arrange your squares, your um, your geese around your square. I've got another one I need to make here, but you can imagine what that would look like. Yep. Then you would sew them in two rows, and we've got some corner squares to make up the corner. Okay. You sew them into three rows, so those together, those together, and that one together. Mm -hmm. And then you would sew, press it all, and then you could sew that to that and that to that. Perfect. And that's So that's the our geese. star block. That's your star block done. And that will end up looking like that one at the top there, yeah, I think. Let's see. It'll look Perfect. like this. Beautiful. And then we're going to move on to show you how to make the, the tails. Yeah, that's lovely. There and did go. that inspire the name Shooting Stars? Yes. It sort of looks, I wanted it to look like a star shooting across the sky. Mm. And we've got some little stardust or diamonds in the air as well. You know, I sat down to try and design something. I had a, sort of the idea in my head of something similar. I wanted to do stars yeah, with dust. tails. Yeah. Oh, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me, but I Sometimes couldn't. it just doesn't work, does it? Sometimes and then you have to come back. Work. It doesn't work. No. 
That's why, you know, it's great that there are other designers who are doing the things that we can't <laughs> get it. our head around. That's it. It's a great pattern. Thank and don't you. forget as well that you get in your bundle, you get all your fabrics and you get your pattern. And it's not just to make one quilt. You make it, you can make a baby quilt, you can make a lap quilt, which is the one we've got hanging up, 61 inches square. But you can also do a bed quilt, which is 91 by 75. So lots of options. And of course, as well, you could use that star block on its own with a border for a, a cushion in fact any of the different units you could use for cushions bag front you know adapt it mix it up there's a lot of mix and match options yeah. with this one isn't there yeah like i said just all the stars or just a really delicate all the little diamonds quilt mm. i think that would look really really lovely so uh marie's got tails. in touch to say don't throw those cuts away oh. save them till you have a small bag full my charity shop can sell them to shredders yeah, oh, very rags. good. Yeah, I have oh, a, that's well, useful. De the deputy, um, Joan, she collects, um, well, there's a lady at her quilt group that collects up all the little bits yeah. that you can't use for anything else, and they go for rags and they sell them. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know that. Well, that's useful. Everything's it's nice got not a value. to just chuck it in the bin, isn't it? It really is. It really is. So, on to the tails. On to the tails. Okay, so this is what an individual tail looks like, and then there's four of these that are joined together to create this section here. So I'm gonna show you how to make just one of those. And then it'll look like this. So I could imagine get... that making a great border as well. Yeah, you could use on that, end, couldn't you? Like, yeah, yeah, on those that way around. That would look quite cute, wouldn't it? Yeah, if you uh, if you made the baby quilt or something, but you wanna make it a bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. A few more tails around the outside. Uh, so you start off with your rectangle, your very long rectangle, and a bit like what we did with the geese, we're going to create this sort of top arrowhead part here, mm -hmm. and we're going to draw our lines diagonally. You're going to be so good at drawing lines on the back you of fabric. You are. I want to get you book. that multi mat. Let me see if oh, I yeah. can find one. I've got one right here. Just give it a try and see what you think. This is the hemline gold. Clever. So you've got. Oh, there's another. So there's your sandpaper. Just have a go and see how you find it. Oh, very nice. Indeed, nails yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but they're fab because the fabric just doesn't yeah. move. But it's not so rough that it's going to damage, damage, the, damage fabric the fabric at all. No. And same Ooh. as well if you're drawing round templates on something. Yeah. How cool is that? <gasps> That's really good. And Are you, you know sold? What? I think it requires <laughs> just a little bit of roughness. The, the pen draws a bit nicer It does. As well. It does. Or a pencil. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Little things that yeah. it is, just isn't make it? your life a bit easier. That's exactly right. Very That's nice. Exactly very right. nice. Okay, and just like we did with the geese, we've got them in this corner. We're going to attach one there, and mm -hmm. you're going to sew down there, and then we'll cut it and press it. And Perfect. Fold it back. Ellen has a good tip. She says, add lines when you're doing your flippy corners, add another line half an inch away from the line that you're going to sew on, and sew on that second line, and then cut quarter of an inch if you like between the two lines and then you'll have your flippy corner and a bonus half square triangle great nice. tip that ellen thank you you could make a whole other project couldn't you you could you could make like a little companion cushion, cushion or yeah. something to go with the quilt that matches or coordinates mm. okay and then we're going to cut that corner away just like we did with the geese See, these are quite tiny now, but you know, yes. I suppose we've got to keep those. And those then, now go to the shredder. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. And then we'd fold that back. And or if you do it. mini patchwork, you know, like for oh. a, a doll quilt. Oh my goodness! Yeah, or, yeah. Oh, I don't have the patience for that. Tiny. Well, no, and I've but heard that like miniature other... quilts take as long as the full size yeah. quilts, at least. Have you seen some of those at festival of quilts? Yeah. They're amazing. They are incredible. And then we've got the other corner, and we're going to do that for the other side. So what sort of, when we're looking and deciding, because I can get those lines going the wrong way, you know what I mean when I'm doing my diagonal? You're drawing the lines on here? Yeah, just where you position them. So do you mean with the drawing the lines on here or positioning it? Just like, positioning so, it. So positioning it, we definitely don't want it um, going like that. We want to make sure it goes from the, the raw edge of a fabric to the raw edge of a fabric. Right, gotcha. So 
the line needs to go from this side to this side. So we're, this will be our seam allowance then. Kind of clipping then. off the corner. Yeah, yeah. So raw edge to raw edge, not going into the centre. Ace. And then we will just shape this little rectangle and where's my little... I was thinking as well, Lou, earlier on, we have, we've got a, a new fabric range in today called So Wonderful. Oh, yes. From Moda. And oh, I lovely. just thought as well that would look gorgeous made in your Shooting Stars Ooh. design. I'll have to have a look at it's that. It's a really nice range. It's I've the one some... that the Safety Pins fabric came oh, from. Oh, yes, yes. Very nice. I've Which got Lou some, does um, like. Yeah, I did. Yeah, he checked. It is lovely. <laughs> Confirmed. Lovely fabric. <laughs> Um, I've got some lovely fabric I'm using later for the um, snip snip pouch with from Anila Hoy oh. with the lovely scissors on and yes. all the make time I think it's called it's really lovely yeah that is really cute fabric and then we're gonna fold that corner back I'm a little bit of a I'm, I'm always hooked by the sort of sewing themed fabrics yeah this one this collection actually I'll show you quickly I noticed it's, I used the fabric for the diamonds, but it's got little sayings on it. Like, yes. I love my stash. And I think one of them says, sew on or something. Oh, I thought it was really cute. You've got little like cross stitches and I love my stash. Oh yeah, I hadn't stitch even on. noticed that. I'd seen <laughs> I was the like, oh, that's stitch. really nice. I love my stash. Yeah, yeah. it's quite subtle, isn't it? It you, is, but it's you cute. You know it's there. <laughs> so that's the front part yep. of the tail. And then we've got the, the back part. Mm -hmm which is a white square and then you're going to use the same color again to shape that to give it a little tail and again it's diagonal lines oh i use my my little thing. mat oh, they're so good i love yeah, finding a nice cute. new tool that helps you yeah oh they're fab. just make things Cutting a bit mat, easier all sorts lovely message from julie who says morning loving the shows want to make everything can you show <laughs> the quote that's behind you stuart please julie and molly the siamese oh well kiss for both of you um this quilt here is like the mini version yeah, baby um size. it is well, let me just hold it up it is absolutely gorgeous isn't it so this is the baby size so you've got the star you've got the shooting star tails and then you've got the diamonds floating diamonds at the bottom and that's your baby quilt super cute isn't it really cute love that lots of you've got the bundle in the basket make sure you check out won't you love how you've quilted that too great idea for quilting that one with a cross hatch mm. i love a good cross hatch is my go-to that one i sent to a long armor yeah but if i'm doing it myself a nice simple cross hatch is how do you mark the lines i use a friction pen okay yeah, I check twice to make sure it's not a real biro before yeah. I start drawing all over it. And I just have a really long 24 inch uh, ruler mm -hmm. and I just sort of draw a line and then shift up a bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's just for the main bit when you're going right across the middle it can be quite long. But the end bits are normally, yeah. especially for a small So mark quilt. your lines with a yes. friction pen. Yeah. And then walking I... Walking foot? Yes, walking foot. And then I will, so I'll go one way, sew it all up, come back and mark the other way and then perfection it's yeah it's a really lovely way to quilt a quilt i'm trying as whenever i have a quilting guest on to ask them oh, for yeah. a quilting tip oh, because too often we all do it i do it too yeah. we we do tend to just say quilt it Qu yeah quilt is desired <laughs> i know yeah for me it's it's sort of straight line organic straight lines or organic -y cross hatch yeah. um is my go-to. Because you could use uh, one of the more decorative stitches you could, yeah, on your yeah. machine, still do a cross hatch. Yeah, like a nice, wig sometimes you can get a nice wiggly stitch that the Love machine that. just does and you just guide it through and no one's going to know if you yeah. go slightly off. It's... Oh, I can sew a wiggly stitch without even trying. Oh, yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that was meant to be a straight line, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's very overrated. <laughs> now, the uh, multi mat, the hemline gold multi mat that I encourage Lou to use, but I do, I love it. I think I'll take it great. home, but you don't need yeah. to do you anymore, oh, no. Probably not. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, his details are on screen. It's 19.99. Remember, in that, you've got your pressing surface on the outside. So you've got a mini ironing board on the outside. You've got your um, uh, 
Emery sort of a paper side as well for drawing around templates, drawing those lines is Shaw Lou. You've got your flock side, which is your kind of um, little design wall, mini design wall. And then you've also got your self-healing cutting mat as well. It's a brilliant little tool. I think they're especially I, yeah. for, <laughs> for things like foundation paper yeah. piecing as well. Yeah, I've got, I'm, well, I'm back on later with, um, a plea case or am hang I on just to it grip hang on, on to that it. And a message from nick good morning is. i've just discovered sewing street while off sick at home nick congratulations for discovering sewing street big kiss for being poorly i'm loving all of the new ideas for when i can get back to sewing really pleased with that get well soon hope it's nothing serious now then lou on. shall i carry on with yes, the tails please. with the tails you're going to get sick of this but it's it's a square with a line on it run diagonally and we're going to place it in the top corner it will then be on its side later and it will go there so we're going to sew that from outer corner edges to edges it helps to solve the mystery though Lou I think it's really yeah. good to see that it is know. and a lot of people might look at this originally and think wow that looks so complicated yeah. especially as a beginner like I couldn't sew that templates but it's it's we do as you can see we're doing the same thing again and again we've got squares different sizes lines diagonally and we're just placing them in different places but it's not something that's out of the reach of a right. beginner no, a beginner it sewer it's um, well what's lovely is it's supported sewing because you're sewing on a line that you've drawn yes that's you're it you're not having to guess where's the line it's there uh, nina's been in touch from northumberland to say lovely quilt lou good morning to you, you. both good morning Thank i would like you. to see a dark background on it big stars may have to be brighter yes. nina i love that i did mock up one of those and i really wanted to do it with a really dark blue background mm -hmm. and then light stars and i thought oh, there's not enough time beautiful. to make all the quilts but I really wanted to do that well you know once you've got the pattern it. you can make it as many times as you like it yeah. comes in the bundle good morning all gorgeous quilt will you be selling the friction pen refills when you get the pens back in stock every bit helps from Catherine that's a really good idea the refills would be good wouldn't they because then you're not having to keep rebuying the plastic outer well I've got my meeting at 1 30 I'll ask that too we have done one corner i've cut it i've folded it back and we're going to do the other corner mm -hmm. exactly like we did with the tail front and with the geese raw edge to raw edge and we're going to sew across there and there is a lovely traditional block called weather vane that has those units in it so where you've got the white it would be pattern fabric yeah and and i remember i mean many many years probably like 25 years ago i got a pattern for it but it was all hand pieced and it was oh. all with templates oh my and goodness and at the time i hadn't got the experience to look at it and think how else yeah. i might do it yeah and it really put me off that's it yeah and i thought i can't do that and but then you just leave it and you f yeah you, you don't realize right. you that's you right can. but then when you see um a different method a modern method yeah and i never ever think of those corners that you're cutting off even if you don't save them even if they yeah. do go in a scrap bag and they go to the shredder i never think of them as waste no. because the end justifies the means yep yeah. yep yeah, that's it mm. and i am going to join these now and then you can see that even though we've got that little bit extra there the point doesn't go all the way to the end. You're going to see it disappear as we join the ends together. Perfect. And that is just those two right sides together. You can clip it or pin it. Mm -hmm. Or not. Or not, Lou. Or not. <laughs> Sewing in the real world, Lou. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're busy people. We've got things oh. to do. Pins and clips, you're just likely to bleed on the fabric, right? Well, I don't want go. to add that in. It's the first rule of quilting, Lou, oh, don't yeah, bleed don't on the fabric. Don't take your hands away. Oh, I'm going to cut that away. <laughs> and then you can see that that's disappeared. You'd give hey, that a look lovely at that. press. And then you've got a lovely tail that's section. That's terrific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you would do that four times, each one for your different fabric, to create mm -hmm. your four tails. And then you would join that to your star block that you made earlier mm -hmm. along there so you'll have a one unit of tails you'll have a unit of um your star and you join those together and that's your star block awesome really love that and that's the main and there's no real one. points to match there are no, there as long as not. you've made everything accurately yep. and your methods definitely encourage like sort of easy, easy accuracy yes yeah that's it you draw a line you sew along Fab. it now 
Now for the diamonds. The diamonds in two different sizes, but they are the same technique. Mm -hmm. So let me just show you here. So we've got the diamond block, which is the same sized finished as the sort of star and streams block. Okay. So it's made up of the big diamonds and the little diamonds. You've got one each, one big and one little in each color. And then we've got some background when it comes to joining them. So I will show you how to make that. And you're going to be really shocked here, but it's draw a line on the wrong side of right. fabric. Yeah, and, and then, then <laughs> and then what? And then you place it on and you sew along. Oh my goodness. I know. Love it. Shall I show you? This is great though. <laughs> no, but this is great, Lou, because this is what we talk about, you know, um what was Pat's lovely suggestion? Not committed beginner That's committed it. beginner this is what we say a committed beginner it's learn a you, technique that you then use in a variety of ways yeah. to create a spectacular quilt that looks like it's got loads of different techniques yeah. in you actually. create this someone's going to think you're a pro they're going to sure. say wow how'd you do that and you're like it's very complicated actually actually but secretly you know it's just lines yeah and it's sewing cool. along them and Obviously, I'm doing one at a time here, but if you want, you can just, I like to sit with a bit of Netflix on and just draw the lines on mm -hmm. all the squares. And then you can chain piece sort of the first half of the geese, all yeah. of the, the left side, trim them all, press them all, all of the right side. So, you know, it doesn't have to be up and down all well, over the place. Well, I'm going to be binge watching Sewing Bee now, from oh, yeah. now on. I'm going right back to series one. Oh, are you? I was going to say, otherwise yeah. you're going to have to save it up and that's dangerous, isn't Remind it? Remind myself what I used to look like. <laughs> In my defence, it was 10 years ago. Was it really? We filmed it 10 years ago, no. the first series, and it was on air nine years ago. Oh, wow. I remember I watching that and thinking, this is amazing. Yeah. Something about sewing. Yeah. <laughs> The thing I always think about the first series of Sewing Bee, for me, it, it has the, um, I call it the Faulty Towers effect. <laughs> you know Faulty Towers? Yeah. You ask how many episodes was Faulty oh, Towers? Yeah. And we all think it was like, oh, like 40 episodes. Yeah. Like and eight or something, wasn't something it? Like eight yeah. episodes. <laughs> yeah. And the first series of Sewing Bee was four. No. Four episodes. That's all. That's all it was. And... Um, I'm having, I yeah, and I you thought think, it was... No, it wasn't, it was six, it yeah. was eight, I remember, it went on for ages. It's because it was so longed for. It was wow. so important to us, wasn't it? To That's finally it, yes. see our thing. Yeah, and you think, I was doing that before it was cool. I was doing that there before it was go. on the TV, thank you very we much. We made it cool, Lou, yeah. we made it cool. <laughs> yeah. oh. They need to get a quilting version, though. I Every know. time I watch that, I'm always like, oh, get them to do a, a foundation paper piece in. That would test them, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Well, that was what I was hoping I was signing up for, to be perfectly honest. But you <sighs> know, like though. Michelle, who was one of the contestants in the first series, I remember she had just had a baby. I mean, the rest of us thought we'd got it tough, but yeah. I mean, her husband was bringing her baby oh. <laughs> to filming so that she could yeah. give him a feed. Wow, in throughout, between the making yeah, the clothes. Through, you should get bonus filming. points for that, shouldn't I you? I think it was an incredible, you Patrick know, Grant, absolutely. Patrick bonus points. Um, but now, he's a young man. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. He is, he's like nearly 11. He can be on like the kids, kids version yeah. or something, couldn't they? Honestly, oh, wow. honestly, that's yeah. That's amazing. Um, just incredible, really. And that's when you think, wow, it was Gosh. a little while ago, wasn't it? Yeah. In my head, it's like three or four years it's been I going know. on. I know, I know. So with this one, the diamonds, what you can do is do two at a time. So do the opposite corners and okay. then you can trim two at a time and because they're not going to touch each other. So you can sew that, you know, top left or and then bottom right. But don't make the mistake of sewing all four on. Do not do that. No, you'll get friendly with your own picker if you yeah, do that. Yeah, you do it once. We've yeah. all done it though, Lou, right? Oh, oh yeah. It's not just me, is it, that's done that? No, not at all. Okay, so then you'd have something that looks like this, and then we'd trim it down. Oh, she's, where's my trimmer? Where's my rotary cutter? Oh, there it is, hiding under a quilt block. And then you'd press it. You'd press and also open. as well, the other thing that we only ever do once is cut, cut on the line that we've just sewn on. Oh. Have we done that? Yeah, do you know what I've done? When I've trimmed geese, I've trimmed away the wrong side, yeah. and I've cut into the geese, yeah. and I've thought, <laughs> you start wondering about yourself, don't you? With the last piece of fabric. Yeah. 
Oh, no. It's never, it's never a fabric we've got tons of, yeah. is it? Yeah, or, or that seam wasn't very good anyway. So, oh, no. So then you have something that looks like that. And then you're going to do the same for the other corners. Great unit on its own, that one, though. Oh, yeah, this is it. You can use these the knowledge you get from making the star block. Yeah. And, you know, you're gaining skills while you do this. Absolutely. That unit, you know, add one corner, yeah. two, three, four. They're you all can, different units. Yeah. That's it. But it's all the same technique. You will be a pro by the end of it. Yeah. And yeah. you'll have a beautiful quilt to go with it. For me, a quilt like this is that sort of fundamental, that sort of, you know, teach someone to fish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like learning a skill that actually, once you start using it, you start to see where, or if perhaps you found less success than you'd like with another method, the making yeah. flying geese, yeah. for example. See, I think the no waste method is all well and oh, good, yes, please. but for most people, you don't actually yeah. get the accuracy you want. No, and this you is don't a get a rectangle. Great way of having your nice neat rectangle, you got your pointy points. Mm. And then we are trying really, really hard to get more of Lou's shooting stars pattern in stock. I'll keep you updated if we manage to get some more of those. Hopefully by the end of the hour, we'll have some more. But at the moment, all you can get, uh, you can the only way you can get the pattern right now is in the bundle. It is a gorgeous bundle of fabrics though. Oh, it is. I was thinking like summer evenings, you know when it's like a bit cooler outside, just mm -hmm. sat outside with a nice mm -hmm. drink. What am I eating? Uh, you're having some tapas and you've tapas. got a cocktail. <gasps> oh, Lou, yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm so there, kiddo. <laughs> it's oh. lovely, isn't it? you got a quilt draped over a beautiful, a beautiful I'll chair. I'll be honest with you, I'd have to have my own tapas. I'm not oh, very good yeah, at sharing I'm not food. sharing. No, no, no. no. Well, you're quite quick off the mark Yeah, there, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the first time it's come up, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows not no. to suggest sharing. Yeah, can I have some of your chips? <laughs> what do you think? That I said to Charlie on our first proper date. Yeah, no. Don't, I'll share lots of things yeah. with you, but don't ask for my the chips. Food. It's not the food. Just it's make own. or break. We've lasted nearly 20 years so well, far. Well, there you go. You set the boundaries yes. straight. You know where, the, Just be where clear the lines are. Where you stand on sharing chips. Yeah, and you're done. You're sorted. So mini square on point done, mini done. diamond. And it's exactly the same for the big one. Perfect. I love Easy this one with the little accuracy. stitches. Yeah, and that's it. I can make the big one. Yeah, please, yeah. yeah. I can show you well, again. What's, what's lovely, look, Charlie, our wonderful director, is not a sewer, he is not a quilter. He's just said, I'm really getting drawn in. I could, I could do this, yeah. I could do this, I could make that. We're going to put him to the test straight well, as soon as we come off air. Yeah. We'll keep the fabrics, we'll keep the sewing machine set up. Yeah. Not doing anything for an hour after the show, are you, Charlie? No. Make him make a He's quilt. got no plans. I tell you what, I'm really keen actually. I want to get the sewing street team, like our buyers and our schedulers, yeah. I want to get them quilting. Do a little sewing along. I want sew us me. to get a, like a sewing day or afternoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, we should hire a nice, like, country cottage. Nice house. Oh, I don't want to stay oh. with them. Oh, yeah, no, okay, stop fine. Right there, That's Lou. the I'm line, not okay. With them. <laughs> no, no, I'm drawing the line there. Yeah, all oh, right, okay. Well, they no. can do it in their own houses then and report yeah. back, yeah? No, I'm just thinking we could all get together here yeah. perhaps one day oh, yeah. and do some sewing, maybe make a charity quilt or oh, something yes. like that. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm a, yeah. a member of a guild and we do that sometimes. Um, yeah. It's been ages since I've been, but yeah, everyone makes a block. Same block, yep. but in slightly different fabrics. Put it all together, and it's it's really lovely. Yeah, come who's together really quickly. Who's going to put them all together, Louis? Are you volunteering? No, not me. I mean, <laughs> I will oversee the operation, obviously. <laughs> Are you going to be in charge of tapas and cocktails yes, at the end? Yes. <laughs> Yay! I can do that. I can commit I to that. I vote that Lou gets involved. I want her on <laughs> the tapas and cocktails. on the tapas and cocktail committee. Thank you. Yeah, Becky, our tech op, is saying the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we like. That's what we like. That's when blocks start becoming a little bit wonky, isn't it? Yeah, I'm when okay <laughs> with that. I'm okay with that. A bit upside down. Um, <laughs> this is a bit bigger, so I have clipped it because I don't want anything wiggling off in the wrong direction. Okay. Um, but yes, it's again, I've done the two opposite corners and we're going to sew them. So there's like a critical mass at which point you say, yeah, I yeah. need to pin here. <laughs> you need to be stabilised a bit. 
Oh, I didn't put my leader in. And Fab. Use one of these guys. So this afternoon then, is it um, iPlayer and catch up with yes. sewing bee? I need to, don't I? Oh, I've under oh, no, I, I think you do. Because otherwise you, do. you just, you can't stay away from the spoilers, can you? On social media. Well, the thing is, we are all talking about yeah. it. Yeah. We're all talking about it. You have a grace it. period and I think they think, well, if you haven't watched it by now, yeah. we don't deserve to be saved from the spoilers. Right, exactly, exactly. We've only had a couple of comments this morning. I thought there'd be a lot more. Do get in touch. I want to know your opinion on the new Ooh. bees, as we call them. Um, Right from series one, we would refer to each other as bees. Um, and I call the sort of, you know, the, 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 when they're filming, as the hive. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Do you call them newbies? Hmm? Newbies. Newbies, I like it. I like <laughs> it. But I do feel like, you know, there's a kinship. Oh, it, yeah, it must be lovely. Yeah. And you've all got the same passion. You all love sewing. It's true. It's true. You know, and everyone comes from different places and has different aesthetics yeah. or different ideas. But essentially, we're all doing the same thing. I always think the hardest one is the... Um, the second challenge you the know, transformation got, i would just my mind would go blank i think mm. it would be a very similar looking thing to what it started out as i don't know how you get that creativity like straight away that you no. have to on demand it's um it's amazing i yeah i, I mean i sort of I haver about that one actually because i liked in the first series or two where it was kind of adaptations that we might actually do at home yeah you know okay, yeah. make something a bit more fitted change yeah. the neckline maybe shush yeah. up the sleeves whereas when it got to that sort of here's a rubber wetsuit yeah. make, <laughs> make a, a dress out of it <laughs> yeah. yeah you know like, i started oh. to think oh oh i'm not sure yeah you know it's sort of uh, yes it's a bit of fun yeah but you know it'd be lovely to have some yeah like a real upcycle challenge turn it into something different but something you'd actually wear yeah that can be quite useful for I'm other people desperate to... for them to have a challenge where they actually take the sewers to maybe like a charity shop or a recycling <gasps> yeah. center and say like you've got a fiver and ten yeah. minutes oh my whatever you buy and then you take it back to the yeah. sewing room and you have to make something yeah. out of that and not sort of set the bar Just here and you say, go they're all make this a load of silk dressing gowns or whatever yeah, they get. Yeah, because you or... might buy like an old, you know, chunky yeah. necklace and a top or something yeah. and then actually add some beading Doing to it or whatever. Do you know, there's different ways to adapt Change and it. modify, aren't there? Yeah. Or well, maybe you should. Have you tried calling them up and letting them know? Oh, I've tried, Lou. So I've you tried. need to go. I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Love okay, it. And then Love it. Doing the other corner nice and easy patchwork oh yeah like you said so back to basics but they're the basics that you can reuse for so many blocks as you, you really can see can. We're, we're doing the same thing essentially here you lines really squares attach it and we're shaping different uh, shapes here we've got a star yeah, yeah. we've got the tails we've got the diamonds all from the same the exactly. same technique it's so adaptable um, a message from Kate Rimmose size morning Kate Fab shows to it your the enthusiasm from yourself and Lou is infectious I'm sure there'll be lots of new quilters after this ah oh, thank you that's lovely well you know this is the thing you need something to sort of kick start your interest it might be you're having a baby or a grandchild it might be you've retired or a change of pace or with our lovely viewer earlier on who's 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 off poorly at the moment and you know is watched for the first time something inspires you and yeah. then it's about the hook isn't That's it? it yeah just need to go create something and then just see what you've made with your own hands yeah and it's just it's just such a lovely feeling absolutely absolutely about accomplishment and pride in mm. in doing something sue's got in touch on um uh, facebook as well likes the show last night general skill level seems varied mm -hmm. particularly on the pattern test this was one of the things i got actually from my insider that there was there is quite a lot there's some very good and there's some very not good sewing that goes on so look out for more of that not keen on the new presenter though Sarah There's been very mixed to Sa oh, Sarah. Gone, Sarah, Sarah Pasco. Pasco. Yeah. Sarah Pasco. Yeah. Oh. Well, Joe was very charismatic. Love Joe. Um, it's a sewing. 
It's a sewing bee. They could upcycle and make a household item from something instead of the second challenge. Uh, that wouldn't that be great, yeah. Pauline? I like that. Yeah, something because that would appeal yeah. to me. Yeah, like a bag, out, a bag. Of, out of a jacket or something. Yeah, a bag would be great. Christine, oh, thanks. You're getting in touch now with your opinions. I'm glad. I was worried. I thought I was the only person who was opinionated about the sewing bee. Love <laughs> sewing bee. Watch it with three other family. Didn't agree with the garment of the week, but some fabulous makes. Christine, mm -hmm. that is not the first time I've heard that. Ooh. I heard a number of people say, oh, oh, I wasn't sure about the one that got garment of the week. I have to see if I can try and squeeze a bit of sewing bee in between my slots. See oh, if you I can. have to. <laughs> well, that's the best bit, isn't it? The sort of autopsy the day after. Oh, yeah, after. that's it. Hearing people talk about something, we think, oh, I want to see now what the garment yeah. of the week was. Because we, you know, we've all got an opinion on. Yeah. Was it the right one? Yeah. Did we love that? Did we not? That's you know, amazing. it's just, it's great. I love that community though that pops up when the sewing bee's on and everybody oh, can chat about something that they all too. love. And... Oh, it's a lovely distraction, isn't it? Yeah. I loved the bee. This is from Pam. I loved the bee last night. I think the standards are very high. I usually have one or two favourites. This year I have about four. <laughs> Pam, I want to know That's who they cut, are. Yeah. It's between us. <laughs> Love it. So. But there are some great sewers. Oh, I'm going to have to watch it, aren't I? Mm. I always think, like, the first the first episode now, I always think, oh, oh it's so high. The stand is so yeah. high. There's so many yeah. cool Amazing makes. sewers. Um, yeah. And then it all always... unravels. <laughs> By <laughs> week three, the cracks start to appear, don't they? They say, we yeah. want you to make an underwired bra. You've got 25 yeah. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, I give up, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just give me my coat, I'll go yeah. now, thanks. No, it always makes me want to sew clothes again, though, because I'm normally doing patchwork and bags. I do do a bit of dressmaking, but yeah. when you see other people making it, you think, oh, I really want to make a nice summery top Lewis, or a dress. that's what I said this morning, you know, as it. soon as sewing bee comes back in, we've got, we've had adjuster forms and overlockers on this morning, oh, yeah. because as soon as sewing yeah. bee starts on, it's like, oh, what about quilting? Maybe not, maybe some dressmaking. Maybe some dressmaking. Make yeah. this quilt first. Make the quilt first. Make the quilt first. Get ready for autumn Add some and then you can make to clothing. Oh yes, yes. So where are you at? I am so we've done our big triangle uh, big diamond, which is like this equivalent here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a little one. And then you will just make more of those yep. in your different fabrics. So like I said, it's a big one, little one for each of your fabrics. And then you will join them with squares and rectangles. <coughs> mm -hmm. Do we have time for that? Or are what we... about two minutes, Lou? Oh, okay. So maybe if you just lay out. I will lay it out then. Yeah, I, that would be I'm perfect. I'm not going to be able to sew up a whole block in that. No, time. don't worry about that. No. So then you'll have a little one attached to those two. And then you will have your other rectangles. And I, again, will sew them in, in columns. So you would have this column. I would sort of sew that one to that one, press, mm -hmm. sew them and then create another column here, press, create this one, press, this one here, mm -hmm. press, and again this one, this little one here, and then press that, and then attach those in a strip and press that. And then um, with the main quilt, you've got some sort of sashing in between the, mm -hmm. the blocks there, just to give them a bit of space. Um, and that's it when your accuracy matters, isn't it? To get yes. everything to fit. That's it. Yeah, that's why it's important with the scant seam allowance, just to make sure you are getting the loss of a quarter of an inch from each side. Yeah. Because if you are getting slightly more, slightly less, once you've joined all these blocks together, you're going to lose a little bit more or, or have a little bit extra on each side. And it will just mean that the outcome of the block is just a bit too big or a bit too small. And when you come to join them, that's when you'll start seeing that things maybe don't add up quite so much but a nice scant quarter of an inch yep. and you will be fine Fab. give it a go yeah, give it a go yeah give it a go you've got nothing to lose have you fabulous love nothing it got lose. some messages now collector in devon morning love the quilt uh re-sewing bee give them a large bag of scraps and say make something to wear that yes. is a fabulous idea i love that a few more messages on facebook too it wasn't sure this is from lynn i wasn't sure about sarah pasco when i heard but i quite liked her presenting she's been through it so has some affinity with them all oh 
Um, what did she go through? She, I think was she on the celebrity one. Oh, did she do celebrity she sewing bee? Yes. Got you. Um, yes, I did notice the variety and experience. It's going to be fun watching. Claire says, I very much enjoyed the sewing bee. I think the right person went. I like Sarah. Uh, and she said, love the bee. I've got my eye on four of them. Uh, and I like the new presenter. Agree, it should have been a different garment of the week. A nation divided, Ooh. Lou. I wonder if the same four people that they've got their divided. eye on is the same as the other one. Would be interesting, wouldn't it? Another message. I didn't agree with this garment of the week. Much nicer dresses. I don't think anyone should go in the first week. Agreed. Sarah was okay last night and not in the sewer's way. Yeah, that's quite that's, important, oh, isn't it? I do feel for them when they're down to the last two minutes and they've still got five meters to hem I and know. then someone wants to chat exactly well i remember when we did the first series and um lauren was on the very first project was adding some gorgeous liberty bias binding to her hems inside oh. the skirt which was gorgeous and they said oh show us how to do it and she spent 10 minutes showing how to do that and she said am i going to get these 10 minutes back yeah. and they said no no <laughs> <laughs> we all learned a lesson. We're yeah. going to take a break now. When we come back, we'll have Becky Sward with gorgeous things from Crafter's Companion. Don't go anywhere. The Gemini, it's back in stock. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. 
For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street, I'm Stuart Hillard. It's wonderful to have your company. We've been talking a lot about Sewing Bee earlier on, but I'm not going to mention it again. If you haven't already watched it, watch it tonight, this afternoon, okay? Tomorrow the gloves are back off again. Okay, right now in this hour we've got fabulous, fabulous products from Crafters Companion, including, drumroll please, the Gemini is back in stock. Now remember, the Gemini, it's all about die cutting, multimedia die cutting. So whether you're cut paper, but more importantly for us, cutting fabric of all different kinds, quickly, easily, without having to use a rotary cutter or scissors, multiple layers at a time. And remember this gorgeous color is exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. Your Gemini die cutting machine is $179.99, but that's not all. You get an extra bundle of goodies 77 pieces worth £62 for free included with your machine. 
Now, I've got the bundle. This is the current bundle that you're getting. These are all dies that are suitable for working with fabric. Uh, you've got uh, the farmyard. I'm going to call them farmyard friends. I'm just giving them my own name. Um, oh, cute. Absolutely gorgeous. Look. Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. And then some beautiful flower dies as well. Super useful, those. These are all for free. Now, um, as these sell through, the bundle may change, but it's always going to be that same um, value of dies that you're going to get, and they will all be suitable for using with fabric. But the real star of the show, of course, is the Gemini exclusive in this gorgeous sort of light pinky lilac colour. It's an absolute exclusive here at Gemporia Craft. So you might have seen this on Hobby Maker. You're certainly seeing this right now here on Sewing Street. And we've got our wonderful guest, of course, from Crafters Companion, Becky Swan. Hello. Hey, Becky. It's so right. nice to see you. It's been, great to We see haven't you. worked together for, for some time. It's, it's been, been a few months. Quite a few months, yeah. It yeah. has, it has. We've got a lot to catch up we on. Do. But I'm absolutely loving the projects that you've brought with you. And not just quilting, but we've got loads of bag making yeah, we've as got, well in this hour. Yeah, we've got bag making templates today. So normally we have bag making templates, but we've also got bag making making dies and we're going to be bringing those to you in the next few weeks few months kind of thing um, but yeah we've awesome. got one of the templates today so this is something that you can make if you don't have a Gemini but I'm also going to show you some other things that you can do if you do have a Gemini as well to embellish and mm -hmm. add a bit of va va voom you know me I love a bit of that I'm going to pop that to one side now, one thing that was really, really popular when we brought uh, the machine was, of course, the all-important fabric plates because it's all about cutting fabric, isn't it? Now, you do get plates as standard, but these are extra strong and particularly useful when you're cutting fabric. You know, fabric cuts in a different way to paper, needs that sort of increased pressure. Um, now, we know that we get dents on our standard metal plates these are much less likely to dent as you're working so they're going to cut cleaner for longer of course these are our these are our consumables aren't they becky they are. these are the thing we'll replace they are i mean i thought what i would do is pick up one of mine now i use my fabric plates at least 20 times every day and i have been using these for six months to give you an indication you can see there's a few marks on there but they, they've been passed through the machine hundreds and hundreds of times wow. and that's why these are brilliant if you're going to be cutting multiple layers of fabric mm -hmm. that they just keep everything you know looking better yes. um, and working better but yes they are uh, consumables I, I, probably another six months of these i'll probably have to replace them but bear in mind i am cutting every day all day long Absolutely. multiple layers of fabrics um yeah they're definitely worth having it's the kind of thing them. to add into your basket if you've got your basket open add in some plates we've got a message from joanna question hi everyone i've bought the metal plates for fabric cutting how do i layer up the plates please and that's from jojo who's in canvey island I that's will, a brilliant question i will pick them up i'll show you Perfect. so if this is, these are your fabric plates so they're two metal ones they're marked a and b they're slightly different weights of metal but they are really really sturdy if you compare them to the main ones that you get inside your gemini mm -hmm. these are really really strong so you start off with um, a completely clear plate so we've got one of these clear plates then you put your uh, metal um, layer number and b here you would then put your fabric down and then you put your die over the top with your die facing downwards then you put your um, plate a over the top and then you put your clear plate on and you pop it through your machine so you're creating a sandwich you are. That's and exactly it's kind of a mirror image yeah and so you want basically you want to remember that you're putting your you know your, your filling of your sandwich your fabric and your dye in between the metal plates that's where you want to go but I've done them wrong in the past I've put them around the wrong way um, you'll end up with marks on your clear plates um, but it won't it, you'll still be able to cut through your fabric yeah. Um, but yeah basically you sandwich it in between your middle plates your middle Full instructions plates. we'll see you cutting yeah. later anyway if you missed out on the fabric plates when we had them before they're back in stock grab them now while you can remember cutting fabric is is really dependent on having the right plates the right combo 24.99 for these now everything from this hour is going to come directly from Crafters Companion. You're still only paying one PMP from us here. You can check out as many times as you like. You can buy other things, adjust a form, an overlocker, fabrics, anything you like at all. Our early bird, of course, those lovely rose gold scissors. But um, everything from this hour will come direct from Crafters Companion.
Okay, so we've got our fabric plates back in stock. Keep going through for those. Now today, we've, we're talking a lot about bag making and bag making bundles. You know me, I absolutely love bags. I love this concept. I love this concept and I love the metalware, Becky. They're great, aren't they? I need me some. Mm. I need me some. Oh, I'm sure we Should can we sort do that rainbow out? first? <laughs> Let's do rainbow first. Now then, what you've got here, and Becky, I'm going to ask you to explain the template in a second. You've got the template set first of all. Now this is to create the Salisbury crossover bag. Um, now what you've got here are two templates and this is going to allow you to cut out and make this gorgeous bag. That's fab. It is How fab. does the template work Becky? Very simply, I mean you'll see that they sort of overlook, overlap each other um, so we try to use a minimum amount of sort of plastic in, in the packaging. Um, you've got little holes in between the, um, the sort of um, where the pattern is so you can either use um, a spray like a, um, a tailor talk kind of spray to spray through it or you could use heat erasable pens to mark it out and then you cut it through with your scissors. So it's really great if you want to make a bag and you don't want to use a die cutting machine um, but you want that kind of template. So I've got Will you just show us the here. bag? Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. They are really good. Now, we, we always have some fantastic samples that are made by the design team. And we were saying when I came in with all these samples, and you're like, look at all those samples. That's not a, a, a pinch of what <laughs> we actually have. So you can see you've got all these different sort of pockets. Now, um, it's quite a, it's a really that. usable kind of size. This could almost be a kind of changing bag. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could fit everything in there with your little pockets here and here. And then you've got a little zip um, pocket on the rear as well and um, so this is really great for using our zips on the roll that we've got on the show and as everything's well. cut from one template yep. two, oh, two sheets awesome. but yeah. two sheets in one in one pack yeah. that's yeah. so awesome the other thing that makes that bag my goodness me is that gorgeous metalware yeah. now what you've got within this bundle for 27.99 is you've got your template set for the Salisbury crossover bag but then you've got this is oh absolutely gorgeous the rainbow metalware and what you've got here is you've got a pack of one inch swivel snap hooks I always call them swivel clips um, some people call them lobster claws do we get one in there two in there you get two yep. fantastic so two can you see the rainbow kind of iridescent gorgeous tulip pink hello tulip pink loves a bit of rainbow you've got your D rings one inch D rings six in there Becky, I mean, you know, I've just written a book um, last year on bag making. I can't tell you the problems I had finding gorgeous metalware. Really? And, and it makes or breaks. So I, I didn't even uh, think. It does, but it does, doesn't think. it? It makes it, it makes it look, go from being a homemade item to being something that's really So sophisticated. More yeah, absolutely. absolutely beautiful. You've got six bag feet. We love bag feet. Any bag you want that, like, to look professional, but also to be more functional so that when you're putting it down on the floor, your gorgeous fabric isn't touching the dirty ground or the pavement. The feet are protecting it. And these are rainbow too. Look at these. Those are the rose gold ones, of course, but these ones are rainbow. And then this is absolutely adorable. I've got to get these out. A little, look, this is a handmade, you get two of them, handmade metal tag. I'm just gonna whip this out in the hope that I might be allowed to keep it you never know it's <laughs> worth a try um, but again these are something that you know you see these on like you know on Instagram and you know oh that is gorgeous look at that so it says handmade there's a bit of tape on it at the moment but it says oh not so close on my nails goodness me someone needs a manicure handmade and then there's some like little prods you get 16 pieces of metalware you get your templates as well for the crossover bag for 27.99 it's phenomenal value i love it now all of these pieces are available individually you can get the templates on their own you can get all the metalware on its own so if you wanted to supplement if there's something that you need more of these love them um, have a look on the website for those keep going through a message from Jeanette used my fabric plates to cut over a thousand just a minute am I reading that right a thousand one and a half inch hexes 
from six layers of cotton since I got my Gemini from Sewing Street. Hardly marked it at all. Really impressed. Jeanette, we love your message. Thank you. Yeah, can you imagine if you're using a template for hexagons, can I just remind everybody, one, two, three, four, five, six cuts, one hexagon, maybe two layers if you're lucky. Yeah. Do you want to do that 500 times? That's two and a half thousand cuts with a rotary cutter. That's crazy, isn't it? Amazing, <laughs> thank you. Hi, bought my Gemini last time on the show. Never done patchwork blocks before. Um, I've managed to make 48 blocks so far. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Love it from Mandy. That's incredible. Doesn't that make your heart sing? It does, because it wasn't very long that we were on with a Gemini, was it? And it's that's like incredible. Days. Yeah, incredible that people are able to produce things so quickly. Awesome. And I think that's the, you know, it's a key thing. My mum can't use a rotary cutter, she finds right. it too difficult. And so for her, it makes a big difference just to be able to cut out multiple layers of fabric. For sure, cutting out your pieces is the pain point mm. of dressmaking, quilting, bag making. It's the pain point, isn't it? We don't, you know, nobody goes into patchwork because they enjoy cutting up bits of fabric. <laughs> it's the sewing them back together. Now our second bag bundle, absolutely smashing. If you want both of these, by the way, please keep your powder dry. Wait, I'll tell you why, you know why. So this is our second bag bundle. This is for the Cambridge carry-all bag. Now this is a big roomy bag. This is a every this has got every angle covered. This absolutely has. And we were talking earlier on, um, we talked yesterday, and I said this is big enough for a litter of puppies. <laughs> and I'm pretty <laughs> sure it. you could fit a litter of puppies in there. I could there. fit in that bag. You, oh, a weekend bag. This is a great bag. Um, loads and loads Shopping of bag. Yeah. You can fit cool a lot in there. Bag. Nice and it's got nice big thick kind of straps. So actually if mm. you had a lot of shopping heavy things in yeah. there that would work really well so once again you've got places little pockets you've got um, zip pockets in there and you've got all your hardware again on here little pockets at the back as well absolutely fab and just to remind me um, Becky I don't need the Gemini nope. for this this is using a template I draw through the slots or I can use I'm thinking is it like little like little slots in it yes yeah, so you can I'm use thinking a pounce chalk. pad yeah yeah, yeah yeah pounce pad and chalk would work perfect it's an amazing bag I'm thinking a couple of bottles of wine cheese some bread oh, French yeah, bread pi your pic picnic, picnic blankets. blankets oh lovely we are on the same page my <laughs> goodness me now the template for that carry-all bag you're getting 23.99 but remember that's not all you're getting you're also getting the rose gold metalware now let me show you what you get same again six one and a half inch sorry six one inch rose gold d-rings you're getting two of the handmade you're getting two of the swivel clips those are one inch again and then you're getting six of the bag feet all in that beautiful rose gold now you can also buy the template for the bag on its own you can get the individual metalware on its own as well just hop onto the website find exactly what you need top tip here now multi buy the metalware because for me i've got the fabric oh i've got the fabric but it's the metalware that can make or break a project yeah. it really can can't it so multi-buy on those now then if you want both of those bag templates and all of that hardware the rainbow and the rose gold here's the bundle you need there is a saving 44.99 you're getting both sets of templates you're getting all of the hardware for that great price of 44.99 what's our saving there please cap we're going to find that out we're going to work that out it's a great saving if you're really into your bag making or you're liking the look of this love that way of marking the pattern as well easily quickly it makes it it makes it simple doesn't it and mm -hmm. i think that's the fundamental thing we were saying we want to make things as simple as you possibly can be yeah. you know that's why you know we, we bring you the gemini with the die um, dies to use but also we're trying to make this as simple as possible and there's also videos on our website to show you step by step if you get lost oh that's awesome yeah. you save actually six pounds 99 by buying both bundles together that one bundle 44.99 love that 
keep going through for that lots of you are doing that if you've bought either of them separately and now you've got sort of that buyer's regret and you want to buy the big bundle just ring our call center they'll be able to substitute it's not an issue at all we just want you to have the bundle you want now the fabric plates on their own have almost sold out might we just have the details of those just very quickly just to remind you if you want to get your extra fabric cutting dies we've only or plates rather we've only got eight of those left for 24.99 do you call it a shim a metal we shim call, um, it can be yeah mm. we, we tend to call them fabric plates fabric as opposed plates. to we call the metal one in the main pack a metal shim but yeah, yeah we call those the fabric plates fantastic a message from amanda love 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 my gemini i bought it from sewing street having great fun playing with it now who'd have thought anybody would have ever said that about cutting out the pieces for a quilt <laughs> i had great fun isn't that lovely great a message from jane who's in the west midlands hi both will the set of bird bow circles and leaves and stems be back in stock soon please love jane a special request there we'll work on it we'll work on it yep i like the sound of that bundle birds leaves stems sounds gorgeous we do have some lovely dyes coming up later at 12. oh and before i forget i told you when the 12 o'clock show would be available on pre-order it's on pre-order now so if you are in the mood for some more gorgeous dyes to go with your gemini have a look on pre-order for the 12 o'clock hour now then we've got lots and lots of different products from crafters companion do have a look on the website you'll find them all there now let's start with the demo shall we yeah Becky? shall i shall i start with the demo with the yes um, please the applique would dies? you like this machine yes please okay. that would be lovely i suppose so I, can... I thought i would do i won't share food but i will share that <laughs> you're like joey from friends he of doesn't course. share food does oh, he no no i no. don't blame him so no. um let me just plug this in yep. go right so um, with our applique dies, so if you bought the, sh the um, applique dies that we had in the last show, um, why is that not working? Okay, there you go, oh, all off, right. makes perfect sense So now. when you switch it on, the lights illuminate. Yeah, so you've got an on off switch over here, you've got a pause and a, and a play button effectively, and you've got a reverse button, but I only ever use this one because that's all I ever, I ever need. I don't need to keep reversing it in and out. And I, if, it, if you need to pause it, yep. but there wouldn't really be a need for pausing it. Phone really. rings, I don't know. Oh, just let it go. Just let so it just, run. Just let it go. Just let it, get, let it go. So what we've got here, um, I've got some felt and I've got the three, three different types of animals that we've got here, animal collection. Um, so we've got the Animal Friends, which is great because it's got a little um, uh, unicorn in there and everyone loves a unicorn. And I apologize about my finger. I did bash myself earlier on today. Um, I had a little yeah. bit of an accident. So um, this so morning? This morning, oh. yeah. So this is one of the reasons we have our tool tidy on the show because you should be not like me and shove everything in your bag. You should put everything in your tool tidy so you don't have to poke, prick yourself with your um, unpicker this morning oh is that what we've, it, all, we've all done the grim that. ripper oh horrible thing oops so we've also got um farm friends and we've got at the zoo now these little pelique animals are fantastic for decorating and uh, maybe you've got a baby's quilt or um you want to do and um, kind of those little the blocks that the children play with with Super. Things, that kind of thing these are really really great now they look quite small from the packaging but actually they're really quite large so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what these look like once you open them up so you've got a whole selection of different dies in here Ooh. and you've also got a little a little menu to show you how to create your animals do we mix and match there you absolutely am can i allowed do. to come a little closer absolutely Becky? Come are you closer. happy with me come close. getting closer yeah Cozy. why not so you can see here, um, it will show you all the different things, all the different parts of the bodies that you need to make up these animals. But yeah, of course, you could definitely make these into, you know, crazy animals if you wanted to. Love that. Now, I thought actually these really reminded me of those fuzzy felt toys you had as a oh, kid. Do you remember? Yes. Cut them out of felt and you could mix and match. You could create whole loads of different animals here, put them in a box, give them for a child to play with before you even sort of sew them onto anything. What a beautiful idea. Yeah, really I love great that. Idea. So you can see how you put everything together. So it's just a question of choosing your felt. So let's go for let's go for the sheep because I think oh, the sheep's yes. quite cute here. So we need um, we need a face, which is mm -hmm. this one here. We need a body, which is this one here. Um, we need a few of these little fluffy parts. 
um, <laughs> for want of a better term. Yes, good. Some, some legs. Um, we need some ears. And we need a couple of little bits and pieces like this Those one here. Feet. Yep. Yep. Feet. It's quite straightforward, isn't it? I mean, I spotted the little feet straight away. It's very clear. Yeah, it is very, it's nice and simple. Um, so it's easy for you, for you to work out. Becky, can I ask you, hmm. you're going to use felt now. Yep. I would like to use other fabrics too. Can mm -hmm. I use cotton fabrics with Bondi Web on the back? Absolutely. Yeah, yep. no Perfect. problem at all. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Now with the felt, I only tend to use one layer of felt in mm. there just because felt is can be a little bit um, temperamental depending on the type of felt that you've got sometimes you get a felt that's much thicker than other pieces of felt you do. and I think actually you want to make sure it's a nice clean cut um, so one of the things that um, I noticed that a few people had asked about was when it goes through when things go through the Gemini they make a cracking sound and people are a bit yes, nervous about yes. it it's perfectly normal it's normal yeah. and in fact when we put the felt through you'll hear it almost makes like a, a crackling almost like an electricity kind of sound mm -hmm. again that's totally normal so okay, don't worry about great. it great just going to cut a few pieces of my felt out. And the thing is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at those shapes and when you said about, well, cutting one layer at a time and I'm just looking thinking, how long would that take me with a pair of scissors? Oh. Don't apologise for only cutting one layer because yeah. I haven't got an hour to no. cut out a sheep. You're going to do that in a few seconds. Yes, yeah, absolutely I am. If I need ten of those, that's fine. Yeah. That's still not going yeah. to be the hour. No, not at all. Love it. So those are the pieces I'm going to be doing in the white. And then let's see what other colours I've got. We've got some grey here. Oh, lovely. So grey and white sheep. Very nice. A herdwick. Is that what they're called? Well, herdwicks are grey and white. Yeah. Oh, oh I know my sheep. <laughs> A question from Wendy. Can you use fur and PU in the Gemini, please? Loving the show today. Fake fur? I've, um, ooh. I mean, you can certainly use leather. Um, leather's no problem. I don't see why not. You know, I'm no, sure you could um, use all those sorts of things. I'd give them a try. Yeah. I mean, what's the, what's the worst that's going to happen? You try it. If you saw the show with um, Sarah the other week, all that happened when things wouldn't go through, they just sort of you no. Know, spat it back out again yeah. you know they, they sort of said no i can't can't be doing that that's it so, so maybe cork do. fabric cork absolutely definitely works there's yeah. all sorts of different things you can do PU, faux leather yep. i was thinking as well that these um animals would make absolutely gorgeous decals on a nursery wall so you could yep. cut them out of things like oil cloth pu or yep. um vinyl yep and then stick them to the wall. Yeah, that's a great idea. And because they are the multimedia dies, if you wanted to cut them out of card, if you're yep. making, you know, perhaps you're making a, a baby blanket and you wanted to use these, but you also wanted to use the baby the, the shapes on a on a card to work on the new baby, you yep. can do that as well. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, what kind of tape are you using? I'm just using some low tack tape. Okay. Now the only reason I don't tend to often use this, but because these are quite small, mm -hmm. we don't want them moving around um, when they're going through the machine. So we've got our clear plate, our metal plate our fabric with the dies facing downwards then we've got and when you say facing down how do we know which is the right way and the wrong way if I show you here so yep. you can see um, if I oh, can I hope can you can that. just see through there there's like a little slightly raised point just here Oops, like that sorry can you see that it's a little raised I can. it's not sharp um, it's the pressure of the machine that, that cuts the fabric, so these aren't sharp. And then if you look the other side, then that's quite flat. Oh, gotcha. So that's this the is, wrong side. That's the wrong side, so it goes through that way. Awesome. So we're going to pop our other metal um, fabric plate on the top and our clear plate. And when the A and B, do we need to put B first and then, or it doesn't matter? Yeah, but I tend to flip mine around. Oh, fair so enough. So it doesn't really matter too much. Hands free, so I can be sewing a seam, I yep. can be getting my next set of fabrics Absolutely, ready. Absolutely, yeah, no problem at all. And it goes I heard through that the machine. Crack. Yeah, you can hear that kind of, it's almost like an electricity kind of crack, and that's just to do with the felt in there. Perfect. But you'll often get a bit of a crack when it goes through. So when we take it all off, <gasps> you will see we've got to. So I'm going to put that through one more time, just because my fabric plates are a little bit bent in that middle. I'm going to put okay. that through a second time, just to make sure it's got a really sharp cut. There we go. And that's no bother to put it through a second no, time not if at you all. need. Perfect. Sometimes, as I said, some of the felt um, is a little bit thicker. And actually, my white felt is much thicker than my grey felt, mm -hmm. so that would probably be why. But it would work with, well with tweed, but again, you know, oh, gosh, you can yeah. make really nice sort of tweedy animals, couldn't you? Really nice, really nice.
Now the first time we offered the Gemini, we were really super excited about that. We did five split pays with it. Um, it hasn't gone through for this one today. We've just updated it. Let me come down this end, sorry. Ah, we've just updated it. Go on, do it. There we go. Thank you very much. We're just being demanding and we're just saying what we want today. We want five split pays and that's that. So you can get them $35.99. You can get your light purple Gemini, that brand new colorway for us. Now, a question from Alicia. Hi, I can't see the details for these dyes. Are they available? Thanks. Right, those dyes, the, the different animals, those actually, they're a bundle with the Gemini machine. So we haven't got them on the website individually. Oh, we do, we do. Oh, it's a bundle, okay. Uh, got you. So is it still available to buy, just the, just the dyes? You can, 62.96. For the 72, 77, thank you. 77 piece, goodie bag. Yeah, the, the, the picture just says goodie bag, 77 piece goodie bag. Um, but that's what you're looking for. 62.96. Just while we're here as well, just want to quickly show you, Becky was talking earlier on about the tool tidy. I've never seen these before. And this is genius. Let me grab a tool or two. Hang on a minute. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some friction pens and I've yeah. no doubt I'll have a, a pair of scissors as well. Oh, lovely! So Thank that's you. my culprit. So uh, that would have been the. That's what did. That's what did it. Oh yeah. yeah. No. So do we stick him like down like that? Yeah. Oh, amazing! Amazing. Will that go in? It will. You just have to give it a bit of a wiggle, and it will. How? Oh my! Set. No yeah. way! Okay, mind officially blown. Did you see that? Look, just squishes in oh that's amazing that's amazing i mean the blades away but we can stick it in this way as well so that makes it really you that's know if you've wild. just got something that you're working on and you just want it to hand those okay. exact my things. mind is blown my <laughs> mind is blown can we just do a whole show where i put different weird things into this <laughs> That is so cool. That is so cool. Now, whether you're a sewer, you might be buying this for someone else who just has a selection of pens and pencils and hole punches and goodness knows what else that they that you might want them to tidy up. I'm just thinking, you might want to encourage somebody to be a little tidier. Um, grab them one of those, four ninety nine. Amazing. Now, also incredibly popular on the show today. Ah, oh, the zips on a roll. Now, my father-in-law and I, we're both very keen on zips on a roll. Really? Ron and I, yeah. Ron, my father-in-law, does a lot of dressmaking, a lot of home deck, a lot of quilting as well. He loves zips on a roll, so do I. These are super useful. Now, this is a bundle, but you can get them individually. They're $7.99 each. You get five meters on each roll and 10 sliders, which is fantastic value when you break it down. Um, especially if you're a bag maker or a home decor where you need, you know, 25 inches of zip to go up and over the top of a bag or round the back of a cushion. Now you've got your white, you've got your cream and you've also got black in this bundle for 19.98. Now, I just need to let you know, there were a couple of colors on the website earlier on, a blue and a gray that we do not have. They were loaded incorrectly. I'm super soppy, sorry. Super soppy. I'm super sorry about that. Um, the call centre will be in touch. If you've ordered those, you do not. You can get in touch with the call centre, but the call centre will get in touch with you anyway about that. Apologies, but we have got black, uh, uh, cream, and white. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, Becky. That's Where were right. you? So I've cut all my bits and pieces out. I had Lovely. a couple of extra ones anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start building it up. So we've got the little um, body. We've got the face. We've got your little arms, like so. Super We've got, cute. Um, little feet. And you can see how quickly, you no, know, so absolutely cut all these out of all sorts of different um, fabric, different felt, different colours, yep. and give them for the children for them to put them together. Yeah. So they can create see, their own See, up until animals. that point, it's a dog, isn't it? Yeah. And then as soon as we add that little top knot, it instantly becomes a sheep. It does. 
So you can see how effective that looks. I'm so wondering as well, I think I would cut an extra bit of that oh. and just... Yeah. Absolutely, there, you could. a little bit of that and as I think well. Even on the actual um, on the design we've got, we've cut these out of white and we've put them there to make them a little bit fluffier. Oh, that's cute. So you could put loads of those on there if that's what yeah. you wanted. Now I did embroider a little face on there earlier today. It's done by hand. So you, it is done by hand. Yeah. So you can see how that looks. Well, just a little angle that looks quite cute. Doesn't Super it? gorgeous. Absolutely. Well, that's the the benefit of having the individual elements, isn't it? Because you can turn that to one side you could have two of them sitting together looking at each other yeah it's really cute yeah so those are just some of the dyes that you're getting free with your gemini you're not paying for those dyes make sure you're checking out on your gemini it is five split pays completely interest free uh take advantage and also grab those fabric plates while you can oh they're out of stock now oh oh dear we're asking if we can get them back in stock as I speak. Excellent. Okay. Now then, bag making. Yeah. Becky, bag making. Bag which making. Which I am super keen on. I know. It's almost like you've, you know, you've got a few books or something about <laughs> bag making, isn't it? Well, no, I just love the, the, the principle of bag making, though. I love it. It's a quick fix and it's something useful. Yeah. Really it is. useful. And both of these bags are fabulous. Let me move these plates out the and way. And it's had a bit of a... Um, it, you know, it's, it's people are really interested in bags now, mm. making their own bags, um, and it makes them accessible. Because, like you say, you might look at. You no, know, you've got. We've all got bundles and bundles of fabric, I'm sure, at home. If you're anything like me, um, and you can never find quite find the bag that you want. So, ideally, making your own bags is a brilliant thing to do. Um, so, we've got um, our um, templates here. So, I thought I'd show you what these look like. So, these are just um, kind of plastic. Mm -hmm. um, and they've got little gaps in here, little little markings here. So um, that is how you're going to lay out your fabric and you're going to follow these directions. So um, just two sheets. So you can see that they almost sort of um, overlap all of these different templates. And some of these places will tell you to fold um, on the line and then cut out um, the piece on, along the fold. Now, um, as I said, we've got a little video um, on our website that shows you step by step how to build these. Um, but the, um, the booklet that we have here is actually really quite useful. And we do put everything in there. Ooh, we do show useful. you how to do it. Um, so we've tried to make it as simple as possible anyone can make this bag as i would say you need a sewing machine really i, I know it'd be a bit be, be tough doing it by that's hand. awesome 9.99 that's terrific so you've got your um your panels here so i'll show you here they'll give you a list at the top of all the different things that you'll need to make the bag as it is but obviously if you don't want to be using um, any of the um you know you don't want to put any zips in or you don't want to use the hardware you don't have to but it has everything written in here and then you'll see here you've got your areas that are um, made into red and those are the areas how you're going to cut things out so that your bag handles um, are, they're indicated over here because everything sort of overlaps on the um, on these templates it just makes it nice and clear for you mm -hmm. now over here it'll tell you how many of everything you need to cut out now my um, recommendation would be cut everything out first and then sew it later don't mm -hmm. start by cutting out one or two pieces and then sewing them together and then going back and cutting again. It, it, you want to get all the cutting out of the way. It's much easier to do that. And it will talk about whether you use interfacing or, or wadding or both. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you've never um, made bags before, you might be using kind of foam, like bows or kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, that is always quite, quite a challenge to sew for your first time, isn't it? It's quite difficult. Um, or I just used um, sort of a very um, sort of low loft um, wadding when I was making it. And in fact, with some of the samples I've got here, I haven't even used any interfacing. Mm -hmm. so, so you can use whatever you like, really. Um, we use a quarter of an inch seam allowance throughout, and it will tell you to adhere um, your interfacing to your um, lining pieces and also your wadding to your main body of your, your fabric. So you could use one that is like a heat, um, you know, heat, like fusible. A heat, heat fusible one, or we also have sprays. Um, so we've got mm -hmm. a couple of sprays that we sell. Um, so we do um, stick and spray, and we also do um, stick and stay. 
Um, so the stick and spray um, is um, almost a, not a, quite a temporary fix, but you can spray and um, that onto your fabric and then on to, on to, and then push your wadding down onto it, and it will stay together um, and, and while you're sewing it. Um, the stick and stay, um, you then um, do the exactly the same thing, but then you you seal it with heat a little bit like you would with bondo web, right. and then it becomes a permanent. Um, sort of um, fuse. So am I right in saying if we were going to use the stick and spray we would use that say for example to layer a quilt? Yeah. Or if we were layering the elements for a bag and we yeah. wanted quilt batting on the back of our fabric, yeah. stick and spray. If we wanted stick and stay yeah. that would be for? Maybe doing a collar or on a, on a shirt or okay. something like Whereas that. Or a permanent you're... bond. Yes, yeah, permanent we're bond. We're working on getting those in stock, thank yeah. you. So we do have some other sprays available, we'll get to those. You're back at 12. I'm back at 12 I'm, 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 and I, I, we were saying I'm back on the 9th of May I think and that is my anniversary of oh. TV it will be three years since I did my very first TV show which was on sewing course that's awesome which is really weird so I'm just going to get my bits and pieces that I've already cut out okay so what I'll show you is here um, now what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the pocket piece and um, so I'm just going to look for the piece that says pocket lining which is this one here so I'm going to cut that one now so you can see here, um, we went to place it on the fold and then we've got this piece here, which is what we're going to cut out. So I'm just going to get my fabric. I've got tons of bits of fabric here. So I'll Excellent. make sure I've got the right piece. Well, this is what I say, you know, I've got the fabric. It's the ideas for a bag. It's the metal wear. They're the things that I often need. It's a good pattern. It is, yeah, mm. yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to fold my fabric. I'm going to put it. Um, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter too much because we're just doing we're just doing a pocket here. So it doesn't matter whether I'm um, folding it on my um, with right sides together or oh, wrong perfect. sides together. So I'm just going to put, place this where that fold is. Now the graphics yeah. that are on screen are for the bundle where you get both bag templates. So that's for the crossover and also for the carry all. But you also get the 16 uh, sorry eight boxes of metalware so things like your d-rings 36 pieces in total d-rings swivel clips your handmade little badge and your um bag feet so i'm using my heat erasable pen and i'm just going to mark all the way along through these little gaps and obviously if you're going to be using a dark fabric to make this um taylor's chalk um, we also have um, a spray that we use, which is a basically sprayable tailor's chalk that goes mm -hmm. through um, the little um, gaps here as well. Perfect. And obviously areas where you've got um, other markings, if you're going to be using that spray, just cover that up with a piece of paper, um, like so. Is that the, the um, sprayable tailor's chalk, is that called Mark Away? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Mark Away. We've got that on the show. We've got that in stock. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my... Oh, I've you've got, got your rotary you've cutter. You've got my rotary cutter. I've got it. It was in the tool <laughs> Thank tidy. You very much. I don't want any more injuries, Becky. I'm just saying. I know. I can't believe I did that. That um, markaway so spray, by the way, is on screen now. It's seven ninety nine. So what you could do is you could spray over the template. Yeah. And you that could. will mark the lines. Does yep. that come out white? It does come out white. Yeah. Mm. So the areas that you didn't want to um, cover, just put a piece of paper over those. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut this. Now, obviously, and we're cutting straight lines here. So with your rotary cutter, that's that's great. Obviously, if you're going to be cutting the curves, um, I find um, I, you know, using a rotary cutter, I tend to use a really small one if I'm doing curves. Or um, I pin it together and I cut it with my scissors, depending on how you are fixed. Um, so it's up to you, uh, the best way of doing it. As I say, I know my mum finds using a rotary cutter really difficult. Um, now, uh, I, my top tip is don't use a rotary cutter too high. So I always think that when we're doing things on TV, mm. our tables are actually quite high. Yes. And sometimes you need something a little bit lower um, to get your rotary cutter to Agreed, work. Yeah. Um, so that would be my, my, my tip. Just missed that little bit there, just trim that there. So that's how we cut out our pieces of um, fabric just need to give that a trim okay cool. so we've got our and then that's what we would do for all of those um pieces of your template your your um template here so let's pop that to one side and we're going to start um putting everything together now i have already cut out some pieces already 
So let's have a look here. Oh, you have got lots of fabric. Well, wow. It's a big bag. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you're, you know, you, you're amazed by how big the bag actually is, well, to be lovely. honest. Mm. So what we've done here is you'll mm. see, um, you'll cut your, the first part of your handle out and you're going to sew it onto your main body of the bag. You're going to do that with both pieces. Now, I've just used some um, low loft wadding on here and I, I use our spray to mm -hmm. adhere it but you can adhere it any way you like some you know some people don't like to sort of stick it together they mm -hmm. don't like to sort of leave it so it's entirely up to you could but we quilt that now absolutely mm. you could, yeah yeah you could do all sorts of things but what I thought I would do is I'd, I'd show you um, our zips on a roll yeah fantastic yeah so yes please on We've a had roll. a message actually about a zips on a roll. I'll have to move to the other one because I can get a bit closer to the screen. Morning, the zips on a roll are fab. Bought my Gemini last time, just ordered the templates for the bags from Silly Nanny Jill. Ah, oh, thanks for that message. Yeah, zips on a roll. They're so hard to find. They're so useful, aren't they? They are. And I mean, when I first started working for Crafters Companion, I, I got a, a box full of zips on a roll in every colour um, to, to use. And I found them absolutely invaluable. Yeah. I use them so much. I think I'm on my second or third you know, delivery of zips yeah. on the roll because obviously, you know, when I'm making things, I'll end up using multiple exactly. um, of them. So. Now, may I ask you mm. what happened? if the zip pull comes off the zip you can feed it back on yep. um, so you just need to um, sort of cut away some of this excess and then feed it on but it is really quite tricky mm. um, I find that I just start again do you that's my personal opinion yeah, yeah. I mean I've done it myself it's tricky. and because the other thing that I like to do with zip on a roll is actually um, for a large bag I like to have two zip pulls going in opposition so that you have them in the center and you can open the bag like that so in that case you use your zip on a roll you use two um, zips and you you feed one on the other way from the other end so they meet in the center and I've done that on quite a few bags and that's something you can do with zip on a roll yeah and and it just like you were saying finding zips the right size mm. is really difficult mm. I found you know I couldn't when I went to shops I couldn't find the right size or I couldn't I'd find a metal one and I wanted a nylon one yeah. so you know it just became quite difficult or you couldn't find quite the right color and what so. are these ones are they these these are nylon perfect yeah so you can see here you've got all of your your, your sort of pulls all lined up um, so what I do is um, we need a I'm just going to check how, how long our zip is we need an 11 inch zip um, so roughly to here now I'm just going to pull all these zips away and I'm going to put them further down the line of my um, zip tape until mm -hmm. I've just got one left so I've just got one here and then I'm just going to mark out 11 inches and I'm going to cut it and that's it that's all I need to do Great. and then you've got all of this um, left for later on you know we do have some zips uh, some zips some bag templates and the zips go all the way around them right you know then that is a really useful uh, thing to have in your, in your sewing arsenal that you've got that to hand so we're going to um, we're going to insert this zip into um, this piece here we're going to have a pocket on the inside now I'm going to look here we've got our instructions down here now we do talk about um, a zip insertion tool which we don't actually have in stock anymore but you can make do with a ruler no problem at all and um, so what you need to do is you um, you've already sort of sewn across here um, then we're going to mark down uh, an inch below this first panel here so I'm going to use my heat erasable pens again and I'm going to use my um, ruler I've been very organised and I keep popping my heat erasable pens back in their container, which is quite <laughs> unlike me. Well, you're being very tidy, but it's not always the way to be, is it? No, I, I, I am not tidy at all. Um, Talking of sewing. tidy, the tool tidy has completely sold out. Oh, I'm not surprised. It's very mm. good. Oh, but amazing. My mind was blown by that. Absolutely brilliant concept. Love it. And what a great price as well. I bet lots of you multi bought that. Don't blame you. We'll get that back in stock very soon. Um, did just want to let you know as well just a quick heads up we'll be talking later but we've managed to get some more adjuster forms and also Lou Orth's pattern for shooting stars back in stock so if you bob onto the website have a look there you're on pre-order and you'll be able to get those we ran out of those earlier it's the sewing bee effect Becky uh, it's the sewing you know, bee effect my daughter is desperate for a um 
a, um, a a tailor's dummy. Oh yeah, absolutely yeah. desperate for one. Yeah, um, and just to fall. But she's tiny, and mm -hmm. every time she, she she wants one a second hand one really. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to spend the money, and every time she goes to buy one, they're just they're too big for her. Mm. And I, I was like, no. Oh. No, so she's that's what she's asked for for her birthday. Well, I'm going to actually, I'm, I'm going to ask after we come off air about getting the petite adjuster form. All oh, right. Um, because we don't stock the smallest model. Yeah. So we're going to look into that. And they are, they're a brilliant purchase. Yeah. They're an absolutely brilliant purchase because you really can't adjust your own clothes you while you're wearing them can you no you can't and she was um uh, she made me laugh when she went to university last year she was the only person i think that went on her you know everyone else turned up with like big bottles of you know alcohol and pot noodles and things like that and she turned up with her sewing machine Fabulous. and all her fabric love it and she said the first thing she did was look for a, a local so, um supermarket and also look for the local fabric shop there you but, go all yeah the important she's definitely things. my child that's all i can say food and sewing <laughs> okay. Perfect combination. Ah, oh, Fiona's messaging to say, when are you going on the Great British Bake Off, Stuart? Either that or you're hungry. You're talking about <laughs> food a lot this morning. <laughs> oh, I'm not actually had a good breakfast. Um, I wouldn't go on the Bake Off because I'm just, I don't do a lot of baking. I do a few things which I really like, you know. I make yeah. a lovely fruit cake and I make a lovely meringue, lemon meringue pie. But you wouldn't, I, you see, I've but, always wanted to go on the Bake Off. I, um, I do bake mm. and I would quite like to do the Bake Off, that would be great. But you have to be able to sort of make a, a cake that incorporates vegetables in the shape of a guitar, <laughs> don't you, that lights up. Well I just thought actually it would be one of the, one of the problems would be eating all the practice cakes. Yeah, You know that there is would be that. fatal wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'd be yeah. absolutely enormous. But you'd enjoy the practice. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah. So you've created your window for your zip yeah, there. Yeah, that's exactly what I've done here. I've done that there. So I've just done a little, um, I've, done, I've done a line in the middle um, and I'm going to make a little mark like so mm -hmm. and just here as well. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to cut out, um, I'm going to sew, sew along here first of all and then I'm going to cut out this little space in the middle here. Mm -hmm. So if you just carry on looking through the um, booklet here, you'll see what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to put our pocket um, face lining down um, and then we're going to stitch along. So we're going to put the pocket on here mm -hmm. and we're going to stitch along here um, and then we're going to turn everything through. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, nice little message from E in, oh, is it Eileen? Eileen, thank you. Zips on a roll. I have multicolours and I swap the sliders around jazzy i love it eileen yeah you've got to make nice friends idea. with putting the zip pulls on becky yeah, i'm yeah. telling you you've got to yeah i think you've you're probably to. right it's um, um it's always a, it's always a tricky thing i think yeah it's a little bit like you know when you get a top and the zip's gone on the top you're like oh god yeah no what am i going to do to fix it exactly exactly yeah no it's a you can use a fork can you you can use a fork Oh, okay. I think I've Lisa Lamb does. Oh, does she? Lisa Lamb does. Oh, okay. That. I'll have yeah. to have a look at that. There you go. Wouldn't it work? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, apparently, yes. <laughs> there is a video on YouTube. <laughs> Sometimes these things don't quite work when you're you're putting them together, do oh, they? Oh, welcome to the real world. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And it's always the minute you come off air, yeah. you do it perfectly first time. I've had that before now when I've been on air, sewing a zip, you know, into a simple bag, just a lining and an outer fabric in a zip sandwiched in the middle. And I, for some reason, I get brain freeze and I can't remember which way around to do it. No, I completely agree with you. Sometimes a message from Michelle. Happens. Hi, Stu and Becky. I can't live without zips on a roll. I finally got around to changing a zip on a jumpsuit that I love, but was quoted 20 plus pounds. So I did it. There you go. That's the thing. You know, it, it's things like that that can get people into sewing in the first place. They can. Wanting to make an adjustment or... Uh, well, that's sort of what my daughter said when she went to university. She was sort of saying, "Oh, actually, I'm going to earn a bit of money mm -hmm. changing people's clothes for yes. them." Yes, and that's what she does. She does, um, you know, people will ask her to just make sort of small adjustments, like maybe put some darts in a top or something, um, or in a dress, and she does those, and she quite likes that. It's a, it's a good option. 
It's a way of making a little bit of money that um, she wouldn't have done otherwise. Very resourceful, very resourceful. So I'm just sewing um, along the rectangle which I've done here. Fab. Like so. Now remember, these um, templates you, anyone can use. You do not need to use the Gemini. You're not using them. They're not die cut or anything like that. It's a, um, a plastic template that you're drawing through the slot. You know, different elements. So they're all on the template for you. Pop them on the fabric, draw through, and then cut them out either with rotary cutter or with scissors. So these are accessible for everybody. We will be looking in more detail at the Gemini at 12 o'clock, and we've got some lovely dies as well, lovely patchwork dies to show you um, at 12 o'clock. Finally back in stock. And remember that gorgeous, soft, lilac-y pink is an exclusive for us here at Sewing Street. We're very lucky. We, you are, because it's such a... We haven't, we haven't got these. None there of us you have got go. them. <laughs> there you go. I think we've only got two here. We have to share them. <laughs> so you've put your pocket piece I, on the front of your bag. I have. Now I'm going to cut down that middle um, line I've got here. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut through left. here. And then I'm going to use my curved scissors, which I think I put in. You've got right here. Yeah. We've got Thank these you. curved scissors. And they exactly match that um, uh, hardware on the, um, on the bags. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to use these just to cut this little piece here. Like ah, so, so like the okay. curved helps. Yeah. Also, you'd get those under your um, seam when you're sewing, be able to get them right to the yeah, they're sort really of, uh, useful. Press a foot, wouldn't you, if you want to trim threads? Absolutely. Or... So. Ah, <coughs> excuse me. Four ninety nine for those scissors, in that gorgeous rainbow effect. That sort of uh, aurora borealis. Now, <coughs> you can sort of trim this um, here, to, so you get rid of all this sort of excess bulk, if that's what you want to do. But we, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this pocket in like so. And fold that round the outside, and we're going to give that a little bit of a press. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pop the zip um, inside there, and then sew around the edge. So I'm Got actually you. going to trim that a little bit. There, so you've created that bulky. little channel. Yeah. Got about one minute left, Becky. Wow, I'm not going to. I did say I wouldn't be able to finish the bag, and I was you right, did, didn't you I? You were. You were. Well, we've got so many things to to show you. So many different. Sort of Absolutely. Options. Well, I think the most important thing is seeing the finished bags, which we did, and also how you do it, the templates. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Becky. No problem. You're going to be back at 12 o'clock, aren't you? I am. Can't yep. wait for that. Can't wait for that. Um, keep sewing, my love. Keep sewing. Thank you for your company this hour. We've got, remember, we've got loads of different uh, products for sewing, lots of metal hardware, lots more notions to bring you at 12 o'clock as well. Fabric clips are in stock. Well, we've also got some amazing coatings, fabric coatings, um, and also some great, some other great metalware. Can I just mention very quickly, which I've got my eyes on, the metal snap tools, again for bag making, in the brass and also in the silver effect with a free tool. I have absolutely got my eye on these. I want, I want, I want. 44.99 you get both of these and you get that for free in the bundle absolutely brilliant and they bring such a professional finish to your bags and projects really wonderful okay right can't believe the hour's gone so quickly very very quickly we've had a message from Alison saying hi Stuart please could you wish my sister Leslie a happy birthday for tomorrow we're both watching while sewing thank you Alison of course I will Leslie mwah, big happy birthday to you mwah. lots of love from us all at Sewing Street for tomorrow hope you have a fabulous day and enjoy your sewing day as well with sis sounds wonderful all right, we're going to go to a break now. When we come back, we've got the fabulous Lou Orth, who has got two gorgeous projects for us, a gorgeous pouch and also a quilt. Becky, we'll see you in an hour. Thank you. See you in a couple of minutes. Hi, everyone. I'm Savianne Harrison, and I am 
a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston and I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with the sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. Uh, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas. So do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Welcome back, welcome back. It's lovely to have your company here on Sewing Street today. It's Thursday. Now I need to let you know something very exciting and important. The adjuster form uh, in the Sew so Deluxe, that's the blue, the sapphire blue one that has the, the leg, the trouser bit. We've got 10 back in stock in size B. It's the most popular size. If you missed out earlier on, we've got 10. Now remember this is a bust 39 to 47, waist 32 to 40, hips 41 to 49, and a back length of 15 to 17 inches. Now you're still getting five split pays. £31.99, no, it's not £31.99 at all. It's £28.80 because we're also giving you 10% off the price. This is a great, great day to get yourself an adjuster form. It's our most popular one too. And actually, we should be charging more for the sapphire than the cherry because it does more, it has more, but we like to keep the price the same. So grab your adjuster form today. Size B, back in stock, but we've only got 10. We've only got 10. Now also back in stock, Shooting Stars pattern. Lou, we love your patterns. Yeah, it's lovely. We love your patterns. Can't wait to the see Shooting them. Star pattern is back in stock. Now remember, this is an exclusive pattern from Lou Orth. Uh, you get not just one, but three different sizes of quilt. You get the baby, which is 32 inches square. Imagine if you had a 32 inch square baby. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> Gorgeous, change the nappy on that. <laughs> then the lap quilt is 61 inches square, and then the bed quilt is 91 inches by 75. You get all of those patterns within one from Lou Orth. Absolutely fab, loved it loved it now be quick because we've only got 20 of those left check out your baskets nice and quick now in this hour lou is back lou welcome hello you're thank spoiling you. us today not one <laughs> but two projects that quilt hanging behind lou isn't that fabulous love it lots of color lots of chance to oh. play with different colors different fabrics ombre yeah yeah. Choose your favourite print. Yes. Yeah. Show it off. Have a nice big chunk of fabric there. It is. It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Been really popular on pre-order. 
but we're going to start with the pouch now you've also brought us the snip snip mm -hmm. scissor applique pouch project now then let me show you the pouch first of all it's really gorgeous love this as a project pouch you've got um nice and roomy lovely zip in the top look all fully lined with gorgeous fabric we've got all these fabrics we've got these fabrics and then you've got that gorgeous scissor applique on the front now then how might we use this lou well i realized you can fit my size patterns in there the other day oh, awesome <laughs> i think it's perfect for all your sewing tools your scissors your rotary cutter your pins your needles stuff all of it in there mm. and you know what you're doing with it and so. as you say also absolutely perfect size for putting your lou auth patterns in but yes. also your dressmaking patterns yeah. would fit in there too and you know additionally you could always add another little label in the bottom maybe use the alphabet on your machine oh, yeah. you know yeah, and this might stitching. be dress patterns yeah. uh summer coat patterns Ooh. winter have a beautiful organized drawer of pouches can you and patterns. imagine how lovely i dream of being that organized <laughs> yes. i really do um the can i ask the seam ripper mm -hmm. do we get that that's an extra just oh. for sewing street today oh. exclusive awesome with the bonus seam ripper applique pouch we need pattern. to make friends with the grim ripper we do don't we really really it is our it is the friend we don't you know we don't admit to liking but we do we spend a lot of time with we spend a lot of time <laughs> together yeah now then we've got some bundles that combine fabrics and pattern let's start with the one that, that i've been showing you so you get your pattern for your snip snip scissor applique and our extra pattern that's exclusive for sewing street is yep. that inside yes so you will get your templates inside and it comes with three sizes of the scissor you've oh. got the medium which is on the front of the pouch a little small one which you can use to add to little things i've put it on a little gorgeous a little uh, little basket there and you also get a really big size if you want to turn it into a cushion or oh, something mega. like that so you get three sizes of the scissor template and then you also get the seam ripper um in that one size the medium size which is great for the pouch how cool is that and you can't get the seam ripper can't anywhere get seam else ripper anywhere awesome. else at the moment so you no. get that pattern and then you're also getting two fat quarters of fabric that's enough to make one pouch outer lining or the other way around now of course if you wanted to supplement this with some of your solids some of your stash mm -hmm. you could actually make two pouches am i right Lou? yes yep oh, outer for the uh, fat quarter for the outer and no, a fat quarter for the liner but if you wanted to keep those for yep. two outers and a bit well. of bond web for your applique yes a bit of bond web that's what awesome. we're using today that's the first one great price 14.98 next bundle let's go with make time from Moda I love this this is absolutely perfect so not only is it a sewing pouch but it's actually got sewing themed fabrics so you've got the scissors in that gorgeous soft slaty blue and then you've got the scattered pins on a lovely apricot background plus your pattern of course for that fantastic price 14.98 right next up let's go this is sunny and bright and gorgeous love this all right so you've got little mini sun uh sunrise sunrise there you go and then you've also got that beautiful yellow floral absolutely gorgeous plus your pattern all right wonderful then we've got oh like this oh yeah lovely favorite color there you go rainbows rainbow blooms and shooting stars two fat quarters plus your pattern 14.98 all you've got to do is make the very difficult decision of which fabric combo you like best and then this one's pretty you've got little apricot sunrises that is adorable and then this really pretty little sort of pinky lilac vine with a tiny lemon flower in there as well absolutely gorgeous love that now we can do the pattern on its own there it is because of the gorgeous fabric that we had in the first hour so wonderful from moda brand new today um, the pattern is 7.99 fantastic absolutely brilliant for something you're going to make again and again and again love it love all the different appliques as well yeah the you can use those for attached to whatever you want tote bags mm -hmm. cushions pouches yeah. love it yeah. 
Really love it. Okay, what sort of level sewing wise is this going to be? I'm going to say committed. Committed beginner. Love it. <laughs> Woo -hoo, you can do it. You can do it, everyone. Come on, there we go. <laughs> I believe in you, you can do it. We're doing as long it for the committed yeah, beginners today, aren't you we? You can turn the machine on and get it running. You're okay, you can do it. You're in business. You are. I love you it. Oh, just talking of that, Lou, what is your angel policy? Can people make and sell? Yep, if you want to um, make a load of these and sell them, that's fine by me. Obviously, I'd love it if you could credit the designer as yep. Lou Orth, but I've got no problem with people making and selling. That's fine by me. Go awesome. For it. Great. Don't go into factory production. Yeah, no, please don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't sell the pattern. Don't give the pattern away as well. It's no. all about, I mean, we need our, yeah. those sales of our patterns in yeah. order to design more, don't yeah, we? Yeah, to keep going and uh, yeah, keep making That's more patterns. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Fabulous. So that's our snip snip scissor applique pouch really useful love that now we've also got the gorgeous groove quilt now let's just start off with the bundle now we've got two different options we've got a patterned fabric option and we've got a solid fabric option i love them both um, so this one we've got an amazing selection of fabrics now you're saving 12 pounds on this bundle. You're getting six meters of fabric and this will make 59 and a half inch by 51 inch quilt. So you're getting a couple of reds, which look absolutely gorgeous together. You're also getting the greens. So that's rather fabulous, folk arty. You're also getting the gold as well really loving that look at that combo beautiful and then you're also getting white solid to crisp everything up this is absolutely a gorgeous combination i think that's stunning now personally lou i don't know about you but i'd keep the reds together i'd keep yeah, the greens together i was just thinking that would you have that on the end or in the middle i'd probably have it in the middle have it in the middle and so then a kind sort of transition of into like the greens that yes yeah I like that. yes 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 that sort of combo and then you've got white you top got and white. bottom yep. you're getting a meter of each of those fabrics that's oh, good wow. value yeah. and a meter of the white absolutely superb plus you're getting the pattern for groove groovy baby groove yeah now our solid bundle is delicious if you thought that last bundle was great value this is going to blow your socks off 49.99 under 50 pounds for this you're getting your pattern and then we've got a selection of solids which pretty much yeah we've pretty much copied yeah, your pattern that matches. yeah all right so we've got your white solid you get a meter of each you've got your sky blue you've got your royal blue you've got your pomegranate peach and sunshine on a cloudy day oh, yes love it under 50 pounds and actually you know exactly what you're going to end up making there because the quilt was hanging behind Lou delish absolutely delicious we can do the pattern on its own as well of course it's been very very popular on pre-order it is 8.99 for that and you get your full instructions now again Lou always gives you multi-size options so you're getting baby 31 and a half inches by 27 and a half inches you're getting lap 59 and a half by 51 that's what you've got enough fabric for in this bundle and then you've got the bed quilt 87 and a half by 75 now if you wanted to make the bed quilt you wanted to make the larger version you could always buy extras um, of these fabrics from the website to do that uh, that is a stunning quilt Can now I just share one extra thing about yes Bruce? please what's great is there's different layouts and the precinct and the making of it is exactly the same yep. it just comes to when you're lining those blocks up you can arrange them differently so it's the same cutting same fabric requirements it's just about how you rotate those blocks Ooh, and you could that. have three different quilts there all from same amount of fabric same cutting same that's awesome doing, same you're piecing. just rotating the blocks when yeah. it comes to putting it together right at the end and you've got three different layouts there that you could have from the same so fabric. now i'm thinking i've got so three got, different layouts yeah, each of them. three different sizes <laughs> yeah. so i've actually got nine different quilts yeah, in one pattern so that keep you busy wouldn't it pound a pattern yeah 
So there you there go. There you go. Amazing. Oh, I love it. We're going to start with the pouch bit. demo, yes, aren't we? Yes, we are, yeah. Let's do some bag making. Let's let's do some applique. Yes, so, let's. I've got this lovely make time fabric. Uh, and this is going to be my pouch outer. So we'll need two for the outer and two for the inner. And the instructions for cutting are inside. One thing I do say is for this front piece of fabric here that we're about to applique on, cut it a bit larger first. We'll then add the applique and then you can cut it down to the right size once it's all stitched on, just in case you get a bit of movement with the fabric, a bit of reduction once you've stitched that on and then we can all square it up later. That's a really good so, tip. So, yeah, so I've got here, you can see one is a bit bigger. So that's going to be my, the back of the pouch. This will be my front that I'll be appliqueing on. And How, you guys have got a lovely, lovely pink. fabric, isn't it? It is, and it looks like it was made oh, to go together. Smashing. That light pink goes so well. So that's what I'm going to use for my scissor fabric. And then I'm going to pop that onto the front there. And then lining wise, are you using the scattered pins? Yes, I'm using the scattered pins for the lining. Fab. And then that for the outer. And really then that pretty for the combo. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm. So pretty. So I've got my bonder web and I'm going to take my pattern out. And we're going to be using the medium size for this one. And you're going to lay it down. Yep. And then you've got to lay your bond web on. It's got like a papery side and a shiny side. We are going to lay it um, shiny side down, papery side up. And I just like to use um, a sharp pencil. Yeah. And you're going to draw around the whole of the outer mm. of this. I'm going to get going on that. I'm now, a little question a for rough. you. You're yeah. using a propeller pencil, yeah. which of course has a consistent thin yeah. Uh, yeah. end point. Um, why is that important when you're tracing appliques? Why not just use any old pencil? Yeah, do you know, you could use another pencil if you keep it sharp, I think. Yeah. Um, you want to make sure those lines are precise as possible because these are the lines you're going to use to guide you when it comes to finally cutting out your applique piece so Understood. I'm going to go a bit quicker than I probably would normally just for the yeah. sake of the show but then that is your final piece there's no um, uh, editing later so to speak so you want to make sure that you're you're drawing and then when you're cutting out those lines later they're as precise as can be because yes. you know it's nice more edge applique yeah you want to make sure you're drawing exactly on the line Perfect. And with those dull pencils, the, the, the width can end up being quite big on some Yeah, of you them. lose your accuracy, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. You do. Perfect. Well, the colourway that you're using is proving very, very popular. It's the lovely. details are on screen there. This is the pink and blue applique pouch kit using those wonderful fabrics from Moda. Make time. Oh, if I could, Lou, <laughs> I would. I'd make sewing. extra sewing time, definitely. Oh, yeah. In fairness, I do get plenty of sewing time, but you can never have quite enough, can you? There's always something else to do. Yeah. So this pattern is quite simple. We've just got the, the main scissor piece, and then we've got a little circle that's like the, the screw. So I'm just going to draw around that as well. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cut it out. Okay. I've got my... When you come to cut it out at this stage, you can cut it out with a roughly a quarter of an inch around the line you've sewn. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be too precise. Okay. We will do the more precise cutting later. Well, if you don't need precision, I could do that for you yeah. if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to cut out the little circle separately because that's going to go on a different piece of fabric. Oh, okay. Because that's a slightly different colour. But don't cut on the lines at the no, moment. No, do not cut on the lines at the moment. That will make life more difficult later. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this out. I love a bit of applique. Oh, it's so nice and quick, and you get shapes that you know you can't you can't get with the traditional piecing so yeah. easily. So it's really lovely to be a bit creative and try a few different shapes. And Absolutely. like I said, you can add these to anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'd be so cool on a sewing machine cover. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Or on an apron. If you have yeah. A Some people wear a sewing apron, don't they? Oh, yeah, you could with you all know. your little tools in yeah. there. 
lovely Janet Clare's sewing apron, oh, Alison yes. Marion's yeah. apron, of course. If you've got either of those <coughs> patterns, you could absolutely decorate them using the applique scissors and the seam ripper, of course. Make friends, make friends. Make friends with your seam ripper. Invite the seam ripper around for tea. There's my grey fabric. So I'm going to use just a little bit of grey fabric for the the scent the little screw bit okay so and then it's not so easy to see with solids but you would attach it to the wrong side to the wrong side of yep. the fabric so that's the rough side the gluey side yeah so the rough uh, gluey side of the fabric uh, the gluey side of the bondo web to the wrong side of the fabric mm -hmm. so that goes down like that I don't know if you guys can see what I just Ooh. shimmy it over a bit. There we go. And then you're going to make sure beforehand that you press the fabric really well so that it's not got any creases in. And then you're just going to press it down, hold it on, no moving around or shifting because you don't want it to Oh, okay, crease. so press rather than iron. Yeah, you don't want it to crease and then get stuck on. So just hold it on for a few seconds on a medium heat. Just make sure that is completely stuck down. And I will just do, I'm just gonna leave that to cool for a second. Let that okay. just cool and flatten while I do my- Why is it important to let the Bondi web cool? <sighs> I don't, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sorry. I don't know. No, I think it's probably best just let it cool, let it set yeah. before you start so mucking around yeah. with cutting it. Yeah. Let it all set, let the glue set yeah. before you start uh, chipping away at it. Okay, so that's my bit time. Like when you take it? beans out of the microwave, don't oh. try and eat them straight away. <laughs> no, we've it's all done lead to it. Trouble. We've all done it. Or a cup of tea. I'm an absolute oh. nuisance for doing that. I'll oh, leave two cups of tea to go cold. Yeah. And then it... rather than throw them away and make them again, I reheat them Do in the microwave, them. often two or three times. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Yorkshire you tea, will you? You need to have a thermos, don't you? So that no. you're permanently uh, warm. But then I take it out and it's like volcanically yes. hot yeah. and I try sipping it and burn my mouth you know so you need so. a rubbish thermos that doesn't keep it warm for very long <laughs> right so it's glued on it's cooled down uh -huh. and now is the important take it slow snip it out nicely okay I like to use some little sharp scissors so that you can get in all the little nooks and crannies. Our early bird this morning would do that job rather well. Either of the early birds, actually. They both, uh, there was the stalk scissors, but they were 5 99 amazing price. But there was also, did you see those, Lou? Rose gold. Oh. Rose gold the, stalk scissors. Yeah, hemline ones, are yes. they? Yes, they're very nice, aren't they? And then we also had a set from Quilted Bear that was dressmaking scissors oh. and embroidery scissors and pins and um, oh, the whole lot. thimble. And the pins have a rose gold head. Oh, how lovely. Nice. It's nice to have a little bit of joy, isn't it? To oh, yeah. Imagine you're sewing. Small things. Collector in time and we has message to say, Good morning, Stuart. I love a plique. I find it very therapeutic. It is. It is. And this is building up that picture. Pat's got in touch too to say, amazing demos today, uh, Stuart. Lou is a great demonstrator. Oh, thank you very much. Lou is terrific. I, I'm so, well, I'm just glad you're back now. Lou loves but chatting been, about sewing, that's what it is. It's been too long since I've seen you. Life just whizzes past at the moment. Does. And you I know think, it does. where's it all going? What part of the world are you from, Lou? I'm Oxfordshire, South Oxfordshire oh, at the moment. So yeah, it's lovely. It's not too at bad. At the moment, at the you're mo moving. Oh no, I've got no plan. <laughs> yeah, I'm off to Australia. <laughs> no, you're I'm a not. rolling stone, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you know, never know where I'll be next Wherever week. Wherever you lay your hat, <laughs> a sewing machine. Yeah. Oh. Now you mentioned Australia, have you been? No, I haven't. I'd love to, to go. I would love to go, but I absolutely hate spiders. So want to go, but also Lou, not sure. Let me put your mind at rest. Hey, do you know, every time I mention Australia, people spiders. always say, oh no, the spiders. Oh, those that... huntsman ones. I've like... been loads of times oh, to Australia. Have I have never, ever oh. seen a spider, ever. Oh, really? Not once, no. Philippines, different. Oh, okay, bird right, noted. Bird-eating spiders. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, that just... That's a big old web, no, isn't it? No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, Australia, nothing. Not... And I've only ever seen one snake, and it was dead. Oh, I said, I don't mind snakes. I mean, I probably should worry about them just as much, because they're likely to 
harm you, aren't they, in Australia? But yes, not just in the Sydney. spiders. Ugh. Not in Sydney. No. Stick to Sydney. <laughs> okay, noted, right. No, I mean, Book. obviously, if you're in the outback and you go, yeah. and, you go and use the Danny in the outback, Watch you definitely out. want to check before you sit down. Oh. But yeah. Oh, the idea of them in the toilet. <laughs> Oh no, I love um, it. It's gorgeous, fabulous country, fabulous okay. country, really beautiful. Wow. And they love their quilting and they yep. love their bright colours. Fabulous. Yeah, I think you'd like it. I'll add it to the list. Well, we're having a busy morning today. Busy, busy. Lou Water's got her beautiful snip, snip scissor pouch. It is gorgeous, super useful, the kind of thing that you need to make multiples of. Yeah. In your little kit, you're getting, you can buy the pattern on its own, of course. We do have the pattern, but the details are on screen for the pattern on its own. It's $7.99. But you can also get a little bundle where you get your pattern and you also get your fabrics. Now, what we've done here is, or what Lou's done, is to use a fat quarter to make the outer of this one and the other fat quarter to make this one. But what you could also do is to use both fat quarters and do the outer in one and the lining in the other. You'll just need a little scrap of something to create your applique. And yeah. remember in this pattern you're getting an exclusive extra applique which is the seam ripper. Yeah. And um that there. How are you getting on with your cutting? Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to go as quick as I can, but not to, it's, there's some fiddly bits no, on this. I want so you just to make a nice job. Take it slowly, I know, because I, I love these fabrics. You should have enough with the fabrics as well, that if you wanted to, the one you do the lining in, you could use the little bit extra to cut out the applique, so you could mm. have, if you've got two favourite fabrics and you can't decide which you want inside, which you want outside. Mix and match. You can have, yeah, a Great little idea. bit of the lining on the outside. Oh, Fiona's messaged, <laughs> About the spiders in Australia. Oh, yes. So that's because you stay in posh hotels, Stuart. <laughs> so spiders can't afford to enter. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. So maybe there are more than we, we have. Realize. We have stayed in some really posh hotels in Australia, but we've also stayed in, you know, motels once. Yeah. We were in staying in Western Australia and we, we'd got back late at night and we, well, we were staying in Cottesloe, which is a lovely little place on the yeah. beach. And we thought, oh, we'll just get a hotel when we get there, all booked. Oh. So we ended up staying in a, tr like a backpacker's hostel with bunk beds in a dorm room. Oh, well, that's a bit different. So I, well, uh, I was like having a flutter, you know, and I was like, oh, I can't do it, I can't yeah. do it. And Charlie was like, it's just one night, it'll be fine, it'll yeah. be fine. Anyway, within about half an hour, we were out the back of the hostel with a load of backpackers. They were barbecuing. There was a couple oh. of them with guitars. Oh. We all sat around singing. That and sounds lovely. It was Not fabulous. It was fabulous. Way to meet other people, right? You don't get that at the Intercontinental, Lou, let no. me tell you. <laughs> I bet you don't. Okay, right, I've cut them out. Are. I've cut them out, done. So with this one, what you have is you have the little little circle there that's gonna go roughly there. So I'm gonna peel that off first. Just peel off the paper on the back. If you do struggle, what you can do is get a little pin and scratch the back. I don't have a pin, I have a pair of scissors. And just to create a little tear so you can just get a finger under there and peel that paper away. Mm -hmm. It should come away quite nicely. With these ones, Oh, I'll show you in a minute. You want to be careful not to pull it too tight and have it, um, you don't want to distort the fabric. So I'm just going to lay that on. Ah, and so leave the paper backing on the scissors. On the scissors for now. Yep. I'm just going to attach this little this little guy first. Is he Perfect. On? Got about 25 minutes on the hour, Lou. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We need to go on to groove as well, don't we? Let me just show you then how to do this. <clears> and <throat> so, is this my bigger piece of fabric? Yes. So, because you've cut it bigger, just remember when it comes to the positioning that you're gonna lose a bit from the, exit, uh, from the outside and also be aware that when it's trimmed down, you will lose a bit for seam allowances. So just make sure you're not putting it too close to the edge right. because you're gonna lose a little bit there. So what I you want to do, combo. it looks lovely, doesn't it? It's Beautiful. really fresh. Is take the paper backing off and just be careful not to distort the fabric when you pull it away, especially with these little dingly dangly bits. So you take that off, oh, a bit static. 
and just remember that you can play around with it now play around with your positioning i like to do the playing around part on the surface that i will then be pressing it on okay because if you do that on your desk and you think oh that's lovely and then you take it over to the ironing board it'll shift a bit true enough so do it on the surface you're going to be pressing on make sure you are happy with it exactly mm. because once you've pressed that down that's not coming off again it's not coming anywhere is it it's not so going anywhere once you're happy it's not too close to the edges it looks lovely just again press it down lift press and just work your way down the scissor great and then you can just check by sort of little have a little check the corners are all mm -hmm. on and now then, once it's all pressed down Lou, how yeah. do you sew your applique because there's various yeah. different ways aren't there so you can do a range of stitches i've done with the samples i've got here just a straight stitch um you can go around wow well, i've done it with a fabric that blends oh, uh, a thread that very on. blends very well i've got, got a <laughs> couple of samples over here if not that I might one have. you can see really yes, clearly fabulous okay so i've actually gone around a couple of times here because i quite like the sort of sketchy look of oh, i love it, that. it gone around a few times you don't necessarily need to do this this is just a straight stitch um the tip i would give is to reduce your stitch length mm -hmm. because on the corners you'll get a smoother um, a smoother corner, smoother turn you. with yeah. the smaller stitches than you will if they're quite big, chunky, it'll mm -hmm. look quite angular. So reduce your stitch length down to maybe sort of one and a half. Mm -hmm. Just take it easy, go all the way around. Um, you can also do a zigzag, a tight zigzag, which will enclose it or yep. sort of more like a satin stitch. Yep. Um, yeah, any, I mean, the bonder web will hold it in place. The stitching is an extra security level and makes it look a lot more neat than just mm. having the raw oh i love it cake. but yeah get creative have a look at what stitches you got you could you could use decorative stitches yeah, even you couldn't could, you yeah. It's a lovely project and it could be your first applique project, yeah. it could be your first bag project, simple lined pouch yeah. with a zip in it, lovely project yeah. that, really like it. And the seam rip is even quicker because you don't have the oh yes. so if you want to go for the seam ripper first if you're a bit more new to applique two -sided. try that out yeah oh yeah Scissors Scissors on one perfect ring yeah. the changes love that right pattern so. available on its own if you want to get it on its own it's 7.99 it's your side graphics uh, just decide your fat quarter bundle 14.98 whichever bundle you decide on now then are we going to move on to the groove we quilt are. let's get groovy we are and now. we're using we're using HRTs, not not the hormone. We're using <laughs> half rectangle triangles, okay. which are a bit different. They sound like half square triangles. They are a bit different and it looks a bit odd if you're doing them when you're comparing them to half square triangles. Mm -hmm. But let me show you how to do it. Sort so, of a similar method, but not sort quite. Sort of a similar method. Yeah. What you want to do, because we have, um, I'll show you here, we've got, points going in different directions so it's best to do them in pairs so we've got one where the, the so the pink is going up to the top left and we've got one where the pink is going up to the top right and I'll show you how you get those different directions so we've got you will need a pair of fabrics mm -hmm. so I've got the light pink and the dark pink here gorgeous and I will be pairing up one light pink and one dark pink to make a combination of the two. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put those to one side for now. And if you watched earlier, you're going to be really shocked to find that I'm going to draw a line okay. from corner to corner here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Like last time, you were drawing a corner, a line from corner to corner, and you were sewing on the line. Are you doing that this time? No. No, you're not this not. time. Slightly different. So this is different. So different what you method. want to do. <laughs> is draw a line so for each pair you've got one maybe it is slightly small that goes oh, i need your little board again Stuart. yeah i can get you the board, no, draw the board. Okay. Right. um top left to bottom right okay. and then you're going to do one in the opposite direction gotcha so that you then will end up with points going different ways so for this quilt you will need six pairs it says in the pattern mm -hmm. it's been a while since i 
think three pairs that's okay. it so you end up with six so you'll have three pairs going that way and three pairs going that way okay and then you're going to pair it up and this is going to look a bit strange so what you do with HRTs, you don't, so if it's a half square triangle, you'd put them together and sew on the line. Yes. You don't do that here. No. You rotate it so that that corner goes up to that corner and then that one Whoa. goes down to there. So that looks a bit, bit odd. And I'm going to use pins for this because that is a bit wonky and a bit okay. all over the place. So I'm going to grab my pins and I'm going to just secure it. Mm -hmm. And then we will be sewing a quarter of an inch that side of the line and a quarter of an inch that side Got of the you. line. So that is like our, the often used half square yes, triangle it is. method. It's just the it's positioning that's position. a bit differing. Don't be daunted by this. No, not at all. No, it's just... Give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> and they've got, it's got diagrams in the pattern showing you... You know one goes that way one goes that way showing you exactly how Perfect. to do it so you will have me there in your sewing room telling you what to do <laughs> and then i'm just going to pin this in place and then i'm going to sew both of them a quarter of an inch either side of the line okay I'll just do that now do you do classes or, or workshops, Lou? I'm starting um, to do online classes. Okay, yeah, fast. I did start a few in person just before the pandemic started. Right, <laughs> yes. Um, and they were just local ones. But I thought this way, you know, it's not limited to just who's in your local area. Okay, cool. At the time that's convenient for everyone, you know, you. Yeah. So are these like on demand or will they be a Zoom class like a live? On demand, yeah. I'm currently running a a block of the month club. Oh, fantastic. That's sort of, you know, dripped through monthly. Yeah. And then, keep an eye out for that. Oh, yeah, and will you be at Festival of Quilts in the summer? I will, yes. Awesome. Not, not in a... Uh, not doing Official any work capacity. there. Yeah, just there enjoying it. Having a Fab. weekend of quilting and Gin sewing and bar. oh yeah yeah buy some fabric good it's a perfect day out isn't oh, it oh it is it's lovely to see people in the quilting world that you don't normally see as well yeah. in your everyday life well come and say hello won't you i'll be there oh, every yeah. day oh will you i will where I will. are you gonna oh, be i love it i love it um i've got a stand i couldn't tell you the number of it now oh, yeah. no. but i will do um but yeah i'm there every day and i'm also presenting the award ceremony oh are you oh. so that'd be lovely i'm hoping to fit into my dj by the summer oh, very nice very yeah. posh yeah okay so i've just done one so I'm you've just... sewn either side of the drawn line yep so okay. i've got a stitch either side of that line about a quarter of an inch and then we're going to cut down that line that we drew earlier again that feels familiar territory yep, if you've ever made half square triangles and then when you open it up ha -ha. Ta -da, and then we're going to press that and Success. then we're going to trim it down a bit so oh, we'll do, oh that's right here so i like to press my seams open for this one okay so I'll just quickly do that and then we've got a message from Kate in Merseyside I love the style of Lou's designs oh, and she makes the quilts look so achievable fab are. demos well yeah. I've just got to reiterate that because Charlie our director seems to be on a sewing mission today yeah. he was just saying in my ear I, I just want to be out on that counter alongside <laughs> Lou making Doing the half with... rectangle yeah. triangles. Well. He said she makes it look so completely achievable. It and is. you do, Lou. It is. If you know, I'm not one of these people that's been sewing since I was two. You know, I learned as an adult, and if I can sew in a straight line, you can do it. You can do it. You can sew in a straight line. You can do it. Trust me. Right. We're going to trim this down, and oh, I've got another little tip because this is a. Um, trimming it down to nine and a half by four and three quarters. Mm -hmm. So um, when I look for nine and a half, when I come down to this side by four and three quarters, it's sort of somewhere there, which mm -hmm. isn't very easy to spot. So if you have some washi tape, which mm -hmm. I do have somewhere, you can make yourself a little guide. 
So. Oh, awesome. We've actually got that washi tape in oh, stock. No. It's useful We're find for it. so many things, washi mm. tape. So I've got nine and a half. So I'm just going to pop that on the line for nine and a half. Yeah. And then I'm going to rotate it and find four and three quarters, which is there. Right. Rip that off there. And then I'm going to line that up. So now I've got a little corner I can see. Okay. Whereas before that would have just been a sort of middle ground that yeah. I've had to eyeball. So this way I can see it. So what I'm going to do is line up four and three quarters there. It'll make more difference when I do the other one. And then nine and a half there. I'm going to make sure that those two points are the seams are running straight into those two points mm -hmm. and that will give us nice pointy points oh i see so you've got to make sure that diagonal runs from corner to corner yes yeah you don't want to be just cutting it down any which way you no. want to make sure that you've got the points going right into those corners and then we're going to tuck that in there to that ah. corner it makes now, more I'll... sense on the other one that goes the other way because then you the, the corner runs right to there and you can see exactly where it's going to go oh okay but this one's helpful too. I'm going to line that, that up. Um, the tape that we've got, by the way, isn't a washi tape. It's the So Easy Quilters tape. Oh, yeah. It's a single sided um, light adhesive tape. Absolutely perfect for this, though. So that's, that's a really good tip. One. I like that. Yes, I use washi tape. You can so use it for the seam guides. So when that's all trimmed down then, yeah. your diagonals go right to the corners. Right to the corners, yeah. And it's the perfect size and shape. Yes, it's exactly that's what so you want. Clever. And we will make sure that we maintain those pointy points that with our so seams clever. in a bit. And I'll show you with this one that goes the other way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, my mind's Actually, racing no, now, thinking about the possibilities for borders, for row quilts, for all sorts. Yes, yeah, you I can, once it. you know how to do half, half rectangle triangles, you know, go wild. Can like you I still said, use your same tape? Yes, yes, so I've... Um, we don't have to move it around because it's going no, the other way. No, so this, I ha if I sewed up the other one, let mm -hmm. me just sew that up and I'll show you. Because okay. the, the, the seam will run the other way and it will go right into that corner. Perfect. And it just helps you with a little bit more accuracy because otherwise you'd have had to eyeball it um, because there's not a point there on the ruler where mm -hmm. it meets... Lou, while you sew those two seams, do you mind yep. if I just introduce everyone to H630? Yes, go for it. Awesome, because you <laughs> love this, don't I you? I do, yes, that's what's used in the pouch. Lou specifically asked if we could get in H630. All right, now then, H630 was bought in especially for the show for Lou, for the pouches. Now this is, if you've used H640, what this is, is it's a thinner version. So I don't know if the camera can pick up the sort of thickness of that, just to give you an idea. If you've used H640, it'll make perfect sense. But can you see there, you've just got that thinner, can you just about see that? but it's still got that adhesive layer on the back. So it still works in the same way. So, you know those projects when you want just a little padding, something like a purse, a pouch, something thinner, a book jacket maybe. We don't want masses of puff. You just want that sort of thinly padded, that softly padded layer. Or maybe even you making something like, um, you know, a sculpted doll and you want a layer of batting over the top just to help with the sculpting, uh, give it a try. Now this is all pre-cut pieces. They're one meter by 90 centimeters. It's the first time we've ever had it in. It's H630. I think it's going to be my new go-to where I want a thinner batting. The 699 for that one meter piece. Brilliant, thanks for introducing us to that. Yeah, it's a lovely so soft squidgy, Gives it a bit of structure, but doesn't feel too rigid. So it's still lovely to sew with. Perfect. Okay, so here's where the washi tape Perfect. comes into it. And We're it's gonna, more, it's oh. actually, it's not as, it's cheaper. It's cheaper. Oh. It's three pound less per meter than Bonus. H640. So think of those projects where you might substitute the H630. Give it a try. Okay, so here's where the washi tape comes into it. So we're gonna line up that point there and then we can make sure that seam goes right into that corner and that will just help us with our cutting. So just line it up. I understand now. I was Did missing where the I mean? corner was yeah, lined up. Yeah, it's because you get, when you do your pairs, you get some that go that way 
And so you're looking at the points down this way and this way. And then it's the ones that go this way. If this washi tape wasn't there, it would sort of be in the middle of that square somewhere. And Understood. It's nice, you know, a little two seconds adding on some washi tape. It's a really clever idea. Just gives you that little bit more accuracy, which is what we like, don't we? we a like little bit of accuracy much. for not much effort. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to turn it round. And then again, you can tuck that right into the corner and make sure that the other seam comes right up in this corner mm -hmm. here. And it, excuse me, and it is as well, when you look at Lou's quilt, her um, groove quilt, the, the impact is really in that structure yeah. of creating those wonderful zigzags. <coughs> Which of course would be lost completely if you didn't have the pointy points. Yeah, that's it. You would, I mean, it'd still be a lovely design, but it's really nice just to, to have those points. Mm -hmm. Now, the points will stay the same, but you need to do a bit of something special when it comes to sewing them together. So when you have your rows like this, your horizontal rows, you're going to join those seams with a, with a quarter of an inch like you would, would normally do. So quarter of an inch down there, you would get your full row alternating the direction to create your um, to, to create your rows. And we're going to sew that together with a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. I will just line those up. I'll probably clip this in place because I prefer clips if I can on the edges. Do you? Yeah, I prefer them because they don't hurt me as much. Okay. And I feel like they don't distort the fabric as much. But like, for example, I did use the pins with the half rectangles because you can't clip on the ends so mm. much when they're rotated at different degrees and it did need a bit of something holding onto it. So I'm going to sew down there with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay. Oh, I lost my little, my little headers. Get that going. Ooh. Why is that not working? All right there. Yeah. Is your pedal come wrong, out? Do you know what? I think it's the wrong pedal. Ah, there's two pedals yeah. down there. There we go. <laughs> we just do that to keep you on your toes, yeah. literally. That's very nice of you since I've I had it the other day, I hadn't plugged the foot pedal in. Oh. <laughs> and I'm madly pressing on it, I'm going, it's not Where working. Where are you at? It's, not, it's definitely not working. We're going to need another machine. Have you ever done that? Or not switch the socket on. We've or all done it. Do. We've all done it. Make me feel better. Lou Worth's Groove Court pattern is available to buy on its own. It's $8.99. You get the pattern in three sizes, a baby, a lap, and a bed size quilt. It's also a fantastic method that I think you would use again and again. You also, in this particular pattern, get three different ways of laying out your units that create totally different looking quilts. So effectively, you've got nine different patterns. Well worth uh, putting in your basket this one. Groove by Lou Orth. Now don't forget as well, just while we're here, that we have also managed to get Lou's Shooting Stars quilt back in stock, but we do only have eight of them available. They've been incredibly popular. Again, the Shooting Stars comes in three sizes, a baby, a lap, and a bed size quilt. Gorgeous, you know, easy to learn and useful for a lifetime skills. Yeah. Okay, in all of these quilts, of all of Lou's quilts, superb. And I love her use of colour. I love her use of negative space in the background and that sort of different way of using those units. I just think they're terrific. Really enjoyed working with you this morning, oh, Lou. It's been lovely, isn't it? It's been fab. It's not over yet. No, how long we got? Can I quickly show you how to join the rows? Yeah, we've got five minutes. Oh! Yeah, we've got time. Make a whole quilt in that time, can't you? <laughs> oh, no. <I> don't. no. <laughs> don't watch. Okay, I'm just going to give that a quick press. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the point, the point comes. When you join these rows, so you can see here that that point is not within a quarter of an inch of that right. edge now. So when you come to join so once you've got all your rows together, mm -hmm. so that would be like that in the groove quilt, and that would be like that. Am I getting that the right way around? Yes. <laughs> because I've got, um, no, that would be the diamond version, wouldn't it? So. When it was the other way around, yep. it was right. <laughs> so, I'm saying that. Now, no. I'm going to have to look at my own thing. So the, the white way. point goes up, 
Is it that that goes on? It was that, but then it was just moving it along oh, one. Then. Yes, got it. So what you're going to do is when you sew these together, you're going to use a half inch seam allowance so that it comes down to that point there and you keep those pointy. I understood because that's a half yeah. inch seam allowance and that's half an inch away. Yeah. So they're the points, because of the, because of the angle of the, the seam, yeah. They uh, the point comes a little bit lower down. Ah, understood. So you're going to just nest those or if you've got the seams open, that's also okay. You're just going to line up those edges. And let's see if I can fit a little one in. And then half an inch seam allowance for that one. Mm -hmm. And you should. But all of that's in the pattern anyway. It is, it's all in the pattern. All the cutting uh. for the different sizes, which seam allowance is where, and now half an inch on here. Ooh, is that about half an inch? I'd use the needle plate. Oh dear, where is that? Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's about half an inch. Took me years to discover those markings, Lou. Yeah. <laughs> Kept looking got at markings them thinking, on a sewing machine, did know, you know that? <laughs> looking, thinking, this looks like the inside of a spaceship. Yeah. These coordinates to get me somewhere. Yeah. Just to remind you as well, there are two different bundle options. If you'd like the plain version, those bright solids that, that Lou's been working on, $44.99 for those. Um, amazing, pretty much what's on the front of the pattern. We have we have uh, brought that to life in that kit. It's been very, very popular. We've also got the print version, which I think has got a gorgeous kind of folk arty kind of color theme going in the two red prints, the green prints, that gold print with the solid white as well. Really lovely combination this. $79.99 for this version. Remember in both of those kits, you're getting enough fabric to make the 61 sorry big pardon the 59 and a half by 51 inch version okay so fabulous started joining those rows i think i found half an inch roughly <laughs> but you can see there that that just brings that seam up you take a yeah. little bit out and you get those nice pointy points and you would carry on with that you would that's how we get that wonderful it. zigzag and you do and then you get that lovely zigzag you get nice pointy points and your quilt's done. It's so striking. I think as well this would work beautifully if you've got some really big large scale yeah. fabrics, I'm thinking maybe K facet, to then combine those maybe with a toning solid or a batik. So you had a zigzag of the patterned fabric and then a zigzag of the batik or the solid fabric. Yeah. Again, just to show off those prints. Show off those big prints. And also I think any ombre as well. If some if you're making a quilt for someone and they've got like a new purple bedroom or something yeah. and that's their colour or wedding quilt if they've got colours for the wedding you can do that to customise it for five different colours and yeah. then a solid you yeah. know a background yeah. absolutely gorgeous Lou thank you we've learnt <laughs> loads this morning the washi tape trick on You're the welcome. ruler is genius yeah I'm having it. You need washi tape in your sewing room. I need it in my life. I need it in my life. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lou. Thank you we'll for see you again me. soon, I Thank hope. Thank you. Bye bye. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Keep going through for all those bundles, won't you? Now, after the break, we're back with uh, Becky Swan from Crafters Companion. We've got the Gemini cutting machine and we've got some fabulous patchwork dies and Build a Block is back in stock. I'll see you after the break. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello you, where have you been? We've been on a little break, it's great to have you back for our final hour here on Sewing Street. Now, quickly, back in stock, back in stock, we've turned it around really quickly, we got those Gemini fabric cutting plates back in stock. Now we have got, we have got a limited quantity of these so please don't hang about. If you've got your Gemini or you're buying it today, 
get your plates today uh, we've managed to get them back in stock we've got a quantity but it's not endless some of you have been buying multiples i think that's a really smart idea because these are consumables when you're cutting fabric as becky said i mean she her plates are probably going to last us somewhere between nine months and a year and that is cutting numerous times every single day of the week you know what it's like for us but a um, really smart idea to have some extra plates in stock. So details are on the screen, grab them while we've got them in stock. They're going into baskets, just make sure you check out and make sure that you get those home. Now then, we also have a really fab starter kit. Now, some of these had sold out earlier on on their own. We had, um, if you saw the earlier show, this blew my mind. This is the, uh, <laughs> this is the tool tidy. It is absolute genius. Um, you've basically got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip it out and show you. You've got, look at that. So you've got these slots. I just thought, you know, you pop it in, you know, in between, but you don't pop it in in between. What you do is actually it, they, they squish, they squish apart so that you can actually fit your rotary cutter in um, and they squish apart to hold your different things, your pens, your scissors, your trusty chopstick. I'm glad it's not just me. Um, I use them all the time, your pens, it could be your embroidery scissors, it could be your seam ripper, the old Grim Reaper, Ripper. Um, that sold out on its own earlier on, but it's in this bundle, absolutely wonderful. Now you're also within this bundle getting a pair of absolutely, thank you Becky, gorgeous, glamorous assistant there, I'll be yours in a moment. You get these beautiful rainbow curved scissors now just i mean check those out those are absolutely beautiful aren't they but look on the end you've got this oops sorry curved end now absolutely brilliant for when you're cutting you know when you're working at your sewing machine maybe you're doing some embroidery applique something like that and you want to get right and you don't want to take your work out but you need to get your scissors in to snip a thread or something like that the curve makes that so easy to do not when your machine's running of course let your machine come to a stop and then you can go in and you can snip really useful also this is really useful for snipping into seam allowances snipping into curves or when you're cutting out something that is curved I mean it does actually give you an advantage you get a pair of those as well then you also get um, a set of 10 binding clips or wonder clips we love clips you saw Lou Orth using clips numerous times making bags making quilts you can get these you can get these individually but um, you're also getting the, a can of crafters companion fabric shield and you're getting that for free you're getting that for free now Becky welcome back hello lovely to have your company again what do we use fabric shield for what does it do protecting um, your fabric so if you're going to be making a bag for example um, I always wear black jeans and mm -hmm. you know bags rub against your black jeans they and do. then it comes off so it just gives it a little bit of protection and particularly if you're going to be using something like a bag or making a bag you, you don't want it to get mucky when you put it on the floor that kind of thing it's so true. it just gives it a little bit a bit more of a protection <clears throat> well yesterday we we had a reversible bag that was part pu and part regular quilt weight fabric and we were talking about well how do you clean this you can wipe clean the pu but what do you do about the quilt weight cotton this is perfect yeah so treat the fabric would you do that before you cut it up and piece it or when the bag's finished i think you could do it, you could do it either way but i okay. think actually probably when you've made your bag is probably and then the, best the thing. seams are kind of yeah. protected as well yeah. awesome you get that for free you can't buy the tool tidy on its own right now it's out of stock but you can get it in the bundle you're getting your rainbow curved scissors you're getting your clips you're getting your tool tidy you're also getting your spray and shield your fabric shield spray absolutely free 19.95 what a brilliant bundle 
What a brilliant bundle. Remember, everything that you buy from this hour will be coming directly from Crafters Companion. You pay $3.95 postage to shop with Sewing Street for the whole day. You're still shopping with Sewing Street, so you're not going to pay any extra PMP, but these items will come dispatched separately from Crafters Companion. Uh, Phyllis has got in touch to say these scissors are perfect when you're doing machine embroidery when you have to change thread colours. I was thinking of that. Loving the shirt Stuart Phyllis and Gretna thank you it's from next I just mentioned that in case anyone's watching you know wants to sponsor me oh that'd I'm be not nice. really I'm only kidding <laughs> I'm only kidding I, I didn't make it I didn't make it now this hour we're focusing very much on the Gemini and doing patchwork and quilting with the Gemini so let's start Becky tell me what can the Gemini cut pretty much everything apart from your fingers you can't get your fingers in there but it can cut um, if you've watched the show that we did the launch show with Sarah she was putting um, you know, drinks cans through there it was cutting those what? and it was embossing them pretty much anything leather. so leather um fake no uh, faux PU. leather um cork uh, thick fabric you can put denim through there you can put tweed through there basically pretty much anything cardboard goes through there if you want to be you cutting can put cardboard. embossing files through as well and emboss pu can't yeah. you yeah and emboss um, how cool would co that be cola cans drinks cans as Amazing. well so yeah there was there was it was a it's a it's a great thing to have in you know in your in your sewing room to just see what's working see what mm -hmm. you can cut out you could I, I mean I, I found it a, a sort of a game changer for me because I found that when I was doing patchwork I got a little bit lazy and I chose things that were really quite easy um, because I was really sort of concerned about being able to cut things sort of um, accurately I didn't want anything with curves because my goodness ugh, they would go wrong you wouldn't fit together so actually this really sort of opened up all my possibilities of the type of thing that I was going to be making I think that's so, a brilliant point that yeah. you made there actually Becky and and haven't you found the same thing with your patchwork that you start to get into a groove of things that are easy to cut and sew half square triangles flying e squares and rectangles and there's nothing wrong there's a, a, a gazillion quilts that you can make with those but I know when I started die cutting fabric all of a sudden stars were in my projects and circles were in my projects yep. and and you know hexagons and shapes I'd avoided and I realised, I hadn't thought it at the time, but I realised it was because I didn't want to have to cut them out yeah. or use templates. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, like the lady that um, messaged in earlier, mm -hmm. cutting all those thousands of templates, the of shapes she's managed to do. And you can, you can we, we always say, I, I mean, I know there are people that love the cutting out. They love the, the, the mathematics of sort of working out how everything goes together. Mm -hmm. um, and th that, but that's not me. I like to start putting everything together and just sort of get started. So for me, being able to cut everything out in 10 minutes and then start making something is a, is a real bonus for me. That's a joy, isn't it? it we is, had a absolutely. lovely message earlier on actually from somebody who said she'd had great fun cutting out a quilt yeah. and I made the point. When did you last hear someone say that? Yeah, yeah it, it, you're absolutely right. Get the right, right. tools. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So let's see a demo, can we? Okay, so... Oh, sorry, sorry. I haven't done the bundles yet. Yep. I'm getting okay. carried away. I want to get cutting. <laughs> Too excited. I am. So Can getting... I give you those back for a second? And I like it that I'm not the only one that has a chopstick. Oh, goodness yeah. me, no. Welcome to my world. I travel with my chopsticks, me you too. know. Me too, yeah. me too. Because I can craft with it and then it's dinner taken care of as well. <laughs> Just saying. Now then, this bundle, we've got some great dyes in this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. We've got the elongated hexagon not one size not one size this this die you've got four different sizes of elongated hexagon you can machine piece you can hand piece okay and because you've got the different nesting sizes you can cut the paper and the fabric shape that would be 39.99 on its own you can buy it on its own but wait and check out the value four different sizes then you've got the jewel die that's a corker isn't it? That's another $39.99 on its own. So we're already at $79.98 just for those two sets of dies. Then we've got the Apple Core. I love Apple Core. It's a gorgeous $24.99 for that. Apple Core or Axe Head. It's sometimes called the Axe Head and you can almost certainly see why. 
four sizes of that so we're well over 99.99 now aren't we and then we've also got the clamshell again in four sizes you can piece that over paper English paper piecing style but you can also machine piece you can also applique clamshell as well um, all included all of those four sets they all work with your Gemini for 99.99 and also I'll tell you another thing Becky um storage that's not even the thickness of a paperback book yeah and I've got dies to cut out 16 different shapes and I haven't even got the width it was not even the width of a magazine to store that on my shelf that's magic it is absolutely and so many options now just from having those those four dies of the different fun things you can do talking so of I've, options show me i know this me. is this is one of the samples we've got so this is a sort of example where we've actually used them for a plique um, but they've also used them as a template for and um, doing the quilting around oh, I love that. so that looks really you know it's got different different sizes of this elongated hexagon um but all using the same um the same shape in that particular one um, so that's the one I thought I would demonstrate first of all. That's very cool. I love that. Didn't you have a cushion as well using the jewel? I have. Yeah, Do you there. mind just grabbing yep. that down? Because I think that's absolutely stonking. Now that Isn't looks, that it looks so effective, doesn't it? And there's so many different ways you could use that jewel. Is that just using one template? One, yeah, just one, one shape. One shape. That is absolutely beautiful. And just by doing different kinds of colours and um, different patterns in there, you can really sort of make it. This is the thing, you can start getting involved in the bit that's really fun, choosing the colours, choosing Ooh, the patterns yeah. um, without sitting there with your rotary cutter. And also you can just keep going out in rings wider and wider, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. I'm loving that. A message from Collector in Card, if I have dexterity problems, got my Gemini. Thank you for mentioning that. Thank you very much for mentioning that because it's true. Um, in order to use a rotary cutter safely and effectively, you need to be standing, first yep. of all. If you've ever tried, I've tried rotary cutting sitting down. I'm sure you have yep. too, Becky. It is not easy when you're trying when you're here and you're trying to put this downward pressure to try and to try and do your cutting. You need standing up and, and more or less a straight arm. Again, the problem that all our guests have with our counter, because it's a bit too high for rotary cutting, is you need to be this tall to have a straightish arm to do your cutting. And if Charlie was here, he'd be fine. He's six foot two, I'm five foot eight um there you go but also if you can't stand or it's uncomfortable for you to stand if you've got problems with your shoulder elbow wrists as well that rotary cutting or scissor cutting is going to be uncomfortable I think die cutting offers a viable alternative. It does, it, and and for you know for for lots of people. I mean, I know I've been do, going to sort of quilting groups and things. Some people said, "Well, I've given it up because I can't. Right. I don't have that dexterity. I like the act of sewing, but I can't. You know, it's a little bit like as, as you get older, it's harder and harder to thread a needle, isn't it? Right. Um, and my mum's an embroiderer, and she says, "Actually, when you come over, just thread all these needles." So that's what we do. But it's one of those things that it stops you from doing the thing that you enjoy because. You know, you ch things change, or maybe you know someone's broken a wrist. You know, mm. you still want to sort of carry on and doing something. It's true. Um, so yeah, absolutely, it does make it very, very, uh, very, very easy for people with dexterity mm. issues. But also, the, for me, it makes everything quick. <laughs> it does. It does. And accurate. Now, a different set of dies, a different bundle for you. Again, each of them are available individually. I'll go through the prices of them too, of individually, and uh, you'll see the saving. So in this bundle, we've got three a three die set. First one is uh, the Dresden plate. Now we all love a Dresden plate or a fan or a three quarter or a half fan. You can do all sorts with this die. $34.99 on its own. You can pay that for a ruler, let's be honest. Uh, add your rotary cutter in your cutting mat and you're well over $34.99 aren't you? So you've got four different sizes of blade plus your centre circle that's $34.99 then you've got your orange peel you call it orange peel right? yes orange peel die uh, great applique die again you can cut paper you can do it on its own $24.99 for that we're already well over our price, aren't we? Yeah. And then you've also got the tumbler. The tumbler. Love the tumbler die. Love the tumbler quilt. 
Yeah, really cool, love that. You can also combine that as an applique die, have it as a plant pot, combine mm. it with your flower dies. Now, um, the combined price, or our bundle price, is actually 59 99 95 thank you, 59 95 Amazing, Get, making a great saving there. And remember, you're getting each of those shapes in four different sizes, plus the Dresden has that circle as well. And how useful is it to have a circle die? I mean, it's, it's not an impossible to cut a decent circle out, isn't yeah, it? You know, with sure. any kind of option. So yeah, it does make a really big difference. And that's one, what if you need 60? I, th Show I think I would do a got. different quilt if I had to cut 60. Well, there you go. So this is the one using the orange pillars and the applique. Look how effective that is. Love so that. you could put that together in probably, I would have said you could cut all of those pieces out in less than 10 minutes. Oh, for sure. Can we yeah. open it out? Absolutely. Can we see the other side? Oh, Look that at is that. So, Isn't that lovely? That is stunning. And that that's, is that's, that's a really quick and easy quilt for somebody Amazing. to make. Um, without, you know, if you've never sort of done applique before, you've never done quilting before, this would be a really good option to start off. Yeah, and it's really effective, isn't it? Yeah, and the ombre effect as well. What a great idea. Mm -hmm. What a yep. great idea. You're saving £25. I've stolen your quilt, Becky. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Hashtag give not back, sorry at all. Yeah, I will do later. There you go. Uh, but you're saving, was it £25 and two pence by buying that bundle? What amazing value. It should be £84.97. You're paying £59.95. Better. Much better. Yeah, much better. <laughs> well, I'm not being funny, but you could easily pay that sort of price for one die, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, superb. Okay. Should demo. I... Let's do demo. Demo, yeah. Let's do demo. Okay, so elongated hexagon. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would do. So I have already cut a few out already, but I will um, cut some more out um, using the Gemini. Oops. So we've got um, four different sizes in here. So the largest one is enormous. It's really, really big and it will still fit in your Gemini machine. Um, so that would be really great if you're going to be using that as a sort of a bait, almost like a base for the, your quilt and using the other smaller ones um, for other bits and pieces. So we're going to start with this size one here. Becky, is that mat that you know what it, what they come on? Is it sticky, magnetic? Yes. What's no, it's sticky. Them? It's, it's got sticky. little. It's got little sticky. Um, all of them have a little sort of sticky strip right. um, on them. Now they they do lose their, their, their stickiness after a little bit of time. But yep. you could just use a bit of double sided double sided double sided tape on there just to hold everything in place. Okay. And and as you say, you know, I've got lots of dies I use for paper craft and they're just in a bundle in, in a box. So but these I, I keep on these little um these cardboard sheets inside the plastic wallets so I know where everything is because that's the last thing you want to do to decide you're gonna make something and find you've lost that particular yeah, size. Sure. So we're going to use a number of layers of the fabric. Um, so I'm just going to um, just sort of fold my fabric over to make sure that I've got the right um, size. So I'm just going to do it very quickly, like so. I think I'll probably get six out of this. Mm -hmm. No problem. So we can cut up to six layers of quilt weight fabric? Yes. Six Great. is easy. Um, I've done, I did eight the other day, 10 was a bit of a struggle, the last okay. couple didn't really work. But it really depends on the kind of fabric you're using. Obviously you're going to be using something much thicker like a, like a, a tweed or a denim, you'd cut less. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Now when you pop it through your machine, um, sometimes you know we were talking about the cracking and, and the bangs that it makes, um, that's often to do with how it runs through the machine. So for example, if you, you can see you've got um, a straight line over here, as the um, machines so the rollers go over it, um, it it's going to sort of, all, both rollers are going to sort of go over that piece and that's going to make a bit of a bang. So if we put everything, this one doesn't matter too much because we've got a point. So we're going to put everything like this, so the rollers are going to go over this part first of all mm -hmm. and then it shouldn't make too much of a bang. Okay. So you just sort of, it doesn't matter if it makes a bang, it no. just sometimes, I know that um, it does tend to freak people out um, the first couple of times that they use the machine and they think, oh my goodness, what on earth, have I broken it? Yeah, that's it, you know, you think, I always think, oh, have I broken it? So it shouldn't have um, made any bangs. No, it didn't make any it bangs. Didn't. I'm quite pleased with that. And then when we open out, you've then got all <gasps> of yours cut Look perfectly. At that. So I mean, that's that's 
that's the, the beauty of this. It's really quick to, to do. Now we've also we've got all these other little bits and pieces. These are great for your you know your quarter square triangles uh, or whatever. If I was doing this at home, I would have cut out my fabric first of all just to minimise my my waste yes. that I've got. Um, but I've got a I've got a sort of bag at home where I put all my little bits and pieces like that in an idea that I'm going to make a scrappy quilt at some mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. And then um, we'll hold the, you to the it. Bag get, keeps getting bigger is all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, so, the thing is, when you make a scrap quilt, you start off with three bags of scraps, and at the end of it, you've got a beautiful scrap quilt and four bags of scraps. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, absolutely. You're definitely right. That is, that is that the way it is. That cut out absolutely beautifully. It did, didn't it? Um, and that's the, you know, that, that makes, and everything's, the angles are right. Oh, yes. I can't turn them around. Um, so, you know, you don't have to worry that your things aren't going to work out. Now, one of the things I had problems with is, was cutting around curves or cutting curves and sewing curves. Because obviously, if your curves are slightly out of kilter, you, you know, you've had it really, mm -hmm. let's be honest. And mm -hmm. um, they're not going to sort of work um, for you um, if you're, you're, you're out, of, um, out of shapes. So I've got a few of these. So I think, I think actually some of this fabric is fabric you've got on your website. Oh, it is. That's the um, Bluebell, I want to say Bluebell Wood yep. from Lewis Nyrie. Yeah. Mm, so I just, gorgeous. I love this little... Um, a hedgehog I think he's gorgeous so you very can see how you put pretty, those together so I'll just put pretty. a couple more around here. <coughs> excuse me yep. uh, a little message there from Angela can you explain the way to put the plates through the Gemini machine please yes so if you just um, so if you've got your fabric plates already ready you'll start with your clear plate then you start with your metal plate I'm going to use B first of all then you put your um, fabric on here first of all and then you'll die over the top then you put your metal um, plate on the top your fabric plate and the clear on the top so basically you are sandwiching it's like your clear plates are your bread your your metal plates are your, your, your butter and then your filling of the sandwich goes inside so that's, and that's your fabric and your die yeah, yeah. and which way should the cutting edge of the die face facing down facing, facing down, down against your fabric. the fabric yeah that's right yeah perfect perfect a question from Kerry hi Stuart can you just go through what's in the 77 piece goodie bag for me please thanks Kerry I most certainly can let me grab these dies over here so first and foremost and most importantly of course you're getting the Gemini machine you're also getting all of the standard plates that go with it we've got fabric cutting plates they're on the side graphic you can see them just over here add those in because those are the really sturdy metal plates that are going to allow you to cut fabric without the sort of marking and distortion that you'll get if you try to use the, the other plates. Okay, then you're also getting your goodie bag, which has 77 pieces in it. Now, currently, the goodie bag stands at these four sets of dies. You've got the flower petals and the stamens and everything else, which look amazing. Look at all the dies you get there on the back. It's incredible value. Then you're getting the um, zoo animals. These are called at the zoo at the zoo those are super cute little panda is there a bear there's no bear there's no bear oh is there a bear oh, you no... could make your own bear i could make my you own could bear. make your own bear i could make my own bear uh, then you also get this one this is called animal friends animal friends do love the frog absolutely adorable and then you also get your um farm friends farm friends which is very much my life <laughs> you need a goose in there, don't you? Because do. you, you've got um, geese. I've got geese. Not yet. No, I thought not you were yet. Gonna, you're going to be getting yet. geese. The plan is to get some geese, but at the moment we're both so busy, we don't think we can do geese. But we've got loads of goats at the moment, loads of sheep and lambs. Oh, the lambs are adorable. So, Kerry, that's what you're getting. You're getting those four different die sets, your flowers, petals, stamens, your farm animals, your zoo animals, and your um, other little animal friends. As that sells out, there may be substitutions as we go along, but, um, you know, it'll still be the same value. Okay, so that's what you get in your bundle. How are you getting on? Good. So what I've done is I've turned them the, the wrong way round um, and I've just marked a quarter of an inch um, dot 
on each of these um, points here because that's going to be your start and stop point when you um, sew. Now next time I come in I'm going to have to bring you a little tool that I've got, a little handy tool um, to make that a lot easier for you. Um, so you can just see, you might just be able to see we've got little points just here. So I'm just going to put these right sides together and I'm going to stitch at the start of that point and I'm going to finish at the end of the point. So this is the same kind of preparation for a Y seam, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Am I using the? I think I'm using the. I'm using the wrong foot. Wrong pedal. Yeah. We had that in the last hour. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. So you start sewing at that point that you marked, quarter yep. of an inch in. And then you sew down to the next point. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. So, um, so you, then you would just press out your um, seam. Um, so you've got this, but you've got this little Y seam here. Now I've already stitched a few of these together, um, going along, and then um, we've so we go, you, you go all the way across with um, all of your seams like that, but, uh, sewing those the straight sides together, mm -hmm. and then you want to put these um, together like so. Um, so you we just want to offset them. So you want them on in going into these little these little zigzags. So um, it's very easy because you've now got your Y seam there to be able to do that. But they, they, I'll start stitching them together so you can see how I'm doing that. But I wanted you to see, let's put them around the right way. Otherwise you've got your little hedgehog upside down, which is never, it's never nice because they don't like being upside down. Um, but you can see how quickly a quilt's going to come together because mm. you haven't had to worry about cutting these out. So you can put together like a, a, a lap quilt or a, a baby's quilt in no time at all mm. and then get started on the fun bit, the quilting yeah, yeah, and yeah. doing all of that. So we're going to start by, um, we're just going to put a few of these together. So I'm going to mark off um, just here. I'm going to put my pin in here. So I'm going to sew along this seam um, here first of all, mm -hmm. and I'm going to work my way along. And that's effectively what you're going to be doing with all of these, um, just to sort of put that, that together. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's sort of the key thing for me. It's quick, you know, and that's what we want, isn't it? It really is. So do you start from the centre of the Y and work outwards? Um, no, I'd normally start the other way around, but oh. I've, I've pinned it that way. I should flip I, it around. I should flip it around, yeah, shouldn't I, do it around. the way I would normally do. Now, we've had a question from Debbie. Let me read it. Hi, Becky and Stuart. Is the Gemini compatible with machine embroidery machines? Fingers are crossed, Debbie. Um, in, in Debbie, I think we need a bit more information about what you mean. I'm wondering if you are... Hmm. Get, get in touch. Get in touch. Um, and, and just explain a little bit more about what you, what you mean. Um, and we will answer that question for you. Back to you, Becky. I've always wanted a machine embroidery machine. I don't have one. No. And I really would like one. Mm. One day I'd have to get myself one. So I've sewn that first um, seam there. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's going to look like so. And then I fold this one over and then I just match up that seam here. Yeah. like so and because it is all being cut by um your your gemini or yes. your, your die, any die cutting machine that you have using these dies it does mean that everything should well, match up yeah yeah well you know I, I never like to say will just in case something goes horribly wrong you know <laughs> sometimes you know if you've stretched out your fabric or if you've just, you know decided to use the wrong kind of fabric um and it's got a bit of a um a stretch in it and yeah. um, then that obviously can be a problem and that is you know always a bit of an issue when you're cutting out when you've got curves obviously you know because you need to make sure that you're cutting in the right place with regards to the grain mm. um, and that can be a little bit of a challenge if you're cutting with a rotary cutter because things slip don't they so when um, we're cutting using the dies yeah. do we need to pay attention to which way the grain is on our fabric when it goes through the machine you should do yes okay so taking it I mean obviously with these ones it doesn't matter so much but it, when we're going to be cutting um, curves that are going to match up say for example the um, the clamshell mm -hmm. um, you would want to be if I grab the clamshell when you put it through your die cutting machine you want to 
you be putting your fabric going straight like this so basically the same way you would do it if you're going to be cutting it by hand so straight so of grain through yeah. the machine yeah exactly right yeah um, as long as you know obviously you can put your the, the dye itself with the fabric at, at an angle if that's mm -hmm. what you want to do just to fit everything on but as long as your cut your fabric is cut nice and straight sure like so and the same with the the apple core as well so you've mm -hmm. got the curves you've got you know the same way you, you you know you've got that ease where you've got a curve on your fabric the same way you would do normally so you can see here I've put those um, I've just sewn those first two pieces together but you can see how quickly that would come together Amazing. Um, and, and it just makes everything easier for you to to make great things very very quickly mm, mm. and of course you can also hand sew them if you prefer you there's can. that option yeah, too because you can use your dies to cut paper yep. as well as fabric so you could use the smaller one to cut paper thick yep. paper and the large one to cut fabric yep, absolutely. And do EPP. Yep. Uh, now we do have some other patchwork dies available on the show individually let me run through some of those now with you let me bring these around should we start equilateral triangle Love an equilateral triangle. And don't forget, six equilateral triangles together make a hexagon. Three of them together make a half hexagon. All kinds of lovely patterns you can work. Now, this is 19.99. You're getting eight different shapes, would you believe? Eight different sizes, I should say, of equilateral triangle. And again, it's not even the thickness of a, well, it's like the thickness of a greetings card, isn't it? It is, yep. Yeah. So easy storage. You could maybe get a file with poly pockets in and pop them in, something yeah. like that. That yeah. would store them. That's your equilateral triangles. Now we've also got half equilateral triangles. So imagine that equilateral triangle with, <laughs> excuse me, with triangles on either side in a contrast colour. A little bit like Lou Auth was doing with her half rectangle triangles. This is an equilateral triangle, 15.99 eight sizes and am I right in saying um, Becky that these are all compatible with the the sizes with these yes so yeah. this would mix and match really well really well um, obvious partners those right next up we've got the 60 degree diamonds so for example things like Le Moyne star uses 60 degree diamonds traditionally uses 60 degree diamonds absolutely gorgeous you get eight different shapes eight different sizes for 27.99 now we've also got the half uh, 60 degree diamonds so again think about doing split diamonds maybe two shades of the same color or completely different colors and in fact and we've dark. got one just behind you using Ooh, those let me you show can you see this. the different um, how effective that looks we've got some different sort of batik fabrics Look that have that. worked in there that is absolutely but that gorgeous makes, that's just using those um full uh, diamonds and half diamonds Split diamonds as well. here yeah yeah that is absolutely stunning can you see where the split diamonds absolutely beautiful really gorgeous you could go high contrast low contrast won't fancy rotary cutter in that just being <laughs> honest there just being honest now we've also got oh i was going to nip to the um sorry yeah half clamshells half clamshells obviously two half clamshells make a whole clamshell yeah it's not a shape i'd leap to cut no me would me this either. be compatible with the clamshell die that i've got here um i'd have to check the sizing I it might do be that. yeah so we've got a five and a half inch check yep. a four and a half inch check a three and a half inch and a two and a half inch what you get extra in this half um, clamshell is you also get a three inch a two inch and a one and a half inch but you do have all the sizes that will match up with this so if you wanted to do full and half clamshells we had that in the bundle earlier that full clamshell is available on its own of course and then to finish with we've got the um, full 45 degree diamond again eight sizes so think about Bethlehem star Lone Star absolutely beautiful classic quilts totally on a lot of quilters uh, bucket list but totally doesn't get made because cutting out and piecing accurately and then last of all we've got the half 45 degree diamond so again think split diamonds how you could combine those on their own but also with the full diamonds as well 31.99 for that
Awesome. Think about where these dies could take your patchwork. It's really about taking your patchwork perhaps to the next level. Perhaps it's because you've had to give up patchwork because, or you're thinking about giving up patchwork because you really are starting to struggle with the cutting out accurately. Um, this is a viable alternative. Your Gemini cutter is $179.99. I would add in the fabric cutting plates, which we have got in stock at the moment. They sold out earlier. We've managed to get some more in. Um, also remember you're getting 77 piece goodie bag bundle free. It's over 60 pounds in value. Amazing. You get your farm friends dies, you get your animal friends, you get your zoo animal friends and you also get your petals and flowers. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous mix and match approach. I love it. Let's go back to you. Well, I thought I'd make, um, I'd do something with the apple core. So I, I really like the apple core. It's one of, it's one of my favourites. Again, because of the curves, I didn't want to ever touch it, and um, because I just thought it was going to be uh, too difficult. So I've already pre-cut uh, some curves, mm -hmm. um, some of the apple core. So I put them here. Um, again, I've used the, that same sort of um, Lewis and Irene fabric that I think you've got on the website. Mm -hmm. um, so when we put them together, I'm actually going to use some of our um, uh, textile glue, which I think we've got on the show as well, um, because I we find. Do that a little bit easier than using loads of pins um, but it's an it's, it depends on what you want Dep you know it just see, let's see what is best for you um, so first of all we're going to fold it in half that nice. textile glue by the way 2.99 why don't you give it a go can we use that for doing things like gluing zips into place before we sew them yeah I don't see why not mm. um, you might just want to leave it a little bit of time before you start stitching Heat set with it, it. Um, no, it doesn't need heat setting. Oh. So um, it says on the um, the directions to put a bit of glue on both sides. But actually, when I do this here today, it tends to work just fine yeah. as it is. So I'll tell you what I do as well, Becky, is when I'm binding a quilt yep. and I've machined it to the front, fold the folded edge round to the back, I'll then run a line of glue along the inside of the quilt and stick my binding down so that then when I come to sew around it, machine around it, yeah. uh, easy peasy, right it doesn't move. Yeah. And that's, a, that's it again, being easy, making mm. it a little bit simpler for mm -hmm. you all. Um, so we've cut, we've folded in half and I've just finger pressed um, this piece and I've also done the same with this piece, but this is the same same shape, it's just, um, just folded it in the opposite direction. And so that's a way of us finding our midpoint so we're going to start with this one and we're going to we want to put these right sides together and we want to match up that center point um, just here so what I will do is I'm going to put some glue on um, one side first of all I'm going to put a needle or a pit needle a pin just in here so I'm going to match up those two pieces just here like that um, so that is halfway mm -hmm. matching that up oh it's always difficult because I I want to lean right over and then you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm just going to use a little bit of the glue, which I'm sure I'll get all over my um, my little injury that oh I've got dear, here today. Oh little injury. That is, it's just one of those things, isn't it? You yeah. know, that it doesn't matter what kind of craft you do, you end up sort of um, you know, having a little bit of an injury. It's just what it is. <laughs> I used to use, um, when my parents worked at Shepparton Studios, um, they were prop makers and mm. my mum was always covered in, in bits of um, hot glue Ooh. that was just how it was yes just got used to it so hot a little, glue. little need a little pin just in the center point just to keep everything in place and then we're going to match up this point just here so I'm just gonna press that with my glue with my, glue, with my gluey fingers and then I'm just <laughs> gonna match up this piece here so this takes a little bit of time just to get it right in the right place but I'd find it easier to fiddle around with the glue mm -hmm. than I do trying to stitch it and holding my pins sure. in the right place so that's that one all done and then I'm going to do the same on this side so a little bit of glue like this there we go around like this and then we're going to match up that point over here with this point here, like so. And then just matching up those two raw edges like so. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna make sure, pressing it out and, and making sure there aren't any sort of um, little areas where I've got a, um, a crease. Mm -hmm. And then I can take my pin out 
and I can just pop it on my sewing machine using my quarter of an inch seam allowance mm -hmm. and it should see like I say it should then all um, just sort of iron out perfectly great that's what we want and our with our um, dies with all of our dies do we have a quarter of an inch seam allowance included we do, yeah we never have to add that on or no perfect great yeah, it's all it's good about to making know, it easy it? yeah it is and if i work in metric i don't but i know a lot of quilters out there do use millimeters what sort of seam allowance should i use six mil seven mil oh they that's that's a question to ask me oh I, the I, thing is you know what you said know you were going to be kind to me I'm, no, and that I, was just that was just foolish quarter of an inch seam allowance I well you're at use seven mil but i mean i often go with six mil let's have a look let's turn yeah i would say i would say six six mil. yeah go I six, six mil, mil. Yeah. for example on on quite a lot of machines like a lot of the brother machines they have a six mil and they have a seven mil yeah. seam allowance depending on so have a little test run when you get if you work in metric have a test run your seam allowance is there it's designed with that quarter of an inch so if you're adjusting it to millimeters just see where it sits best on your sewing machine i had to relearn the whole um you know inches because i i was brought up doing centimeters and millimeters and okay. then when i started quilting i would quote everything in millimeters and mm -hmm. everyone's like what, what are you talking about yeah. so now i'm now i'm back on <laughs> inches you no know, full circle exactly so i've given that a quick iron but you can see how beautifully that, that comes together and then we've just put some um more here so i've just sewn um, these into quarters into fours and they would then just come together like so and you That's can make amazing. this really really quickly and yeah. um, you know you could do a table runner in no time at all well if i love what you've done here actually creating a sort of almost woven effect but also how then you've used bias binding around that shaped edge it's just really cool isn't it i could imagine a gorgeous baby quilt done in loads of lovely like bright modern mm. prints rainbow prints even you could just have waves of these lovely apple cores with a wavy edge as well yeah it's gorgeous and you know what's brilliant about using die cutting to to create your quilts is it suddenly opens up a world of possibilities where you might have got and found yourself stuck in a rut of strips squares rectangles and flying geese and half square triangles nothing wrong with any of those my goodness me i've made a lot of quilts using those elements nothing else but as soon as you take away the pain point of having to template cut or scissor cut awkward shapes it's almost like if i could give you a wish and that wish was that you could cut any shape as easily as any other wouldn't you have it if i said to you you could cut six layers of fabric at once and that was your wish i'd have that we Absolutely. love our stripologists. We love, I mean, when rotary cutting first came in, I'm old enough to remember when rotary cutters were kind of the new kid on the block. And the idea of being able to cut multiple layers accurately was absolutely revolutionary. But now we're managing to save even more time without the compromise of, oh, my ruler slipped. Oh, I read the ruler wrong. Mm. How often have we read the ruler wrong? Yeah. And you I think, pick the right die, you can't cut anything else. I think, um, as Lou was saying about, you Using washi tape on things I use a lot of that on my sewing machine to make sure I keep my to my quarter of an inch seam allowance because sometimes if the lights not great and you know sure I shouldn't be I shouldn't be sewing in the bad light but sometimes mm -hmm. you need things like that so you're absolutely right we want to try and make things um, easier for ourselves and all mm. these things could come out and we think wow that's great you know that makes my life a lot easier it's really true it's really true it's all about taking real problems I mean there is some let's be honest there is some tools some gadgets out there that solve a problem that doesn't exist i personally have never found the need for a specific tomato cutter you know or a specific <laughs> storage for a banana do you know what i mean um but then there are, you, you get you get a tool and suddenly you think hang on it's like who invented the the, the post-it note or the safety pin and it's like come on this is revolutionary 
And that was a mistake, wasn't it? Was uh, it? Post-it note, yeah. It was, um, uh, the, they were working on the adhesive and they found something that was sticky but not quite sticky. And then they decided, actually, this is huh. quite useful. So it was there a mistake. You go. It often is. It comes out of something. Mm. I mean, originally, of course, the Gemini was made for card making. Yep. For, but it was then about finding the right pressure, the right dyes, yep. those kind of deep dish dyes that would be able to cut fabric. Uh, question from Collector in Northumberland. Hi, can you add fusible webbing to the fabric before cutting the shapes? Regards, Gail. Yes. Absolutely, you 100% can. Um, yet yeah, you can use um, you know, any kind of sort of um, fusible, inter uh, fusible stuff that you want to use. You could actually, if you're going to be using something, if you're going to be doing something like um, a quilt as you go kind mm -hmm. of thing, you could um, fuse your fabric onto your wadding and then put it through the machine Ooh, as well. Oh, loving that. Also, I'll throw in a little quick tip there as well. Something like the Dresden, when you're cutting out that circle that you're going to applique over the center, cut out fabric, but also at the same time, cut out, not fused to it, interfacing, lightweight, fusible interfacing. Cut that out at the same time, put the two together, glue side of your interfacing against the, wait for it, the wrong side, Mm -hmm. of your fabric circle then sew all the way around the outside of the circle don't leave a gap all the way around the outside okay and then cut a slit through a cross or a slit through the interfacing turn it through to the right side now the gluey side is on the back on the wrong side on sticking out on the on the back of the circle you can then place it over the top of your dresden iron it into place the fusible interfacing will turn the edge perfectly of your circle so no raw edge but it will also hold it in place so no pins and then you can applique it you're like it's you like, like you're, you like it's like you're in my brain because that i was going to do that for oh. um for orange peel because you there can you do go. it with the orange peel you as well. certainly yeah. can you certainly yeah. can brilliant a collector uh a collector, a message from a collector in Bedfordshire. Can you show the spray that protects a bag against scuffing? Thanks. I haven't got any over here, but no. yeah, we can. Um, so it, well, directions. I think you just need to um, do it, spray it in a well ventilated place, 30 yep. centimetres away from the item. Six inches. Six, six how? What's mm. that, 30 centimetres? No, it's less than that. Oh, so yeah. very close. Pretty about close. that far yeah. um, and um, leave it to dry um, I would have said until it's um, and then you know sort of just leave it like that yeah and then it just says reapply every hand or machine washing of the fabric so you'd redo it um, test your fabric before you yeah so I would say test it on a scrap before you actually spray it to your finished bag and that protects from things like dirt and dust yeah and I think you know as I said you know if you've got a um, you've got a bag, a short, um, it's like a shoulder bag, and it's rubbing against your jeans yep. or something like that, you'll get a little bit of colour coming off. That will help. It won't stop it completely, I'm sure, because jeans on a white bag is always going to have some kind of colour transfer, yes. but it is going to help. And it will just make everything carry on looking a bit better for a little bit longer. longer. Perfect. Now, let's have a look at another really useful... Um, I'm going to call it a tool. Um, it's fabric stabiliser. It's fabric stabiliser. Now, the way this comes is you've got your bottle of fabric stabiliser and then also non-aerosol. I like that. I like that. Let's get rid of aerosols. We've got a spray. Let me just move that, sorry. So we've got that. We've got our spray. So that's going to, we're going to take the lid off, pop it inside and then that's our spray bottle. Now, what does fabric stabiliser do? When do we use it? It's almost like a kind of spray starch type of thing. So it's okay. going to make everything sort of more rigid. Um, so um, actually, if you if you look at um, you know social media, Sarah did a um, a ghost that, that she'd made, and she's got some white fabric, and she sprayed some of the um, stabiliser on there, and she'd left this fabric on top of a, um, a, a pot, and so when it when it dried, it, it was sort of rigid. It um, so, yeah, it held shape. Yeah, it holds its shape. So great if you're going to be doing like collars and stuff like. That stuff that's a bit okay. stiff. And was um, that one spraying was enough, or was it multiple layers? I think she did a couple of sprays on that, okay. um, just so it would stand completely sort of on its own, and she just used them as decoration. But yeah, there's lots of different things you can use it for. Sure. Um, but it's particularly good, you know, just for giving it a little bit more structure. If you're using something like a cotton lawn, yeah, you know, they don't have that. Whilst they're beautiful fabrics, they don't have that much structure. Um, so you might just need um, to put some of that on there to give it a little bit more oomph when you're actually sewing it, if you're going to be making it in a bag or something like that. And it says on the back, in terms of instructions for use, unfold the fabric, 
and place inside a container. Shake well before each use, then spray directly onto the unfolded fabric. Ensure the entire surface is covered. Allow the fabric for, to dry for 30 minutes, flat or in suspension, so you don't iron your fabric dry. You leave it to maybe like hang it on the line to yeah. dry or on a clothes air or something like that. So quite a degree of stiffness. Yeah. Fabulous. We've had so many amazing products from Crafters Companion. We haven't managed to get through everything. Of course, it is on the website. Have a good old look. And also, of course, have a look, uh, you know, for um, things like videos that go with to show you how to use products. You will be back, though, Becky, of I course. I will, of course. And yep. bring more wonderful products. Yep, absolutely. Thank you so much for your time today. To Do you know you. what day you're back? Um, 9th of May, because that's my, my anniversary. May. You're Third anniversary, anniversary. Yeah, your exciting. shopping telly uh, anniversary. <laughs> we'll get you a cake. It could well Excellent. be a donut, um, but one oh, way or another. I'm not fussy. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, we're so excited to get the Gemini back in stock with that bundle of freebies. 77 different elements, all completely free, bundled with your Gemini cutting machine. Don't forget to get your fabric cutting plates as well at the same time. What a busy day we've had, what a busy day. Have a good look through the website. There'll be lots that we weren't able to get to. We've got adjuster forms back in stock. We've got brand new fabrics. We've got a fabulous air threading overlocker, Lou Auth patterns, some great fabric bundles. That gorgeous, so wonderful range from Moda really beautiful. Have a look on the website and see what takes your fancy. Now let's do the menu for tomorrow. Oh, hello. Now then, at 8 a.m. it's Native Lighting with Claire. At 9 a.m. Oh, it's Vix, by the way, is, is presenting. At 9 a.m. Sewing Room Tools, Exploring Creative Grids. Now at 10 a.m. I'm guesting tomorrow, hurrah, with Moda La Vie Bohème Collection. We've got a picture of the quilt. Can we tease? Um, it's a gorgeous range of fabric from French General. Um, and I made this quilt uh, wow. using La Vie Bohème. There you go, that's the quilt that I made. Um, and then at 11 a.m., bag making supplies. I should be watching and ordering avidly. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got Moda Change of Seasons collection. Again, with me guesting. Again, I think we've got a couple of pictures showing some of the projects that Deputy Joan made, a gorgeous oh, zippy lovely. bag. That is sophisticated, isn't it? And then the multi-use work bag from my book, Bags for Life. We'll also have my book, Bags for Life, um, available on the show tomorrow as well. So make sure you tune in, please wonderful to have your company. Um, we've had lots of fun talk as well about Sewing Bee today. Keep that chat going on the fans page. Did you agree with who was shown the door? Did you agree with the best sew of the day, the garment of the week? What do you think of the new gang of bees? Um, I can't wait till next Wednesday to see what happens. What about you? Listen, for the rest of the day, take care of yourselves and each other. Make sure you tune in with us tomorrow, bright and early at 8 a.m. with Fix. I will see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>